Hang on a sec. Oh, no. Okay, good. Hi, buddy. Freaking me out for a second there, Bagel. Uh, we started late. Sorry, guys. We started late today because of someone. Not naming names, Bagel. Yeah, I'm talking about you. Uh, he got outside and decided to leave our complex, so I ran around trying to find him. Thanks, buddy. Appreciate it. Glad you had a great time outside. You're never going again. Yeah, lie down and relax. Have a good time tonight. Hi, yeah. Whew, all right. So here's how tonight's gonna work. We're gonna do some bento. We usually do on a Monday, not a big deal. Uh, then we are going to do finish up guacamole we shouldn't have too much left and I did a little bit of stuff off screen to expedite it and then if we have any time left tonight we are actually going to be just doing a chill Q&A and packing stream at the end of the night if someone will let us again not naming names all right but first what we're gonna be doing is uh, something slightly different for bento it ends up, they actually gave me control. So now I can set the games that we play. At least for this run. So I'm going to pick a couple games for us to try out. Let's see, where did I put that control tab? There it is. All right, how about, what do we got here? Um, there's a lot of games on here. Let's start nice and simple with Tasty Gems. Let's start with me refreshing the control screen first. Let's go to Tasty Gems. Huh. Give it 30 seconds. Let's see what we can do. I'm more confused what's going on on my screen here on my my phone. Let me refresh that. It just it's stuck on the destruction screen for some reason. Well, as always, time to test stuff. And of course, now nothing is going to work tonight because of course not. Why would it why would something work right when I start late? Why would that happen? And one sec.
All right, I think we found the reason. I'm on, I'm on the line with the devs right now, checking things here. So now let's refresh. Now let's pick Tasty Gems. Let's wait for nothing to happen still. Oh my god. All right. I am a PC low letter today, apparently. Whoa. Okay. Hey, hang on. We're in. There it goes. All right. Cool. All right, cool. So, ha uh, ha found found a problem they weren't expecting. <laughs> Who saw that coming from me? Uh, we're gonna play Tasty Gems. This is just Bejeweled. Here's the kicker. When I activate the timer on this, there's actually not gonna be a practice round. It's straight up. You go and you win. No practice. So let's give it a shot. Two minutes of Tasty Gems. Let's go. Unexpected pug? Well, there's a shocker. True, most bugs aren't expected, to be fair. The very valid point. Keep on matching that food. Scoreboard is updating. All right, cool. We got lots of people playing tonight. Excellent. Excellent. I'm going to do my best to try to win this, but I highly doubt it because I don't even think I'm even on the top board right now. Also because I'm stalling by talking. I've made the critical mistake of holding a conversation. It's a dangerous tactic. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, never mind. It's there. Had a phantom piece for a second there. No big deal. We're doing good. We're doing good. 15 seconds remains on the clock. All right, that should be time. Let's see how everyone did. I got 29th with 566, Garthon 6 with 798 points. Emerald Bar with 756, Joey Gatorman with 731, Amph with 729, Amethyst Leslie with 713, Hara Hara Haraka for 711, Lugia for 698, Fairy 100 for 688, Gray words for 686 and Matt Zap 17 for 674. Let's kick on the score saver. And let's jump to the next game. Let's see what we're going to do next. I'm trying to think of what's a good one that we haven't done yet. What is button? Okay, button is just a default. Never mind. It is a default. Oh my god, already? We just started. 
Whoa! Hi, Mecha GM! Well, this will give me a chance to pick out what we're playing next. See you on the other side. Let's run the guns. Mega GM, thank you so much for the raid. We are doing Bento right now. If you want to join in, go to livegame.show. Log in on your phone or your browser and you can play with us. Right now we're about to do Flippy Box. Flip the box so it lands upright. Tap to flip the box. Land box upright to score. Let's do it. Oh, it's a dog now! They might need to update their instructions in that case. Uh-oh. My dog won't stop spinning. He's out of control. Flip, see the box. Oh my god. Every time I get a rhythm, I just lose it suddenly. Yep, that <laughs> this rhythm is gone. Oh boy. Yeah, I'm just not doing myself any favors right now. I mean, the box dance more than anything else. Thirty seconds left on the clock. I'm seeing scores of thirty-eight. So some people didn't lose their rhythm at all. Ooh, I got 11th place with a 39, surprisingly. Mission patch with 49, Sir Toastman with 48, Mud Kiplings with 47, tied with Dismal Dimwit. Seberic for 46, it's along with JFOT, Lucky One and Fred Freiberg at 45, Zermis tried, oh my god, everyone's at 5th place apparently. Arizona Holla, Try Shady, Mickey, Mickey Mike Mike too. All right. And then it's just it just keeps getting going down from there. Giant groups. Giant groups. My god. Overall scoreboard. Emerald Bard in first place at 183. Joey Gatorman 178. Tied with Amp. And Garth on six in bronze with 171. Everyone else is pretty close too. Let's go to game number three. But what will game number three be? Someone said they wanted destruction. Because they wanted to get the lowest score possible. And you know what? Who am I to say no? 
Fire donuts! Knock down the vegetables. Tap to fire. Costs you a point each time you throw a donut. But you get 10 points when you knock all the vegetable boxes off the screen. Who will be the worst destructioner? By which I mean the best. Two minutes on the clock. Starting now. Let's do it. If you want to actually play sensibly, just tap to the right of the screen and aim your donuts carefully. If you want to get the worst score possible, just mash donuts off the map, basically. Destruction is one of my favorite because it's pretty simple to do, and it's also like, I love seeing who can get the lowest score. <laughs> I'm finding I'm tapping to the beat a little bit. At least trying to. Sometimes there's not enough things to hit. How are we doing? I see a 257. Oh my god, a 257? How? Some of you are way too good at some of these minigames. Seven seconds remain. Get them negative scores as low as you can go. That's time. 394 was the highest. I got 316. Who did it? I gotta know. Who got it? Minus 751 by Pyro Muffin. 666 six, six from Lucky One. I wonder if that was deliberate. Some nice negative scores there. Unhealthful NPC with first place, 394. Mud Kiplings with 388. Matt Zap 17 with 387. Fred Fredberger with 384. Cobalt Custard, 383. Jell 89 with 381. Wanfi for 378. Uh, Sly Hedge, rather. Eighth place with 377. Andy Pie, 372. And Joey Gatorman in 10th with 370. Overall, Joey's in the lead, 271. Amp right behind him at 270. Mud Kiplings, third, 266. Zermist tied with Fred Fredberger for 263. Emerald Bar 262, Lugia 259, Garthon 6, 256, Sir Toastman 254, Unhelpful NPC 253, Cobalt Custard 252. It's really close between everyone. And uh, that negative score had some repercussions for anyone who was on the overall leaderboard, as you can see. Meta. <laughs> Meta's on ice at minus 101, Pyro Muffin at minus 120, Ancient Data at 55, minus 55, Lucky One at minus 6. Chris at work at one point. Part of me wants to just keep picking Destruction and see what happens, but I'll spare you. Let's go to... Yeah, we haven't done this one in a while. Ball fall. Help the ball fall through the platforms. Hold down left or right to move the ball. The ball hits the ceiling, it's timeout. Two minutes on the clock, let's do it. Yeah, I'll do Pika Starstorm, there we go. I already have four points without... Okay, sure. Whatever game, I'll take it.
As you can tell, just keep moving between the platforms. Don't touch the spikes. You can do it. I believe in you. Oh my god. Oh my god. No donut. No. Nope. Damn it. Once you hit the spikes, you just got a couple seconds where you can't earn points, but then the platforms start almost immediately. Physics for the donut is a little frustrating at times, but especially around the edges of the platforms, but that's half the challenge. Everyone's pretty close together score-wise. 85 was the top I just saw. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. Go, 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 go. Go, Donut, you can do it. Ah, dang it. Ah! Seventeen seconds remain. Save your donut from the from being crushed. Let it earn all the points. Delicious, delicious points. I got the one ninety eight. Two twelve, Lugia with a high score, tied with Howla. I got tenth. Wow. Okay, I'll take it. Andy Pine, Silver two oh nine, Stellio Halo two oh eight. Lucky one at fourth to 207. Fred Fredberger tied with Grey Words and Quant Dan at 205. Shadow Me, Wan. Oh my god, six is pretty busy there. Emerald Bar, Lady Aisha, and Wan Fi, 204. Crossmar, 203 and seventh. Bramnet in eighth with 200 even. Same with Dragonus, 77. And Raguna the Farmer in ninth, and myself in tenth. Overall scoreboard Joy Gatorman still in the lead at 363, slightly pulling ahead, but only by four points. Fred Fredberger in silver. 359, tied with Lugia. Emerald Bard in bronze with 358. That was game four. Let's go to game number five. Did they only show like the top 20 on the... Actually, you're right. When did that change? Yeah, I can't scroll the phone one anymore. Weird. When did that change? Did you see the bomb? What bomb? The support hashtag for Bento is hashtag Bento Feedback. I think that's what we used. Oh, sub bomb. There was a sub bomb? My, uh, my, uh, sub list is covered up. Oh, shit. Thanks, Colin Mac. Appreciate it. Yeah, I have all my, like, stat stuff covered up when I do Bento. Also, if you're doing it during the game, I'm definitely not going to see it. Uh, ba -bum -bum. Let's go with... What's a weird one we haven't done in a while? You know what? Let's do Ride. Drive the car as far as possible. Hold right side of the screen to go. Hold the left side of the screen to stop. Tap reset to start over. Farther you go, more points you get. Get your cars ready. I think actually, I think they changed the sprite. Let's find out. Two minutes on the clock. Get as far as possible without flipping your car. Oh no, it's still a car. For some reason I thought it was a dog. It's a very bumpy road this car is driving on. Uh-oh. Oh, no, we're fine. Somehow. No car! Damn it. Also, why are you driving on grass? Because this guy's an asshole, obviously. 
Like, it, you're basically driving, like, Mad Max's car, and you're just driving on grass. He just doesn't know what grass is anymore, so... That's why he's just driving on it. He's driving on a golf course. Hashtag eat the rich. John, where we're going, we don't need roads. Also, all true points. Oh, God, is that... Act oh, God, that is supposed to be the DeLorean. My God, I was trying to figure out what that thing on the back was. My God, I just saw the 43,000 on the scoreboard. Some of you are way too good at these. Oh. Ten seconds left. Get going. Get as many points as you can, car. Damn. 52,233 with from Hara Hara Harako. Well done. Fred Fredberger in second place with 51,986. The Voir. 51,498. Arizona in fourth. Empolog in fifth. Saberic sixth. Pyromuffin in seventh. Joey Gitterman in eighth. Emerald Bard in ninth. And Trombone Kid in tenth. Overall, Fred Fredberger now in the lead with 458 points. Joey Gitterman right behind him at 454. Emerald Bard in third with 446. Amph, 438. Lugia, 428. Cobalt Custard, 424. How to, how to, how to go at 418. Shadow Me at 416. Tied in 8th place with the Voir. Unhelpful NPC at 414. And Mud Kiplings at 411. Next up. I think that was game 5. So this would technically be last game. Might do an extra one. Let's find out. Uh, Let's roll on to... Hmm. I actually want to do add 2. Sum up the numbers to match the goal. Tap two numbers to add them together. If you get it wrong, you'll have to wait a second to try again. Oh, actually, this one? No, actually, never mind. <laughs> I, I, that's not what I thought it was. I'm going to sum 2048. Sorry. I thought it was a different version of, of sum. My mistake. Swipe up, down, left, or right, or tap directional buttons. Combine identical blocks. The sum of all blocks is your score. Pick the wrong one. My bad. Two minutes on the clock. Let's go. Don't know why I picked this. I'm actually terrible at this. But I'm doing it anyways, apparently. As the saying goes, fuck it, we'll do it live. Oh boy. Oh boy, mistakes have been made. I'm doing it. I'm getting points. Hooray. <laughs> Meanwhile, my score has probably been dwarfed by literally everyone else. If I keep playing like this, it definitely will be. Ugh. I don't know how you guys can do this so well, too. Like, I I never really played, uh, like, oh shoot, what's the actual game called? Like, 2048. Some people call it something else. I'm trying to remember what the heck that name is. But, like, I never really played that version that often, so I never really got good at it. Oh, John, you ruined, ruined a pretty good game. Well, my bad. Again, I've never really played this that much, so...
threes. That's the name. Thank you. I knew it was something like that. 266. Fred Fredberger with a 1,138. Good lord. God damn, Fred. 1,138. Mission Patch is second one, 910. Sly Guy with 794. Crimson. I, I want to say that's IVs. Crimson Levels. LVIS. 680. Try Shady with 632 and fifth. Juan Fi at 612. Badoof Man 87 to 582. Mario Luigi at eighth with 574. Arizona ninth with 570. And E2002 OG on 10th with 548. Overall, Fred Fredberger takes a commanding lead now, 558 points. Joey Gatorman at 482. Cobalt Custard at 470. Emerald Bard 469. Lugia 466. Amp 459. Tied with the VAR still. Shadow Me 451. Same with Arizona. In seventh place there. How to how to how to go for 450. Ryuluce 449 and Mud Kipling's in tenth with 448. Everyone's pretty close together except for Fred. We're gonna do one last game and then that's gonna do it for the bento part of the stream. Let's see what's it gonna be. What's a good one to do here? You know we haven't done just build in a while. Build and sell towers before they fall. Tap to drop blocks, stack them up. Tap sell to sell your tower. The taller your tower is, the better the price. There is no random. I have to actually pick. Two minutes on the clock. Let's go. Build your towers and sell them. Capitalism is go in video game form. Just build, lol. Build that tower as high as you can. Make that money. Get them coins. Ah, they do randomize it. Okay. My tower has uh, noticeably fallen apart here. I'm afraid to look at the scoreboard. I'm seeing a 732 already. Good lord. What did you guys do to get that? I mean, aside from the obvious, I've built a good tower. I had a terrible idea. I should have tried it. Oh, wow, that score does really go up real high if you don't screw up the tower build, though. Managed to get to 784 in time. 789, but 1512 is the high score. Andy Pie, wow. Runs away with it. Sly Hedge in second with 1224. Lugia with 1121. Dismal Dim went in fourth, 1115. Alex the Me, 1076. Super Ices, 1059. Matt Zap, 1038. Reluce, 1008. The Voir at 979. And Suva uh, Suvlaki, 96 at 950. Uh-oh, I saw, I noticed a significant lack of a name on that one. Scoreboard! Fred Fred Berger! 612 points. Lugia in second place, 540. Cobalt Custard, 529. The Voir in fourth with 523. Joey Gatorman, 518 in fifth. Reluce, sixth place, 515. Sly Hedge in seventh, 514. Andy Pie, 510. Emerald Bard in ninth with 503, and Shadow Me in 10th place with 501.
Was the star by your name mean? The star is the, uh, the uh, avatar you've set. So if you click on uh, your name, hang on, let me, let me kick us back to the lobby here. If you click on your name in the top left there, you'll see like what team you're on. Uh, my menu didn't load for some reason. That's weird. Oh, okay. It's just my phone's being crappy again. You can pick your badge. The default badge is star. Uh, if you didn't pick like what streamer brought you here. So the experience you get lets you also buy uh, different icons to use as well. Buy, quote unquote. It means I'm famous. Good job, Haruko. I'm proud of you. All right, let's go to break. <laughs> Hang on. Beavis and Butter are talking first. Public. All right, let's drop some eggs before we get to the gaming tonight. First and foremost, we have a gift sub bomb from Colomac V3. Inferno Dragon 343 gets a sub along with Gamer Hero 49, Guy Gasher Raiden 79, and Alex Finn 1456. Or Axel Finn, rather, sorry. Let's also say thanks to the following people Lance FX for two, Hero Chaos Chow uh, for new. Super IZ. Oh, the numbers are missing on some of these. Okay. Super IZ for new. I'm going to get some of these wrong because I think our thing is acting a little weird. Apologies. I know some of these do have are supposed to have numbers next to them. Lance FX, Hero Cast Chow, Super Icy, Wonder Tactics, Jelly and I, Blast136, Omi, Legion Immortal, Nitro CR, Dax99, Riggle NB, Moreland Knight, Lufatal for 38, Gokai Orange, uh, Firestorm World 99, Reaver Valentine, Symbion uh Symbionis. Symbionis? Paula Haley. Nintendo Fan 1038, Brando Draco Bin, Draco Burn. My God, I'll learn to read someday. The Crates, Jim the Barbarian, Pokenatic, Blue Dragonfire, or Orca Master 192, The Omega Bear, Jacob Walters 912, Malset, That One White Wolf, Trevor Blade, Tetra Zelda, Nick EPC, To Crazy Dude, Nintendo's Gamer, alongside Tomoyo, gifted a sub to Fred Fredberger, the winner. Eric Bloodsmith for 13, Jellion for 11, Purple Akita for 44. And that's it. Thank you all for subbing, guys. Your eggs tonight. Our courtesy of the following people. Also, hi, villain. How you doing? All oh, right, I cleaned up the carton. That's why it looked weird. Uh, Green Day with Proton Meme Jeopardy, Episode 2. Which is not loading. Alright players, this yearly event, which features well-known Let's Players and streamers, including Proton John, Chugga Conroy, and Nintendo Capri Sun, raised over $100,000 for direct relief in 2018. Kermit. Aha! The Muppets, Party Cruise. Um, no. No! Wesker. <laughs> Complete global saturation. No. <sighs> Do you have an answer for us, Captain Falcon? Show me a moves. Is that all you have to say? Yes! Okay then, at least you're being honest. The correct response, what is the Runaway Guys Coliseum? Welp, that's all the time we have, and- <laughs> Ah, damn it. Bagel just crashed in and activated the Wheel of Fortune timer, which for some reason, after all these years, has now reached over a trillion seconds. Yeah. Damn cat. Only a chatter with you will give me a hamburger. You will give me an hamburger. Well, at least it was honest. 
Joking mask with Geki Thunderbirds. Which is not loading. Five, four, three, two, one. I got real jazzy at the end there. Uh, joking along with... I'm assuming these are just all common riders at this point. Garuda Egg version one. You will give me an... And version two. You will give me an... It was Geki Ranger? Okay. And Thunderbirds are Forze. Which also doesn't Five, want to load. Four, three, two, one. I noticed a trend there. And, oh, no. Okay. I have to do this. It's like my favorite bit. It's like my favorite Speed Racer bit. One of my favorites. There's two. This is the other one. Friends, it is not over yet. Is that all you have to say? A successor will come. Farewell, friends. <laughs> okay. Now, I still like that you went for this, but I need... There needs to be context to this. You need to see Speed Racer. He's going over that cliff. Oh, this is the whole clip. Wow. Okay. And that's it. That's the video. That's just the video. Just really, you just cut it in half and this is perfect. God, I, I love the original Speed Racer so much. It's so bad at times. It's great. The context wasn't needed. I know, but I wanted to show it anyways. All right, we're going to go to break. When we come back, we're going to finish up Guacamelee for game clearing. So I'll see you guys in a bit. He's going over that cliff. Ah!
Alcohol. Hey. Hello. How you doing? I am wonderful, Mr. John. How are you? I'm Hello. doing all right. Lo, 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 uh. I just I just finished uh, Easter ham. I don't you, know what that is. You finished an actual ham. Yeah, we literally had... You ate a whole ham. Went whole I need hog. you to explain the entire concept of Easter to me. Please tell me what Easter is. The idiot boy who does not know the normal things for everyone else. As a former Christian, I have no idea what Easter means anymore. Tell to me the reason of the season. Uh, celebration of Jesus Christ's uprising, being, being resurrected. No, it's to buy candy and be a consumer whore. You got it wrong, Gex. I'm sorry. You've been eliminated. Okay, bye. Have a great night, everyone. Not even I knew that. <laughs> And necromancy. And that's it. Something zombie. So, anyways, no, um, yeah, we just uh just finished some Easter ham and uh, just spent time with family. So we didn't really get to do that yesterday, and everyone was pretty busy. So, well, uh, we'll talk more about ham later because right now we're getting raided by Tenchi. Let's run the guns. Tenchi, how dare you? How dare you ruin the sanctity of shooting things? Tenchi, Tenchi donated during the raid video saying, I'm messing up the raid message. Wee! Proud of you, buddy. Thanks for the donation. All right. Uh, let's take a quick old trip to the art box, and then we'll go on to finish up Guacamele. I need to step away for just a quick minute. All right, I, I you know, shout outs to the call command for today. See that. Mucha lucha. And now All there's right. an even better one. <laughs> First and foremost, I would like to point out we hit leet entries today. So congratulations, epic, on all, being all the lead hacksers out there, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Let's go to the posts. Starting first and foremost with this from Juker. Tonight's round three of Guacamelian. I finally found out what happened to Juan after he was replaced with Roberto De Policia. He found his way into Soul Calibur Six. It's beautiful. It is, except for the face. That's like the one thing I was like, you just can't do this mask. Mm -hmm. Pizza in a cone. I just found this restaurant today. Are your streams cursed to affect the real world? Does reality bend to make your memes real? God, this you do not want me having that kind of power. I mean, that that's already a thing that people do in New York. You basically fold the pizza. Oh, I thought okay, you meant so I thought you meant bend reality. Okay, so I just come back and I see pizza in a cone. What the hell am I looking at? Yeah, that's literally what you're looking at, pizza in a cone. It's it's honestly pretty normal. Here is a bagel as a cross stitch. 
a little cross stitch pattern in case you too want to stitch yourself a bagel. You know, someone's gonna actually do that, right? Like, they'll Probably. be like, oh, I know what to get yeah. John now. Kermit with some eggs! Merry Frogmas, one and all! Five of them. More eggs! I guess everyone's getting caught up from Easter. Since we technically did not stream on Easter, although we bled into it. Don't know why it's sideways, but hey, a popular tradition in the San Antonio area this time of year is the confetti egg. Basically, you can crack these over someone as a joke, usually by crushing it in your hand and sprinkling it over your target. This confetti egg needs no explanation to its inspiration. I've actually done that, and uh, my dog at the time thought it was like a treat, and I was like, No! Oh, no! <laughs> dog, no! Don't eat the delicious confetti treats. But it's so good. It feels are bad. Don't All right, I knew, this, I knew this was going to come up at some point. Commemorating your masterful performance on the perfectly normal arcade pit. You know, you know, John, I feel like a lot of people miss that. Would you be able to do a reenactment of that no, for us? No, no, I can't, you... actually, because I don't think I can physically do that voice ever again. I'm pretty sure I may have killed my vocal cords in the process of trying to do that. Okay. I realized halfway through it, I was starting to do Majin Buu, and I think I just kind of rolled with it. I, I have to say, John, as a as a voice actor, I thought your performance was well done. You hit all the right notes. Your character was so realistic. I it just it made me shed a tear. I know you said you want us to submit stages for Coliseum on Twitter, but I couldn't resist posting it here as well in case anybody here want to preview the stages I'm submitting. First up, a sort of functioning pong stage. I already tested with the level eight with eight level nine CPUs, and it is intense. I am actually curious to see how that's gonna go. I'm gonna look at that later. Dude, can I, just a kind of like a side note, can I just say, some of the creativity on Stage Builder has been it's fucking so good. phenomenal. It's, oh, so, it's so good, good. dude! It's, I like how they really actually gave more of the creativity, <laughs> especially with... What the fuck It's is Chris, that? Chris Redfield, baby! <laughs> Because nice. I watched Resident Evil 5 LP with Super Genius a fair number of times, Chris in his heavy metal costume always immediately comes to mind when I think of the character. So fun, so for fun, I made him in Soul Calibur 6. That rules. Hell yeah. 6 is an extremely good tool. Hang on. There's a video for me to check, apparently. But yeah, no, like, going back to stage mode, <laughs> like, I've been seeing some <laughs> of the... <laughs> I actually could have taken And I have nightmares for the rest of the night, thank you, whoever. Of course. of course. The tools they give you in Soul Calibur, I see he's a man of culture, knowing that you use the most unorthodox tools. You shove, like, apples <laughs> into people, or, like, masks, or, like, upside-down masks. In Universe 4628, Proton Spoon, Luca Note, and a bagel drawn on a plate have successfully moved into their new microwave home. Good luck on packing up for the move, you guys. Maybe I'll mail you the spoon or something. You can auction off during the Coliseum or whatever it feels like the funniest thing to do with it. You know that shit could sell. Be like, oh yeah, sure. Just... I got my prizes from the Crane Game tour about today, and one of them is a Gengar plushie that I dubbed him Weedgar in your honor. Nice. It's a very happy Gengar. What is this? Ah, yes! Hey, all super icy here. I thought I might leave an update on the Proton Splat League. So, an arbiter and myself are league officials, and we also are members of teams. So, as fate would have it, we're members of the top two teams of the league. And what else? We're supposed to play each other this week. We started joking about maybe streaming this as a primetime match, and then Guy Gasher offered to stream for us. And now, since things in this community can happen, sometimes go too far, we're actually going to stream the match, jokingly branded as Wednesday Night Proton Splat League. So, this will be hosted at Guy Gasher's Twitch for anyone interested. So yeah, before the uh, stream, if you want to watch that, uh, you can do you can go ahead and check that out. That'll be a good match, and you can also see how the league is going so far. If you want to check up more and join the server for the Splat League, uh, I believe it is... Is it just Splatoon? Or exclamation Splatoon in the chat, or is it exclamation Splat? I forget what the command is. Well, I can tell you it's not Splat Tim. It's not Splat Tim? It is not. Should be... It should be Splatoon. If, if Splatoon. I made the command, I would have made it Splart. Splat League. It's either League or Splat League. <laughs> there you go. You can join the Discord there and see when these matches are happening and maybe join in on the next season. All I right. really wanted to join, but there was not enough people for me to get a team, so I was like... Pfft. Already, we've got Art of Gex eating a ham. Shut the fuck up. Oh, god damn it! 
All right, and with that, this lovely pizza glove from Maniacal. Guess what actually exists? You shouldn't be surprised, Michael. I'm not surprised. I'm not. <laughs> and, He's waiting all day for that. And a picture of Horizon Chase Turbo for some reason. Let's do it. It's time oh, to play made. some guacamelee. Yeah, time no. To rock out with your guac out. Yeah, no. Uh, H is decided, but we're not going to be playing that tonight, even if we finish guacamelee in time. Because I got a pack. Damn. I, I can't. Some... At some point, no, I, I do have to get my house ready so I can leave it. I had it all planned out as soon as you were done with guacamelee to just go mm. put it in H. Put it in H. So guacamelee, I have heard of this game. I've heard extremely great things about this. If you love Metroidvania, and memes. I'm actually very curious to see this. It's. I like Very the game, but it's it's weird in the sense that you have to actually play the right version of the game, if that makes sense. Wh yeah, wow, this, this game Super had Turbo some... Championship oh. Edition. Yeah, this is the right what? version of the game. Yeah, there are the, three what, versions no of the game. There's no 32X version of it? No, there, there was the regular version, and then they were like, all right, we're going to release a better version instead of updating the game for some reason. I'm sure there was some reason for it. And you would think, okay, whatever, they re-released it once, that's fine. As, as gold version. And then they, they really re-released it again as Super Turbo Championship Edition, which is the best version of the game, but it's like, wh why? Why didn't you just update the other one? It's kind of weird. All right, so between streams, I said I was going to oh. come back here and actually... Made it. Oh, yeah, you're not aware of this. Yeah, no, this this is our character. Oh, my Roberto de Policia. dear we'll give her an egg. sweet... Whoa! Lord. Yes, those are sensor bars on his nipples. Yes. Gotta keep it clean for the stream. Oh, I thought those were eyebrows. <laughs> 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 so, I remember Dalton was doing the Smash Tunes. He was said he was working on a mod. I This is the finished version? Dude! Yep. Legit! This is the finished Legit! version. Legit! All right, so uh, between streams, I said I was going to come back and do the Inferno challenges, and I actually did. So we needed to get 10 bronze to open the first door, 10 silver to open the second, and 10 gold to open the last one. So I did all three. I've already gone in and done this one. There's a bunch of guys you can talk to that are working. Oh, no, accountants. Yep, and at the end is a chest full of 5,000 gold. So I actually have like 11,000 pesos right now. I have a lot of money. The silver door is the one we actually care about. Because it's a new power. Nice Chuzzo yeah, reference If you were going to play the You Will Give Me an Egg clip, that now is like the best time. I think You kind of have to at this point. Egg bombs! Oh, of course. Of course. We are an egg that lays eggs. It's perfect. Yeah, this is one of the things that's new. Uh, this power was not in the other version. As well as uh, Intenso, which you would think would have been in the other versions. Because a lot of people were surprised about that. And in the gold door. Oh, this is Goldman's office. He, just re he really needs, like, an actual working elevator. I mean, you have the wall run, right? It's Thank hell. you! Not, forgot. Won't. You know... A winner is you! Oh, this is four player. Yep. Yes. I think specifically this version is four player. Uh, oh, 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 the possibility. It might be a little too crowded. Like, I would say probably stick to like two or three for sure. There's Bagel. There's Dilbert's boss. There's the actual devil. Souls are down. Welcome to my office. Sorry about the clutter in here. Work piles up when you're usurped and banished, eh? <laughs> been so busy right. since I've been back. You know, checking in on the team, keeping the morale high. So your assistance reopening my elevator is appreciated. Good luck getting Glock out of your world. I'm much too busy to assist, but there's something over there that may interest you. A big door! The mouth.
Oh, it's a jawbreaker. God damn it, you beat me to it. Aha! I've got an orb! Uh, from what I am aware of, getting all of the orb pieces is how you get the good ending. Also, there's a good ending. <laughs> oh, this game has multiple endings? Oh. I wouldn't say multiple so much as just two, but yeah. All right, cool. But we need six of those. Four. Yes. So that's one, and then there's one for beating the game. So you are guaranteed to get at least one. All right. So really, there's there's actually five because you you have to get that one. Is literally the good ending just um. Uh, just the good destructing ending. the mask. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna be real with you. What the good ending is. So the good ending is that if you get all the orbs, he actually gets rid of the sensor bars. <laughs> Dalton, has <laughs> Dalton has confirmed they are indeed eyebrows. Oh, uh, what? Can't do this yet. I was gonna say I think I need a different move for that. Yeah, you don't have it. You are missing the last move. All right, and with that, that's all, that's all we can do here. Actually, wait, yeah. what we can do here is we can spend all our pesos. So you have 16,000 pesos. This version is too lewd for stream. It's oh, up to John, not me. All right, let's see, what else can we buy here? Let's buy some more health. Spicy. Let's buy some more stamina. Oh, you bought the last health, nice. And the last stamina. All right, let's buy some moves, huh? I'm gonna laugh if the final move you need to get is literally like a 16,000 paywall. <laughs> oh, I mean, the so moves are evil. way cheaper than the other stuff. The other stuff is just better. Mm. Can I interest you in buying respawn boosts? No. <laughs> I'm glad you remembered. Mm. I take it that's a bad thing. It's not bad, it's just, it's for multiplayer only, so it's Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, it is just, okay. you respawn faster if you die, which... Why yeah. does it say level one if it's just... What, that's it? it? Yeah, it's still level one. It's level one of one. Good. Great, fantastic, absolutely a mama. Let's get the hell out of here. Ah, ha, 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 Goodbye, Flavor Town. We'll we'll miss you. All right, let's get back to where we're supposed to be. Unfortunately, we don't have the warp open to actually get to where we're supposed to be. So we're gonna have to do a little bit of backtracking. I love all the music in this game. It's so good. All right, so we got a couple treasure chests we can probably get now. So how about we? Oh, you reminded me that there was a side quest apparently you bumped into at yes. some point off stream. I'll go back and get that in a second here. Yeah, I have no oh, idea that's, where that that's, was. That's slippery. I can't even do that. Never mind. I guess I can't even get that one yet then. Oh, oh hi. Never mind. That's cheating. That's, that's cheating. Uh, good music plays. All the music in this is just good. Yeah, I'm taking a listen to it right now. Very, very lively. Very. That's, that's Mexican culture. It's why I love Mexican culture. They're just. They put so much personality and love into everything they do. Shoutouts to the uh, the Mexicans in the chat. You guys are awesome. Uh, should we bother with anything else, or should we just move on? <laughs> There's all that stuff over there we didn't do, but I think we just should get the next ability any, then. Any, any purple is egg, but like I said, it, it's going to be easier if you just get the next ability, because that's the last ability, and then we never have to go back. Yeah. Uh, let me remember where I'm actually supposed to be going, though. Oh. So, out of sheer curiosity, if you wanted to 100% this game, how long would that take? Um, probably a few hours, if you know what you're doing. I'm sure the speed runs like three hours or two hours, if you want 100%. But that involves getting all the golds, I think. I don't know if that counts or not. I don't think you need all the goals. I think you just need the 10. Unless, like... 100, 100%, you know? Oh. The patented 101%. 
All right, so here was the side quest that I skipped. This guy here. It's a skeleton. Used to be quite the adventure myself during life, but these days the party schedule around here is just so packed with all the party cleanup, party prep, party partying. It's super hard to find time. Recently I've heard that five Aluxes are lurking in the canal, giants and freakish experiments of Kalakas. Uh, in my fleshier days, I would have been all over that. Strike out of town, and bam, pow, see ya monsters. But as you can see, we're gearing up for a real rager here, so if you could find and destroy all three of those, I have some old supplies in the basement that I think will be a help in your quest. So, go back is what I'm understanding out of that? Like I said, if you want to just do it after we get the other ability, it'll be... Let me just see if they're marked on the map, if they're not that far away. Don't remember if they are. Hmm. Chat, do you know if it's, uh... you know if it's worth going to get them? Uh, Edo's asking what you're trying to get. Whatever that side quest is. I have to find uh, the Axles or whatever it said, the five uh, Alexos? Or I forget what the hell. Isn't that one of them? I don't know. Well, if you're looking for Axles, you really should have had it memorized. I don't think that's quite the same one. Is not? Oh, uh, what happened? Eluxus, that's Eluxus, it. Eluxus, yeah, that's the one. So where are those roughly in the map, for those who know? Floating Mayan skeletons. Okay, so it's not the guys we're dealing with right now. Is it you worth trying to guys. find those? I mean, like I said, it would be easier to just do everything once we just get the last ability. Because then nothing's closed off. Alright. Angry gnome enemies, though. Apparently. They're all over the canal. You have to search the whole place. All right, that's the question I was more so asking. Thank you. So we'll worry about those later. 100% is around an hour 37. Nice. To 100% this game? That seems pretty low. No, most Metroidvanias no, are around that, that time. That's pretty normal, honestly. Really? To 100%? I yeah. would think that it would take longer just to, for all the backtracking and everything. Oops. I'm gonna go ahead and take a drink. Oh yeah, Coco is a really good movie. If you like this game, please go watch Coco. It is so, extremely good. So, so you, you mentioned that, and I recently watched that. I am... Oh my god, that actually got me right in the gut for emotions. So, oh yeah, my goodness. That was like one of the last movies I think I remember watching while I was at the movie theater, and I saw it twice. So during like the really super emotional scene of the movie, I had this like really good shit-eating grin on my face. I just turned to my friend to say that he's like crying super hard. I'm just like, ah. Dude, oh no. Oh, dude, no. That gave me like the same almost emotion as the up monologue. Oh. Oh yeah. That was such a gut puncher. Right, the shields I gotta worry about now. Coco was so good. It is probably one of the best of the Pixar movies. I would say, I think Inside Out is a better movie, but like, they're both really up there for me. Costume am I using? The Robert Cop costume. Whoa! Dalton made it, Smash Tunes. So we got our own custom us. Yeah, I think oh, we God. went into this room and then stopped. No, we got a little bit farther than this. Okay. Yep. Yeah, if you really know the Mexican culture, there's a lot of really cool things that they like put everywhere in the movie. Like Fruticalo is uh, important. Uh, some of the super famous luchadors. I think that was actually kind of part of the reason why Incineroar actually got into Smash was because uh, 
there it was like a homage to like one of the luchadors from Japan. I do believe that sounds right. Man, I can't believe this game put a mural of Kobo Khan on the wall. Oh my god, Joker. I can't believe we're like 20 minutes away from Mortal Kombat 11 coming out. I'm excited to pick it up tomorrow. Let me know when you want to play. I'm getting it for PS4, I'm... remember? We have Parsec, remember? Right. I think this is... I think this may actually be one of the first Mortal Kombat games I'm actually picking up in a very long time. Nice. 9 and 10 were fun. Yes. Now, I'm curious though, because uh, which one was it that did the horror film characters? 9 and 10. 9 and 10, yeah. 9 had Freddy Krueger, 10 had uh, almost Jason. everyone else actually. Jason, Leatherface, I don't know if you'd count Alien and Predator. I, I mean, they're more uh, action movies. I consider them movie characters. Well, no, I mean like more action even. Like, I guess Alien's kind of horror, but like Predator's really an action thing, I would say. But it's, but they were pretty well known, especially within For that sure. kind of movie culture too, especially during that time. Yeah, they, they have leaked. Uh, apparently, there was a lot of files in the Switch version. I'm not gonna say them, but you can you can find them. There's some very interesting guest characters in Eleven. Is all I'll say. I'm I'm pretty happy with it. One oh, of the you mean no, one, oh, you mean when somebody spoiled it on a thumbnail for a YouTube video? Yeah. No. I kind of, oh, you mean what always happens with, with data yeah, leaks? Yeah, you know, just to get that click. You know. Gotta YouTube. get that clickbait, baby. Gotta earn gotta that $5. That you, gotta make that YouTube ad revenue because, God forbid, YouTube's system is so bullshit. Anyway, gotta find some way. Hey, you like this game. How about I spoil everything for you? God. The algorithm says you don't need to have fun anymore. Yeah, if you don't like it, uh, too bad. I, which was the worst reasoning I've ever heard anyone say. Also, um, update tomorrow too. Kingdom Hearts 3 Critical Mode is added tomorrow. Oh yeah. Cool. It's a free update too. We'll Anyways, back to Guacamelee. Um, M MK11 is probably like one of the games where like they did such a good job making all the characters that like all of them look fun and each character they revealed was like way better than the last which is a very rare thing oh boy am I running away from the lava microtracks transactions oh yeah, shit that's ah uh, yep, that's I can never walls. I can never recognize the walls in time for some reason if, I know they're yeah. green and I know that's what it is, but I never, for some reason, they blend in too much in my mind's eye. See, the microtransactions aren't really a problem in the new game because, like, everything's just cosmetic. You don't, you don't need them. I, th I think a lot of people forget that. It's not like Injustice where there's, like, stats or anything. So, I am actually legitimately curious, and this is probably... A more of a question for like those who are like diehard Mortal Kombat fans. How many characters are there in total? Thirty-five, um, I think. Base roster, or because I know there's always the staple characters that will always be in. Um, um, there's always those staple characters that will always be in the Mortal Kombat games. But aren't there like ones that just like take turns like either being in different games? So sort on of. And so forth? I mean, like Scorpion wasn't in one of the games. If you can believe that, he wasn't in MK3. Now a lot of people see who really knows this are gonna be like, he was in MK3. I played it. And I'm like, nah, you played you played Ultimate MK3. Yeah. He wasn't in the original. There are no ninjas. Yeah, Ultimate World Combat 3 is considered the way better version. Yeah, I was, I was Skeletons about complaining this. of joint pain and weak bones. Skeleton cows not producing milk. We must meet the quotas or Kalaka will never resurrect our dear Pedro. Really? Tibula and fibula? Yep. It's all so complicated. You know there are 27 bones in a hand? Their hands are just giant spikes! If you've got your hands dirty for a change, these delicate fingers must be preserved for picking. Besides, some people are just natural managers. On that note, let the inspection commence! Okay, let's have a look-see. This one looks fine. Oh, feisty, I like this one. 
Oh my, we're fine bone structure. Let's see what you can do. Ooh. Great screeching Skeletor. Send these ones off to that wretched forest. Let's stay on track. Next batch. Edo, I had a lot of fun voicing these characters in my Let's Play. Yeah, this game is... <laughs> yes, yes, now this is more like it. Excellent, another fine candidate. Three out of three! I think that's a new record. Wait a minute. Hey, where's your sombrero? Ah, it's that flesh man from the canal! I'm not Sombrero, I'm all Brero. <laughs> You're proving harder to get rid of than that wild pack of dogs that chases out of Santa Lucita. I would, who would have thought a day of the puppy petting zoo could turn so quickly? Meat man, you've wasted enough of our time. We've got prototypes to complete and quotas to meet. Why don't you take our latest creation for a spin? It's time to, f oh, that's a big boy. An Why, why is the player character Roberto de Policia? It's because Dalton made a really cool mod that you can find on the Steam Workshop right now and download if you have the PC version of the game for Super Turbo Championship Edition. Yay! Buy it today, it's free. Buy it with your imaginary money. Uh, I might as well just get the wrestling move upgrades at this point. Oh boy. Ah, these guys. Get the group. Edo, how, how is Japan? Are you, are you still there? Oh, that's right. She, no, she got back pretty recently, I believe. Okay. I, I liked all the pictures I saw. I'm sure Edo's favorite place was probably the Curry Cafe, if I had to guess. Dude, I want to go there so badly! Oh. My sister, um, my sister went, actually came back from Japan herself. Um, they went to the Kirby Cafe, and my sister told me, you know, if they will, they'll give us some of the, or if they do it, they'll give, like, Kirby, um, memorabilia or something like that. So I'm not sure if that was the case, but my sister brought some really cool shit back from Japan. Like she got me all the um, Gengar, like these really cool Gengar uh, keychains, uh, a sticker, and a uh, Deadpool figurine. Nice. It was legit. I was like, dude. And she was like, yeah, the Pokemon Center is like great. It has all these really cool shit. America does it got squat. Here's all the cool stuff I got to do that you didn't. It's the, it was their honeymoon. That's fair. To be fair. But it was nice though she was considerate like of all the family members. She got my grandmother something, she got my mom this really like gorgeous like um, hand painted like compact mirror with a flower on it. Uh, she got my dad a um, a sword which or something like that. I don't know how. She probably Oh god. <laughs> Oh god, uh... Have fun. You can do this. Oh, John, this is easy! Oh, I should've stalled one more time and I would've had it. Yeah, I was... Honestly, I thought you were gonna get that first try. Which means we'll be here for another two minutes at least. Oh, I saw that. There we go. Peep. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. All right. First try. It's time to fight uh, Wendy Okupa. Yeah, kind of, kind of looks like it, huh? I don't know if it's intentional. Doubt it. Well, actually, no. You're right. Maybe. This game loves its memes and references, so. All right. All right. All right. This is getting to be a bit annoying now. You two. Need to stop canceling out every all the work I'm doing here. Hey John, uh, Edo's got a question for you in the mod chat. 
No. Uh, I'll check it in a second. I'm a little busy. Yep. When you have the chance. Uh. Oh. Uh, Dabby Wonder. Sure. Oops, that's not the dodge button. That's the egg button. Ah, uh, the egg button. Oh my god, these shields are so annoying! Oh, you got intense though. Yeah, I only just got it. Dude, the shield breaker is so good. Oh, I missed, really? There we go. Hello. 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 I'm like super happy that you're playing this game. <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, this was G's recommendation, honestly. So <laughs> mainly oh, thank G, I guess. G for that. <laughs> hey, G's got good taste. Yeah, I, I remember when I had first played this. Gosh, when was this? Because this was a game that Jason got. It was part of like one of the Xbox like gold like nice. games. I think I, I, think was... I got this when like I... this game, Super Turbo came out, whenever that was. Yeah, I remember it on Xbox. There was the time for like uh, free games for gold. And that was one of them. So that's why I got to know this game. And then I did a Let's Play of it. So I was like, sure, I'll play it. Dave played a good portion of the game more than I did. We did co-op. It was fun. Nice. How is it co-op, by the way? I was curious about that. Uh, co-op is not bad. Um, dude, we cheese it at the very end of the game, though. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm waiting to see if you get what I think you're going to get and uh, and see what you do, because we really kind of just cheese the ending of the game. <laughs> like, we were not supposed oh, to play it where we were. <laughs> I would say that's Probably a good time to use Intenso if I'm also... Yeah. Yeah, I just love the game the mechanics in this. Oh, this game mechanics is so fun. It they really are. Fun. It reminds me... It, it was like a certain... There's another beat-em-up that I feel like I play with that, that feels like this kind of mechanic. And I'm just trying to remember going through my game, cap, game list what, what it feels like. That's so mean, giving you an enemy that you're supposed to use the jump move on. Yup. Who just joined the call? It's Edo. Edo, tell them about yourself. Hi, I'm Edo. <laughs> I just came back from Japan. <laughs> so I'm still not quite in the time zone I need to be. <laughs> you're still, still a little jet lagged. It's been weird, but I'm, I'm I'm off for a few days. I don't go to work till like uh, Thursday, so it's kind of nice to get a little bit of a break before. Mm -hmm. I bought a lot of Kirby stuff. I, I am not surprised. <laughs> this does I not surprise me even remotely. So, so talk about Japan. This was your first time going to it, correct? Yeah, I want to hear about uh, no, Disney. This is my third. No. Fourth. Third time going. No, fourth time going. Fourth time you, going. You gotta get dust boot. I mean, it, it, look at the name. It's the boot. <laughs> um, dust boot. Dust boot. Dust boot. <laughs> no, we um. So, for those who don't know, um, me and Jason we work for airlines, so we go by standby. Um, we unfortunately lost a day because we just didn't get good luck in the first day flight, so <laughs> we lost the day. It's kind of sucked, but um. We kind of just did almost like basically the same things that we had done like last year. Uh, which was too bad. <laughs> just really wanted to do the entire trip over again, basically. Basically. Well, we... So we went to Tokyo Disneyland uh, last year. So this year we went to Tokyo Disney Sea, which is kind of like... I like to think of it as like a cross of Epcot and California Adventure. Um, it's different kind of sections and... It was really, really fun. I loved it. Uh, That's we cool. went on a couple rides. Uh, Tower of Terror was really fun. Uh, mm, oh God, I hate that ride. Did you say <laughs> they changed it from looking at your Twitter? It was like they... Yeah, so 
there's like a story I'm... now. I guess I guess there was always a story on the ride, but now it's it's a different. Well, what? originally at California Adventure, it was Twilight Zone, Tower of Terror, so it was like that theme. Then they changed it to Guardians of the Galaxy because of you know Marvel. Um, but this one is just like it's just a story of like a man who gets a relic and is cursed. That's like the whole thing. <laughs> Because tw they don't know Twilight Zone. So. Man, I, I wonder. If, you remind me if uh, they're gonna update the like American ones with uh, heel. Now that he's doing that. Oh, that's true. I uh, need to get around to that. If you don't know I, who heel is. He's the uh, guy who did us and get out. Right, and get out and us. Heel. Um, I'm not sure if they can because of rights issue. I'm not sure. It's really, it's really hard to say. I guess we'll find out in like three years. To but, be fair, um, knowing like Jordan Peele, he's probably like, yo, that'd be fuck awesome. Fuck yeah, I'll do it. Yeah. Hell yeah, I'll be involved with Disney. Exactly. <laughs> or, sorry, D Disneyland might be the better way to put it. No, I thought Tower Tower was in Disney World. It's, it's in both. Land, world. Either one. Yeah, everyone still knows that, land is the portable version of the park. You want to have it on the still, go? Still, that ride, that ride forever scarred me and gave me acrophobia to this day. It it, it just sucks. Uh, <laughs> Happy <laughs> well, world land. Well, unfortunately, when you go on a ride that drops you like 72 stories when you're 11 years old. Yeah, <laughs> you kind of go, <laughs> I want to go home now. No, not quite the same reference, Edo, but yeah, it sort of works. <laughs> That's what I thought. Of. <laughs> I can't remember how that song goes either. It's been so long since I watched that movie. So anyway, so back to Japan. Uh, so Disney Sea was the one thing we did. Um, we went to the next day was the Kirby Cafe. So shout outs to my coworker because <laughs> she's the one that got the reservation. <laughs> Because, wow. yeah, you have to reserve for that. And at first, we weren't getting any luck with getting a reservation for it. And someone canceled, so we managed to get one. Oh, nice. So we did that. That was amazing. And the best, probably my highlight for the whole trip <laughs> was going to that Kirby Cafe. I wish I could have stayed there forever. It was amazing. Oh, I see what I did wrong. Okay. I wanted so, to try all of these. <laughs> I couldn't. So, yeah. what was like the um the entrees and the kind of the atmosphere there? So everything's Kirby. So basically, like, so one of the things that I found out, which was kind of interesting, is so both me and Jason went. Apparently, if you go by yourself, you're the person that sits across from you is a waddle dee, mm -hmm. which <laughs> I'm like, damn it! I, I would have went alone just for me. that. <laughs> <laughs> like darn it, Jason, it was me. We could have uh, answered the question of how a waddle dee, like in the in the anime, remember? You were, oh yeah, that's right. <laughs> you just put like a cookie into its <laughs> hole. It's not even a hole. It's just like put it on their face Bear. and it just gets absorbed. <laughs> absorbed. That that show that. is so cursed in the best ways. I love it. That it's show is cursed. That show is cursed, but it's in a good way. But the show is still cursed. It Dude, is. I think that's like one of the only few like video game animes that's actually. Remember the biggest oh, yeah, thing of that entire series when you find out the guy from Enemy is just really tiny? Dude, yeah. that fucking shocked the shit out of me. I was like, you're tiny. You thought he was a normal human, and then it was just like, nah, man. <laughs> the movie camera slightly. <laughs> One of the best gags in the show. Oh it, god, it I love I, Kirby anime is like, if you've or, never uh, watched it, people in chat, highly recommend it. It's called Kirby Right Back at Ya. <laughs> Remember that one time that Meta Knight skinned a penguin alive and was just wearing their skin and like oh, what? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah I do not remember this happened. episode. Everyone's like sneaking into the castle. They have these like fake penguin guard outfits, and then it's like they see what they think is a real penguin guard. And Meta Knight's just like, "Yo, sup?" And he just like opens its mouth, and it's like, "What? How did you do that?" It's Meta Knight. Meta Knight can do whatever he wants. <laughs> Oh no is, no! Isn't he like Antonio Vanderas in in the in the pretty dub? Pretty much. In the dub, he pretty much is. He's very oh. good. I, I love my, one of my favorite lines in the dub is, "Hey, Meta Knight, how's it going?" Very, very badly. badly. <laughs> yes! <laughs> God, so the anime is just so good, and there's some super like heartbreak um episodes too. The robot dog. Oh my God. 
damn it. Oh, you know, you could have wall run up. I, I think didn't, I didn't think that like would this. work. I thought that would have moved me down. It's the answer to like every time you're on the wall, okay? <laughs> all right, <laughs> all right, fair enough, fair enough. That's the thing that's crazy about Gokamele. I do feel like it does give you a bit of a challenge. I do like that. Ah, Jason did a lot not of the crazy stuff. Oh you're my gosh. Breaking, as they call it. Am I? <laughs> yes, you are. <laughs> Am I? You are absolutely sequence breaking. <laughs> Look at you, Mr. Speedrun guy. Oh my god, I just got to see it. It's okay, I sequence break so badly in the end of the game. <laughs> it was so worth it though. I'm pretty sure this is impossible to do. Where where am I supposed to go? <laughs> I literally went back this way because I couldn't see anywhere else to go. Um oh. where are we in? Get to the top of the Sierra through the volcano. That's 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 the objective. So how did we go from talking about the Kirby Cafe uh, to talking about the Kirby anime to talking going back to Guacamele? <laughs> Welcome to a Proton John stream. It comes Hi. to full circle. <laughs> I don't think you can get back unless you save and quit. Oh no! Is it literally one of those? Oh no! No, fuck all y'all. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> Wait, save it quick. Fuck this shit. I'm Proton John. I don't know. don't I test do me. It. Don't test me. All I had to do was not believe in you. I'm so happy. So, anyways, the Kirby Cafe. Uh, the Kirby Cafe. Um. Uh, hold on, hold on. Go, go back to the skeleton. See if the center of it. There's like a door there. I tried. There was no prompt oh, to go up. Can't go in that yet. Okay. I think that's after you hit all the levers. Yeah, I believe so. I believe it's when you hit all the levers. So, it's been a while since I played this game, so. <laughs> and Jason did most of the navigating, because, you know, Jason. <laughs> I'll try the door again, but, like, I really don't see where to go. Oh, it's I, closed, I, yeah. I yeah. You, unless you change reality. Did, did you do that at the door? I mean, it has a sparkle for that to matter. Okay, right. So I think you want to go up. I can't. <laughs> I don't have the other ability yet. Uh, zoom out the map. Weren't we supposed to like go get the final ability? That's what, what I thought final? was over here. What's on the bottom right of the area you're in? Did you go there yet? What, the bottom, this here? Yeah. This emptied out area? Okay, I wasn't sure if the map was like Dun dun or like I'm looking around. There's very few, if any, parts that I haven't already done that I can reach. I think the walls oh, I see. in the There's chicken a little area are fake. Down thing. Yeah, I'll check that, but I swear I was already there. The question mark marker is where I'm actually supposed to go. That's the end yeah, that's, of like. That's like the main objective. Yeah. That's been a long while since I played this game. Same here, oh my god, your chicken is an egg. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, no, Dalton really outdid himself on this one. <laughs> that is great. I love, I love when he's a chicken. It's real good. I love, I love the chicken guy that does the training. With Pancho. <laughs> he's really oh, good. Oh, the one with the like the most Pancho. blank stare, a <laughs> stare ever. Oh, I love that chicken. Scroll to the bottom right, there's a red block you missed apparently, but I don't think it's where the power is. Hmm. Red mark? Red block? Yeah, no, I can't reach that That's one. Wait, whoa. Possible. Wait, why is the rest of the map suddenly? That's I haven't gone over here yet. What? <laughs> then unless that's all the same room. That's the only way Red that would even be. Breaking. What? Uh-huh. Uh -huh. So, um, hmm. Not uh, a Proton mm. John stream. <laughs> uh, yep, welcome to a Proton John. <laughs> welcome to game clearing. There was a section on the left as well that was visible. Down there, yeah. Ah, uh, yeah, there you go. And the 
search continue. <laughs> the Wendy pipe. <laughs> Have you really enjoyed this game, John? It's been fun. It's uh, It's got some quirks, but it's been enjoyable. Co-op is not too bad, but there were times where we, like, soft-locked the game. <laughs> <laughs> Do like, you I believe it. Oh, we did that a couple times. <laughs> and it was just like, oh, we just got to reset, and that was it. <laughs> there was one where, what's that one part where you're, like, on the boat, and it's, like, moving by? Oh, oh yes, yeah, that part. So that part, like we, I don't know what we did, but Congrats, like did all it. of a sudden it just <laughs> good. Oh, <went. laughs> that was just a goddamn dead end. What the fuck? Game played you. I think that skull switch was supposed to make platforms appear. I mean, it did, but supposedly the way I went was not right. <laughs> Oh god, what is this? Soft lock denial. <laughs> I must have missed something. Yeah, Chad, if you know what the fuck is going on, please. If it's just a case of where I just missed something, then by all means. I'm. Yeah, unfortunately, I, my memory of this game is not the best. Yeah, when did you play this? Ugh, god knows when. I did a Let's Play, and I was a blind Let's Play at that, so... It was probably like a year after it came out, then if I had to guess. Probably. This game's like, what, four years old? Three years old? Go back uh, to the room. Okay, we're yeah. back here. If I look it up, I'll probably find Go it. where the... platforms get, uh, let you to. In the main room, run up the wall. Oh my gosh. I oh, did this right. Game. 2015. Wow. It was that long ago. Holy moly. Wow. <laughs> Alright, what wall am I running up? <laughs> I assume the, that green one. I, that I hope was... you weren't referring to the one that I tried to run up multiple times earlier. I'm going to assume not. In the middle level. Give me the chest right. No, not a wall run. What are you talking about? I'm trying to read the chat and I'm just seeing. Just go forward. I'll mention it if I see where to go. Okay. I right, tried running up there. I'm like looking back. John, please look at your move list. Okay, here's my move list. Notice I'm missing a move still. Wait, what? Oh. Wait, what? I don't remember you getting that. Did I go have it. On. Did you? Oh, son of a. When God. did I get that? Yeah, I don't remember you getting that. Oh, yeah, you have Ghostfly. Well, you have the power now. <laughs> so, when we literally. Did I get no, I that? I don't remember getting that last time, and I don't remember getting that today. So we literally were here the whole time. We just gonna have to figure out. Oh. oh yeah, to get the red thing, you just gotta uppercut out of that. I really don't remember you getting that. Do you? No, I didn't get it. <laughs> Did you get it off stream? No, I didn't. I would know if I earned a move off stream. I would have been. Did you glitch it? Cool. Might have. Did, did you somehow glitch a move to have now? Well, it was. Well, how does this move work? I guess like this. Yes, it is yeah, like that. Okay. Out of it. Well, you. Well, you're in the section where you had gotten it, so that's the thing. See, that's why I was like, oh, I expected to get here and get the move. That's then yeah, it didn't no, happen. That, that makes sense, but like, I don't remember us getting that. It glitched, I guess. All right. Well, that's that. Whatever. That explains a lot. Yes. John, I swear to God, your glitch power is fucking cosmic. This, well, apparently is, people it, said, like, I was warned about this, and I don't remember being warned about this, so... It's like, the thing with this game is that, like, when you get a power, it usually is, like, Fiesta, you got the thing. Congrats. Yeah. And that would have been it, too, because I remember the goat guy, he tells you that this is the last statue, and 
that, we didn't destroy that. It was supposed to show up in that room. Okay, cool, great. All right, whatever. I wonder if it glitched because I got the egg move. Uh, no, because I got that first before I played this, and I don't remember that happening. Cool. Wow, that's just. Oh, really? What is there like a bug with it? It's a, oh, apparently it is a glitch, so the devs made it auto-unlock after Inferno Challenge number eight. Cool. Cool. That's one way to get around it. Well. No, guy, it, it couldn't be the mod. Though. That's an aesthetic thing, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna trust what, uh, who just said that? Yeah, I'm gonna trust what, uh, Firestorm said. It's a glitch, so the devs made it unlock after Challenge eight, because I beat yeah. Challenge one to ten. Or one to twelve, rather. So, this is just like skins. It wouldn't mess with any of the files that would mess with that. That's, that's no. Not there's no work. way. It's like it's more just like you said. It's just cosmetic. Well, at least I wasn't crazy for not being or being like, where the no, fuck am I supposed to go thing. next? I was like, oh, you, you see things broke, and I was like, wait, what? Is that? Is the nightbot really in Spanish? Yes, it is. Yeah, Mayo put it like that. I'm like, están aquí con John mientras que el poeta e Guacamole y empaca su casa y les aseguro que esto es español real, real y fluido. Es de más manical es malo. Bien. There you go. Muchas gracias, señorita. Muchas gracias. De nada. Edo, you're technically... I'm Hispanic. Uh, <laughs> no, uh, right, but are are you multilingual or just bilingual? Well, she just spoke two languages, so... Yeah, so there, there's your answer. <laughs> Unless you're asking no. if can she speak three. That's what That's I mean. That's true. <laughs> I only know a little bit of Spanish, not a lot, so... <laughs> I'm very white. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we all oh, want to shit. Bullshit, Adam. <laughs> what do you mean? I look, if I look at you, I do not think white chick. <laughs> no, no, no. Edo is like it, white chick, really like, uh, like, like you, you remember the movie White Chick? Oh, that, that's what Edo is. <laughs> white uh, chick. Oh is my so god, that that's a movie I haven't seen. Jesus Christ. That movie is a movie I've not thought about in so long, but I love the, the scene with Terry Crews. Oh shit. Like, my way downtown. Walking fast. I'm Hispanic, but I'm also white. But huh? I really am, like, in the sense of, like... Yeah, Fury also says that she's white, too. <laughs> in, the, in, the, in the sense of, like, I don't really know Spanish, and it's not something really anyone in my family knows. Uh-huh. Um, I'm probably, like, fifth, sixth generation. That's, like, how, how bad it is. Um, I think the only one that knew... Spanish was my grandparents, um, and then I'm basically just. All right, there, there's there's one way to test if you truly are a white girl. I can't do span. I can't do spicy. Are you gonna ask like her what she orders from tamales. Starbucks? Fuck your. How did you know? <laughs> Cause it's the ultimate test. Wait, what wait, was the ultimate? Wait, test? wait, wait. Hold on. There's a test for this shit. Yes, there is. You've got to be fucking kidding me! <laughs> what? What kind? Oh my god! Okay, I want to hear there's, this. Go there's on. There's a big joke that all white girls just really love Starbucks, which is funny because like when I go to Starbucks, I get like the girliest drinks, and I'm just like they taste delicious. So yeah, of course. Wait, when, I, just... when I was in California with uh, some of my friends last year around this time, this, it was like actually a year ago, as of like a couple days ago. Um, I got what was called the crystal ball at the time, the whitest drink out of the two girls the what? and Mayo. It, it was like a limited time drink. Oh. oh, like the unicorn drink. Okay, go it was on. Like that. Didn't try that either, so. Wow. All right. I guess I guess I'm the real white girl here. I knew it. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> yeah, even crazy is like it was a pretty white girl drink. That's coming from Crazy, who gets like the upside down caramel, mocha, venti, almond, soy latte. Yeah, see, I don't go crazy on my drink. I really Dude, I just get a, I just get a vanilla latte. Yes. I just get a vanilla latte. 
or caramel macchiato. One of those I, two. I like the double chocolate frappuccino. Technically, so do I. That's so good. <laughs> now I cannot stand pumpkin spice anything. It's just disgusting. Pumpkin too... spice frappuccino, I don't mind. It's just oh my everywhere, so I don't like it. It's just like oh my have god. Ever had the s'more. The s'more one is so good. Oh, okay. I love s'mores. <laughs> okay, going back to the pumpkin spice thing. In the warehouse I worked at during last year, and it may have it again this year. Greenies, they're these dog treats. They actually had pumpkin spice flavored Greenies dog treats. I almost, I, it. I almost lost my shit. I was like, this thing exists. It exists Why because people will fucking buy it. Like, companies are stupid. But, 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 like, again, it's like, why would you buy something like this for your fucking dog? That's why Because I like people are stupid. stupid. Why do you That's think people make their shit, cats and dogs stupid, vegan? But it just fucking surprises me that people still do it. Oh. Yeah, there's a drama where they're like, look, we, we made this lion vegan. It's just, it's just like skin and bones and it just like coughs up a whole thing of dust. Oh, God. Oh. Anyways, it looks like you found a door opening. Congrats, you did the thing. Also, hey, there's the a thing right there. Let's see if I can make this jump. <laughs> the answer is you no. You can get it from the other side. Okay, good. Means we'll get that before you go in there. Okay, but how do I get the other side? Fly over. Like that, yeah. Oh, oh I, I did still have my double jump. Never mind. Thought I did yeah. for some reason. As a former employee slash ex-employee of technical sport, I can confirm that people are indeed stupid. That is correct. <laughs> As someone has done all forms of customer service. <laughs> oh, don't even joke. Retail, sales, food I service, think you could airline. Get it. Yes. No, I, I, I just I just screwed up because of what I'm supposed to do. Hang on, I need to land and reset my moves. Go straight forward, I think. No, what I'm supposed to do is this. Rooster, jump. I mean, that works too. That wasn't what I was gonna suggest, but sure. I was screwed up because I didn't realize, didn't realize if you jumped, you kept your momentum. All right, boss time. God, Edo, I think a good chunk of us here could talk about customer service stories about oh, yeah, your no. stupidity. Did, did, I ever, oh, did I ever tell you guys the dumbest uh, customer service story that I had from working at the movie theater? Oh, is it is it dumb people time? Is it dumb yeah, story no, okay, time? Okay, all right. So, someone who was drinking so much goddamn dumb bitch juice one day, they came in <laughs> to see a movie. Uh, it's not even important what movie it was. They come in on their day off, and they buy a ticket from me for whatever shitty movie that it was. And then, like, two minutes later, they come back to me, and they're like, I got to refund my ticket. I was like, all right, sure, what's the problem? Uh, you got an emergency or something? She's like... Um, well, no, uh, you see, well, what ended up happening was that, uh, uh, you guys don't have my, my favorite candy, so I'm, I'm, I'm returning the ticket, you know, and it's like, you know, I, I just can't see a movie without getting my favorite candy, you know, it's this whole experience for me, you know, it's my day off, I, I came out here to, you know, have a good time, and now, now I just can't enjoy the movie, I'm not gonna be able to focus or anything if I don't get this candy, and I was just like, okay, lady. Take the money and leave, please. Like, <laughs> like and it, it was fucking goobers, by the way. It was the candy. They were like, <laughs> <laughs> it was just like, really? If anyone's being a goober, it's you, lady. Like, come on. <laughs> All right, well, who, who's next on the, uh, the dumb bitch? Well, uh, before before that, John, it looks like we're in a boss fight. Sure am. That, that's such a fucking stupid reason for a refund. Like, you're, you're sure. I was like, I was even like, you're sure you want to get the refund? You don't want to have a good time and just watch a movie that will make you feel better? No. Yeah. Oh no! What are you thinking? Remix! Yep, remix. Oh no, they remixed the remix. It's back to normal! Or no, you can't so, hurt anymore. Way back in, at my old job, we used to work concerts that had mariachi bands and everything like that. 
I have to say, Mar uh, Marashi bands are like really, really fun, fun to listen to. Mm -hmm. And that's boss. Yay. Yeah, no, that's that's a Mitch Hedberg bit. Uh, remix, remix, goes back to normal. Pedro, dear friend, you've returned. Our last clock has rewarded our efforts. <laughs> we may lie broken, but the time's up for that pesky luchador. The, the mortal world's destruction is assured. I hear the voices of angels. Hush now, my boy. It won't be much longer. Oh, Jesus. No encore. Achievement unlocked. Hooray. <laughs> Whee! Something popped up on screen. I didn't get a chance to read it. So... In terms of story, like I know they were the boss, but what were the what was their specific job slash duty? They technically were the ones that made the skeletons. Yeah, no, they're, they're only in this version of the game, by the way. Really? Ah, there's the teleporter finally. Yes. There's another Crocomall or whatever his name is from from Metroid. They made skeletons of Kalakas. Everyone else said it up. Interesting. So, how many bosses are there in total? Yes. Thank you. <laughs> not that many, for what I remember. There's honestly not too many. You're about to fight uh, Panther Dude, I think, is the next boss. Gold Man! Earlier in the game. Do you know what you're doing? <laughs> I don't. I don't. Oh, yeah, Edda, do you have a Kokon feed up? What? Do I have a what? The COCOM feed, so you can actually see things without delay. Uh, no, I don't. I don't think so. <laughs> okay. Uh oh, well, this isn't gonna work. God, I, there were just so many fucking dumb stories I have from that job of just idiots. Oh. There's so many good dumb stories. It's just like... I, I missed that job for that one reason, but every other reason was like, no, they treated us like shit. I'm, I'm very happy to be gone. I know. You, know, say, you never really talked good about that, that job. No, I didn't. And that's kind of the fun of it. It's like, man, what a fucking terrible job. Like, all I did was shit on it. I think, uh, at my old job, uh, when I used to do security slash customer service, I think the dumbest one I have ever had, we went, we were stationed at a outdoor racetrack. This lady comes up to me. And I'll tell after this cutscene. I admire your spiting spirit, Luchador. You cannot win in the face of such power. Do not follow me any further. If you do, these mountains will be the end of you. Okay. Well. <laughs> well. It's a good thing they put the stairs back in. So continuing on, so this lady comes up to me, red as an apple, furious. And she was like, I want to talk to your manager. I was like, is there anything I can help with? Maybe I can. I'm a supervisor. She's like, no, I want the manager. I was like, okay. So I radio my manager over. Manager comes over. Man, what seems to be the problem? There is no sort of advertisement saying that this was an outdoor race. It is too hot, and I am upset about this. He literally grabs her ticket, points to it, says, outdoor event racing ticket. Yep. She literally was just so dumbfounded. So dumbfounded. She walked away. <laughs> yeah, I'll see you for the rest I, of the day. That reminds me of uh, one other good story with some really stupid old ladies that we had. It was always old ladies were the problems <laughs> I'm noticing at the movie theater. They're, they're like the worst kind of theater patrons. Well, before uh, you so do, the, I think Edo has a turd. <laughs> you, know, you know what I think that what this has become is, you know that episode 
of uh, Batman the Animated Series almost got him. Where, where yes! Like, oh, it's that, but it's like, alright, which one of you has the dumbest story about this? And we're all just sitting around here, and then it turns out that John is actually just one of the customers that we ran into. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! So that John, what, so what's funny. your dumb uh, EV Games uh, story? Well, I threw a rock at a customer. That's it? Yeah. <laughs> I had to uh, chase down Big multiple rock. people who stole things, who stole Band Hero kits, and by really? trying to by jumping over the counter uh, while there was a lineup. But I got lucky, is that when I got out the door, one of my coworkers was actually just coming in for his shift, and also started chasing him down the road. And to make the guy <laughs> stop chasing him, he threw the Band Hero kit at him, at my my coworker, and just floored it. So we went back and we're. Uh, we got it in, and everyone was like, "What the hell happens?" I got like, oh, this. Is happens every now and then. Don't worry about it. <laughs> so we come back. We come back in. We start talking to like our our manager. Be like, "Yeah, we got camera footage of the guy running because he's stupid and didn't realize we had cameras." Uh, and he was in the back of the room where the camera is pointed the most, so he's doubly stupid. Uh, but what do you want us to do with this band hero kid? It's like, D is it broken? It's like, I don't know. He threw it at my coworker, so probably. It's like, all right, we'll just put it in defective. Like, we, but the defective box is half the size of the box for Band Hero. So, we had to just take this giant box and just kind of place it gently on top of the little tiny cardboard box we put the defective games in. But it was still sticking out so far, it was preventing us from opening the back door in the first place. <laughs> so we had to, like, keep shoving it around and being like, all right, that's the bad one. Don't sell the bad one. And then our district manager came in. And he's like, "So what happens?" Like, "Oh, my co like my coworker chased him down and got a, a the game thrown at him." Like, "Oh, okay. That's all." Like, "The fuck have you heard that's worse?" <laughs> and then he told me one that was worse that I can't repeat. But uh, yeah, no, it was worse. Uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> but yeah, no. So uh, he's just like, "All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to use packing tape to tape the games down to the floor." So that no what? one can, the only way people can get the game is if you go get an X-Acto knife, no. remove them from the floor so you can sell the product. This, this is really starting to sound like an episode of Nathan for you with the free TV and the gator. I wish I could actually tell the story about the thing that was worse. But it involves a currently running store and uh, some people that still work with the company and some of my friends, so I cannot repeat it out of respect. But let me just say, man, if you know your EB lore in Calgary, some fucked up shit happened in this company. <laughs> <laughs> so, Edo, I sure you have some wonderful stories. No, no. <laughs> Fair enough. Good well, I, I could tell the, the one I was gonna tell with the, Go uh, the, the bathroom, the old, yeah, all ahead. these old women. They're they're so awful, all of them. So oftentimes, uh, I don't know what it is. But the 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 bathroom here, only the women's bathroom had this like nasty stank to it, and it got to the point where like constantly people would complain about it and then there was like a leak in there so we had to oh stop. yo so, like, any power thanks for the sub bomb pretty big sub bomb so there was uh we had to close off the bathroom and i had to block off the ladies room and everyone's like i gotta go to the bathroom and i was like no there's like a sewage leak in there you can't go in there and it got to the point where like every woman would like start yelling at me angrily and that it, uh, and like what am I supposed to do just like hold it in I'm like I don't know fucking go in the men's room there are stalls in there for a reason and they were so angry they were like what do you mean and I'm like well, I, I mean have you ever like been in a bathroom apparently they all thought the same thing of there is some weird ritual where men go into the bathroom and stare at each other's dicks at the urinal like they're all concerned about that what? Yo, yeah. no, no! Oh my god, I can't believe I have a connection to this that happened last night. Reese Thank thought you. the same fucking thing! Why do women think this? It's not, we don't go around looking at each other's dicks. There are fucking walls there for a reason. It that's is literally, true. walk in, you you do your business. I'm not looking at other people, that's, that's weird. This conversation, 
She was playing 14 last night and this like the same conversation came up. She's like, I don't know what you guys do in the bathroom. Like, do you guys go in groups and stare at your dicks? Like, no, why would you do that? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> wow, that just wow. There are walls there for that exact reason. Like, come ladies on. and gentlemen, what They don't know there's room. walls there. What are they doing in guys' bathrooms? <laughs> Well, it's an emergency oh. like this where the other bathroom is closed and you gotta go. Oh. That's why they're like, you better guide me in. It's like, if I see something, I'm gonna, I'm gonna call your badge. I'm like, I'm Edo, I'm like, sorry. Edo, you said rip me. Don't tell me you thought the same fucking thing. No. Edo? Okay, good. <laughs> no, I do not think there, there, is All right, there are two kinds of people in this world. Oh, those my fucking. Those who and those who think people stare at each other's dicks. Oh, my God. I... I have never just felt so happy yeah, by just the amount of just... The men's room? What? I, is that a real thing? I can't wait, believe wait, that ex Sarah excuse me? Can you actually think that. Can you, can you repeat that sentence? Thing, according to Fury in the chat, that we are told this at a young age, so we don't go into the men's room. I, that's believable, honestly. I have never been told that as a child, so I have oh, no clue. Oh my god, what... Oh, holy shit. I don't know how to respond to that. Wakamele over here. Looks like we're chasing <laughs> Panther Dude over here. Right, holy yeah. fucking shit. Look, the moral of this story was, look, if you gotta go to the bathroom, just fucking go. Don't stare at anyone. Just go and run towards the stall. Oh, my God. I... I have a bathroom story, but it's look, just not look, on that better. level of stupidity, Either but... Either in your pants or, you know, maybe you see, like, glimpse of dong. Glimpse of Dong. It's my, oh my. it's my favorite prog rock band. Holy. Yeah, you know, we're really, uh, right really progressive. Holy. <laughs> Holy. We go very, we might very, show very slowly. May the best <coughs> band win. Let's go. It's time to fight. Hey, uh, this guy. Jaguar, Javier. <laughs> you guys don't know his name? Jaguar. Dude, <laughs> I love Thundercast. <laughs> Wow, I almost did a spit take there. Holy shit. Holy oh, <laughs> fuck. <laughs> Glimpse, of, Glimpse of Dong is my Soundgarden cover band. That's pretty good. That's really good. <laughs> God, oh, I could that be the raid today. message? I think well, we're gonna I, get I, the raid I, message. Now depend on who we're raiding. <laughs> I mean. Oh, please, Tim. Tim, I hope if you're listening. I hope you're streaming. Yeah, he's not gonna be streaming at like 2 a.m. Tim never streams that late. Oh my god. I this is why I I missed that job. It was just there's so many dumb stories. I I I can't believe that that was the conversation we just had. Holy fucking What do you mean? Have you not seen how much dumb shit happens on the stream normally? Why is that the thing you're concerned about? Have you not talked to me once? John, one? I've been this away a for a thing. while, okay? Do I have to show you the fucking Buru? <laughs> I'd, I'd rather not know. Oh my goodness. Holy... I'm gonna Christ die laughing. Yeah, yeah, hold on, before... <laughs> oh my god. Before oh. we go forward, there is an important thing I need you to do in this room. What? You're gonna need to keep hitting him after you're done talking to him. Why? Just do it, it'll be worth it. Oh, oh, I know what you're talking about. Oh. It was never my true choice to serve him. Kalaka forced my hand by threatening to kill my ancient master. A bad kitty, please leave me here to lick my wounds. Okay, start start hitting him. Oh, how I've fallen from my former glories. I'd be, oh, oh, this is... No, 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 keep, keep doing it. There, there's one in particular. I still can't... Oh. There it is. <laughs> wow. Oh, and there we go, wow. Luke. I, I was waiting the whole game for Puma you to see pants. that. For Puma Pants. Yep. Yep. 
Totally worth it. Uh oh. So Jaguar Man is now Chugga. Got it. Um. Cutscene. Hey, I'm checking something. I'm checking something. What did she say? I can't even see her say anything, but everyone's saying "Lol, Luca." Oh. Uh, Luca. So my Discord yeah. told me you were talking crap about my urinal thoughts. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Yo, no, hun, like other people brought it up, and it was the same thing you were talking about last night. So I was like, "What the fuck is going on? Is that a thing?" Apparently it is. It was brought up because of a dumb work story. <laughs> How was it brought up? up. <laughs> Juker told a story about, like, literally the same thing you were talking about. I was like, there's no fucking way this is real. The <laughs> Juker. Yeah, there were like 20 old ladies attacking me, trying to be like, yo, I'm gonna see someone's dick in there. And I was like, no, you won't. It's a fucking run for the stall. You have to intentionally go out of your way for that. See, and Juker is a dude, so I was right. Hot damn! <laughs> I think this is the point where there should be a warp coming up, by the way, real quick, that we should go back and warp. Well, there was a warp behind me. Do I go do oh. that one or what? Um, <laughs> probably get the stamina first. Oh, nice. <laughs> yeah, this looks like point and overturn ish jump. Yeah, no, that don't go there. So now is the time where we go do the things. I think there was one in the agave field is where we can start. Are we gonna start getting the orbs? Okay. Yeah. I yeah. believe that is the gauntlet one. All right, where are we going? Is it agave, agave field? field? Yeah. All right, there's no direct warp there. I actually have to go there. That's a little annoying. More of a point of difficult return jump. Oh, no, much better. This move is so good to get across things. Isn't it nice? It is nice to have. It's nice to have a shine spark, basically. Uh, I believe said, this one's the gauntlet. Someone said there's one in the field there too. I could have gotten. Oh yeah, there's a couple things I haven't done here. Well, let's go do the gauntlet we first, have, and we then we have to go back this way anyway, right? Yeah. At least I. One of these orbs is the gone. I think it's the agave field. So what are we doing? Just cleaning up? We have if we want the best ending, we have to get six collectibles. Right. Oops, this is not so the right place. So down here, or do or do I go into agave field? You said. I believe it was Agave Field. All oh, right, so I'm going home, basically. Okay. Go home. Oh, hi, Mega Man reference. Yeah, there are just memes everywhere. Oh, yeah, there's a lot. Well, like, to the point that, like, I mentioned this in the last stream, there is meme hell in the second game because they got rid of all the oh, memes yeah. and put them into one place where it was just a bunch of people who reviewed the game complaining there were too many memes. They, like, copy and pasted all the comments and were just complaining about the memes. <laughs> yep. That's actually pretty funny. I like that the second game has more memes. <laughs> yep, they were just like, yeah, fuck it. This is how we make games. I really feel like the second game is just memes. Don't let me think about it. Is that all that was here? Maybe it wasn't in the other field. Uh, I, maybe I need to swap. Uh... So what exactly worlds are you warping between? Living and death? Uh, yeah, pretty much. Bottom of the oh. house, uh, switch worlds, that's what it was. Ah. And I believe it's the mask. I forgot you can switch house. Do that. Oh yeah, there it is. See, that's sneaky. It is. 
Surprise, you got a skeleton living under your house. Have fun. Chicken oh, I maze. This. It's super Chicken. zoomed in, which is really annoying. Oh, this is fun. Spooky no, chicken maze. Ooh. I love being the chicken in this game. It was so fun. This game is just fun. It is fun. Spooky horn section. There's one guy that's been stuck down here for years, just duding in the distance. Bring <laughs> my trumpet with me. Just killing time. Don't worry about me. I've been lost for years. I can't even fit through things. How did I even get stuck down here? I pissed off the wrong deity. <laughs> I was reminded of, uh, if you played Monkey Island 3, there is Oh, a... that's just mean. Yep. Even in the map, it nope. does a tough... <laughs> Kinda hard. That... Is that a checkpoint? No. That, no, it's, that is a heart. It's, it's literally just a heart. heart. So, in, in Monkey Island 3, you could find uh, El Pollo Diablo, or at least you were supposed to, but it was, like, a thing they cut out, and you could, like, pretend you're El Pollo Diablo. I love Monkey Island. Those games are great. This is a bit excessive. It is a maze. Look, it's all about saving the world if you want the best ending, you know? You gotta get stuck in a maze. While pooping eggs. <laughs> yeah, here you go. There you go. Well, you have to Orb! get the orb. You're excessive. Yes, I am. Thank you. Orb. Oh, it's not even- boo. it's not even the eyes, it's the sideburn. Boo. Boo to that pun. Boo. Good old fashioned side snarls. Oh, gosh. Alright, there's- there's nothing down there at all, cause it's the fucking shape of a chicken. Yep, I was waiting for you oh, to- That's why that- you were- my. you were looking at the chicken heart. I get it. Yeah. Okay, did I miss- uh, did I miss anything of note down there, or...? No, not really. No. Um, next cool. place we can go to, uh, you wanna go to the forest? Alright. The, the places okay. we can go to are the forest, the tree, Sierra Molina, uh, the trials, wherever that was, like the little gauntlet thingy. So which one's Oh closest? yeah. Well, the forest, we're already in it, so. This was the one with the skull switch, I believe, which is actually in the room you're in, I believe. Yes, and there's a skull door. That's not the door we need, though. I don't believe. No, I don't. I don't think so. I didn't have a problem. You basically uh, you want to activate the switch and then like go fly, which is the wall, like super fly in one nice direction part. thing. Oh shit! Where was that skull switch? Maybe I'm thinking of another room in this. Oh, maybe yeah. it was on the right side. Someone says that is the door I need. Okay. Yeah, I think it's, I think it's on the right path. Well, I must well do this. Oh. Yeah, you may as well. Right here. Uh oh, yeah, should have known that was gonna happen twice. I don't know why I thought I would just stand here. Son of a bitch! Perfect. So Dalton, I know the one I mentioned, which would be worth doing, is for uh, Tostada's body. You could do uh, the Emil from the raid video with the glasses and the, the green shirt. I feel like for for people who want to use this mod in co-op, it's like perfect. Coming through, coming through, just don't care, excuse me, excuse me. Ah, crap, it was below. 
Okay, I care now. Excuse me. Get out of here. That was stupid of me. Hooray. Nice. Hey, John, ever want to play Ocarina of Time randomizer? Nope. Sorry. How about Donkey Kong 64 randomizer? Oh, God, no. no. I will say it is very accessible no. to do that with the character switcher code that exists, which for anyone who has complained about that game, uh, I recommend you try that game with the character switcher. It is such a game changer. It is changer. tolerable. It is so much more tolerable. That's the reason I love the rando is imagine just being able to change Almost whenever. Oh my god, someone's like a Donkey Kong 64 randomizer? Like there, there's yes. always a randomizer it for everything. Exists. And oh, right. trust me, that's, it's fun. That's the door I <laughs> need. I think, so it has to be above, right? I assume it's not going to matter if I do anything this in here. This is the canal. So yeah, like it's not going to... So yeah, so there's like... Hole at the top. Yeah, but I can't climb it, so... No, I, I, G's saying, like, at the top. Oh, you have to be... See the hole? Yeah, I thought that, uh... I thought that had a power-up cover on it, but you're right, it doesn't. There's a website I always like to recommend, though, for randos. Uh, there is pretty much a rando for everything. There is... Look up the big list of video game randomizers. There's even a randomizer to help you decide what randomizer... So, ran so what you're saying is randomizer randomizer exists. Honestly, yes, yes. it does. It, it is a real thing. Just when today I'm going to be randomizing... To today. <laughs> today I'm going to randomize... Pokemon Soul you know Silver. Changing dimensions. I think, I think we're just dumb. No, hang on. I see what we need to do, but someone mentioned we're going to have to go back to the Switch in the top right first. I just want to actually yes. see what... Yeah, so that's the spot right there. That's why it looked like we couldn't get in there, because we can't. So that's what we need to switch for. Yes, that's correct. If you want to kill the enemies, it'll make it easier. The only randomizer I've played is Link to the Path. Is there like a... Some kind of Kirby? Or a, like a Tetris attack for you? No. <laughs> I, I've seen the, uh, the Tetris randomizer. The Tetris randomizer is just rude. I think it's like... Super dirty. All right, so what's so, yeah. the fastest way out of here? I don't know how people do Super Metroid randomizer. I think that's like the one I'm just like, huh? There's like, someone that I heard who did a. I can't uh, figure out Super Metroid normally. I don't even know how I can figure it out randomizer wise. There's someone who did a 90 degree tilted rando, and I was like, why? So I do want to try Zooter, uh, Ocarina of Time one day. One I don't day. think you're gonna make it in some But I would have close. to play it casually first because I have not played Ocarina of Time and. Ah! Oh! I so kill the enemy. Wait a second. You are close. Why don't you take a look at these pictures? Where's my pic? Where's my. Come on, hi. Where's your dumb emo? There it is. <laughs> 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 oh my god, you actually have that? <laughs> Here, I'm gonna actually link. <laughs> if anyone has IUPI's emote, spam it now. <laughs> god damn it. God. For anyone who wants the big list of video game randomizers, I will post it right now. Oh, okay. Here you go. Okay. So this is like, so wait, is this, it tells you what they have as randomizers? Oh, I yeah, see. It's, it just like catalogs all the randomizers that exist. Super Adventure Island? Oh, Atlantis no Nazo? Dude, I would actually kind of try that. <laughs> I love that game. Horrible right, I, game. I gotta see this list myself. Since Juker got me involved with Donkey Kong 64 randomizer. I can't believe I tricked you into playing Kiln's Cursed Seed. That was, that was the best thing. I beat it! Yeah, no, so did we. We hated it. We spent five hours looking for Chunky Kong. I actually didn't spend that long. But yes, I know the pain of finding Chunky Kong. That was bull fucking shit. That was the stupidest goddamn thing ever. That even if you 
save and quit, it gives you to a different random point than just yep. dying. Yep. That was really stupid. You can blame Kion for that seed. We let him make the first ever seed we did in our, our bi-weekly races. We didn't do one this week because of holidays, so we're probably going to do one this week, like later in the week. How bad is the DK64 randomizer? It is honestly very fun. Is it really? I, I'm going to be honest with you. I don't ever remember playing Donkey Kong 64. It is a loading zone randomizer. It randomizes their Curse Splat locations. Those are the blueprint guys. It randomizes the mini games, And then they're adding a ton of quality of life features real soon. So a lot of stuff where I was like, this is terrible. Uh, the devs were cool and listened. And they were like, you're right. It is. <laughs> One of the biggest complaints I had was that um, in order to access or have certain cons do like their own special bonus rooms and that were specifically designed for them, there was no way for that con to yep. specifically get to that room. That's something I messaged to them, so they're working on that. Yeah, but can but you somebody... remove Beaver Bother? Oh, it's all like... Well, okay, good news for you. You never have to do it because if you're doing standard, you only need 50 golden bananas, four crowns, and a certain number of boss keys, like three yeah, of them. That idea. Three, oh, no, that did work. Okay. Yeah, it worked. Ooh, there is a randomizer Kirby Superstar. But. What is it even the most randomize? It, the powers. Yeah, I figured as much. That's so, that, yeah, that makes sense. Most important thing though is uh, you will never get Beaver Bother in Hideout Helm because it is stupid. They know. Yes. The devs are like, yeah, no, that's that would be dumb. Interesting. So, did you guys in Keon's Curse Did you actually beat all the bosses, or did you only no, beat a certain? No, you don't need to. You only need to beat. Oh, so I went beyond you guys. I mean, it opens up doors, and that's that's really all. So we we didn't Wait. we didn't bother. Look, it's it's. Two? Yep. What? Yep. <gasps> Juker, can you oh, give me that link again? Oh boy! I wow. Well, my life is gone. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> you, you ruined I her love, now. I love Lufia too. Lufia is one of my favorite favorite freaking RPG games ever. I know they have a Final Fantasy tactic, but. but I was tempted to try oh, that. Oh god, why? It's Where did Luca so get that outfit in her Twitter picture she just posted? What? What did she just post? What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> what? Excuse me? Um. Oh! Well, I mean, that's not our house, so. I think she just. I think she just Google searched that. I'm guessing. Or is it? On that note, we should probably take a break. We haven't taken a break at all tonight. Oh, <laughs> uh, after what we've been going through, yeah. Why not? So yeah, since you since you wanted to know what bosses you had to beat, it was Army Dillo to Mad Jack, which <gasps> fuck that fuck fight. that boss. But Fuck no, that boss. Doing, doing it as Diddy is fine. Doing it as DK is not fine. That is where his arms dip into the fucking reset plane. And then it's just like, sorry, man. I'm sorry that uh, this fight was not designed for anyone that isn't tiny. So now they're fixing it in future updates. It's going to be only tiny and chunky because they're the easiest to maneuver in the air. Man, now I got to try this with you too. No, and... <laughs> <laughs> the other boss you need to do is King Cutout. If you find King Cutout, by the way, you unlock all the Kongs immediately if you're not playing with all the Kongs unlocked. Really? Yes. Alright, let's drop some eggs. Starting with Hemi Powered Hero Chow, gifted subs to Ra uh, Rakzef. Or Rakzef. Sleeper Bean, Retro Glycerin Racer, Izanagi22, and AG Dragon N. Game Prodigy for 5, Nace98 for 3, Edo for 62, Radon Flux for 10, Owo 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 Madude for 10, Electric Pickle for 8. Amaria, Amaria Lin, I'm gonna get that name right one of these days. 
Amariana Lynn for three. Draxi for 16. Pun Master 5001 for three. Reiki for 51. Shenny Nerd for 15. Met Wars 2 for five. Drake F for eight. VCAT 113 for 14. Avatar Delight for 38. Novo Anwi for eight. I Just Kick Stan for 24. Wolven Tower for seven. Orion Never. X2 for 27. <laughs> Lone Wolf three for five. Sandy for 17. Mephisto DP for 13, Joker GX for 13, RW9311 for 35, Denim Ninja for 51, Irked Cow for 4, Vincent Sin for 55, The Cool Man Cam for 14, Pyro Muffin 5 for 23, Tails Faraga for 34, Cyborg Spaceman for 25, Heavy Powered Hero Chaos, Heavy Powered Hero Cow, Heavy Powered Hero Chow for 4. Who has two thumbs and hatch from one of your eggs? Not me, because Chows don't have thumbs. Uh, Centenda Art for eight. Cyrilinx for 55. And this game with a side of salt for five. Alongside McJohnson for 67. Chun Li Wan for 14. Chilled Like Ice for eight. And Mothra Man 54 for 45. Thank y'all for seven guys. Your eggs tonight are courtesy of the following people. I'm seeing a lot of people are messaging me saying the backlogger is finally back up. That is good to know. So we're set at least for this week's cookie. Uh, we've got from Green Day, where's Rush? Rush, R Rush, oh, are you for fucking real? Rush, I need you! Uh, that joke was so Canadian, I think I just got, like, a cavity from maple syrup. Wow. Green Day also with Goldman Messes Up. This is the final battle! This is the final Boo! You stink! You blew it! Why'd you bring Adam Sandler into this? And Philip with Goldman discovers the EDF. To save our mother Earth from any alien attack From vicious giant insects who have once again come back We'll unleash all our forces, we won't cut them any slack <laughs> Thanks. Friends. Just like in training. <laughs> Overkill, just like with the EDF likes. All right, cool. We're going to go to break when we come back. Art block and finishing up Guacamole. See you in a bit. All right, so people in the chat, now that you've seen the big list of video game randomizers, <laughs> what kind of rando do you want to try now that yeah. you have been, you know, edumacated? I need to do Final Fantasy Tactics at some point because I've I did, actually watched it and it's pretty interesting. I did the uh, the ten rando once. The ten rando was fun times. Yeah. I had an extremely broken build starting out the game. Uh, Yuna was basically like she was the strongest party member that I had, so she just like whacked everyone with her staff and had like all the best spells. And it was just like and she just does everything. There's there's a really good picture uh, Dovi drew of of her just punching. Uh, Dark Bahamut, one of the super bosses, because oh god, this is that strong. I do want to have Lafia 2 only because technicality, Lafia 2 already has a randomizer. It's called Ancient Cave. So you're correct. I'm very curious as to like how they got it to work for the whole rest of the game, which is pretty interesting. Let's see. Um... Uh, I may... Ooh. I'm gonna try Link's Awakening. I've heard uh, Bubba has talked about fun mode in Link's Awakening. You should try that wallet. Fun oh mode is apparently, it messes with all the sprites in oh. Link's Awakening. Oh. <laughs> oh my god. Paper Mario Thousand Door Random. Oh no, it's, it's High Wang. John isn't here right now. You're gonna have to raid him again in, in like a minute. Thank you for the raid. We appreciate it. Thank you, Hi Wang. Hi Wang, keep rating. Just keep, keep doing it. <laughs> Just keep doing it. Yeah. Oh, there's a Goonies two randomizer. Oh, hell yeah, hell yeah. It, <laughs> we'll it's real. It. If it's if it's on the site, then yes. If not, then no, because that that site like catalogs everything. I that. Oh my god. I, I, I love will post Goonies it again too. for you. I love Goonies too. Such a great game. Oh my god, Twilight Princess randomizer? Oh I mean, my god. I mean, the randomizers are super 
common. It's... Yeah. <laughs> Yu-Gi-Oh love... randomizer. Oh my no, god, I think that, Dan no, would I have mean, a field day with that. No. <laughs> no. Just the... I draw a card I can't play. Fuck. <laughs> Uh, the Metroid the Legend of Zelda crossover that happened at Ultima GDQ. Four. I'm trying to remember which Ultima that is. Ultima 4. How you doing though, Highway? <laughs> Ultima Exodus. <laughs> you missed us uh, complain about uh, the old days of retail and other dumb stuff. Oh yeah, you uh, you missed a great conversation, which by the way, if anybody in chat has questions for us, Ask away! We could even tell more dumb retail stories. Oh, how God. The, how do the randomizers for the Pokemon games work? Is it I mean, just, it's just like, the everything. It's literally all, just, all just rando Pokemon. Oh, my God! Highway Ray! Get the guns! Oh, my God! How long have you been here? <laughs> the whole time. I knew God it. God damn it! I need to unmute us so I can say hi, Wang. Thank you for the raid. <laughs> We're having a conversation about blowing things up in that video. Uh, Played like a damn time. fiddle. Also, options for random types, abilities, items, TMs. Oh, wow. That sounds yep. like a lot. That sounds like something Jason would say. <laughs> Show him it. Just be like, hey, I found uh, hell. Here you go. All right. Let's read some quick donations and go to the art block. Kuza says, here's a belated 420 donation because I, although I did resub for 42 months on 420, I was sadly too lazy to actually get my sub game clear, uh, game clearing choice changed in time for game G like I wanted. It was going to be Gears of War Judgment, but Guacamelee is a good choice too. Domo Arigato says, I'm glad you haven't had any problems with Guacamelee yet. I played it on the Switch and it crashed no less than two times. Guac 2 crashed twice as well. Oof. All right. Fukuyuki says, Funny you bring up Japan's Disneyland. My sister and her family lived in Tokyo for a while because my brother-in-law works for Disney as a toy designer. What was supposed hey. to be a two-year stay ended up being an extra eight-year stay in Japan. Oh. Wow. That's crazy. Nashville well, because technicality, like, Tokyo Disneyland, I think it's not truly owned by Disney? That's fire call. You know, by, like, Ghibli or something? It's like a side company, fire call. Yeah, it's they probably like have the license to have said brand. Nashville Predator says currently seeing stars right now. Holy shit! Did Dallas knock out Nashville? What is happening this playoff? Snow the first says if we are talking annoying customer service stories. Once when I worked as a cashier at Target, a woman paid for two hundred dollars worth of purchases with one dollar bills. Oh, that's terrible! I hate oh. it. When someone tried to do oh. that with a roll of coins with me, and they were like, "You gotta count it all." I was like, "No, I don't. You're good." Nice try. Don't don't hold up the line. Pokeprof says, considering the bad customer stories, I once had a guy come back to me after accidentally char charging the wrong grapes. He accused me of stealing from him despite me apologizing. He kept on yelling this at me even as I was giving him a full refund. Uh-huh. Interesting, yeah. The, I doubt they were that much more expensive. And the backlogger says, we live again, boys! All right. Oh, of course Toronto fucking lost their game. God damn it, Toronto. Why are you the team we have to depend on for the Canadian team to stay in there? Let's go to the art block. Also, uh, starting off the art block, I have been given a new song from He's an Evil Genius for Twitter time. Let's see how it sounds. I haven't listened to it yet. Ooh. 
I like it. Oh, I love it. It's I like it. Pizza crimes. I was drawing Queen of Joker's mask from Persona 5 when I heard about a pizza in a cone and I had to draw something about these high crimes against pizza, AKA <laughs> pizza crimes. I lost track of where we were already, damn. Robert Cop censored with eyebrows. This is a lot of this, a lot of the art block is just <laughs> censored eyebrows. Look, Dalton confirmed in the chat those were eyebrows. <laughs> It's it's literally just like constantly that. Good. Are you really that surprised, John? I'm not, not even remotely. Even Kalaka has eyebrows. <laughs> Touche, got block. me there. One of my favorite things for this game was the very stylish Kalaka, so here he is. The Mexican aesthetic is just mm, it's it's spicy, it's real spicy. Game G is not done. College is a lovely time taker. However, here's the rough sketch of what I'll be doing for Game G. Another bland filler, but I'll have a bit more time on my hands, so I'll try to get this done as soon as possible. Otherwise, enjoy El Fala, uh, El Faja, the glitch, and his companion, Ros Kija, Bagel the Chicken. No, my oh, Spanish is rusty, so my pronunciations may be wrong. Oh, yeah, I didn't even. <laughs> we beat up a skeleton, too. We're doing great. Someone says he looks like Senior Card Gage. I don't know how I feel about this. Do. Oh no. Oh my god. Oh. Mortal Kombat 11 exclusive character intro leaks. If only. Oh shit. It. Here we go again. I am digging all the different sounds you put in from other games, Tom, for this. I just the Contra sounds was a nice touch. It's real good. Queen Luca, Joker John, and Bagel Mona. So I'm still on a Persona High, so I decided to draw you and Luca and as Joker and Makoto, codenamed Queen. It's one of my favorite ships in that game. I also posted this on Twitter. Here's my take on whatever this is. <laughs> Thanks, Chechpun. <laughs> Bagel, stop looking at me like that and take the mouse. Merp. Jumping on the alternate Bagel bandwagon, here's a glimpse of universe 65 million where dinosaurs never went extinct and Bagel is a velociraptor. Oh god, no. Oh god, here we go. Story time with a pile of bacon. Back when I was in college, I worked in a deli. I was a dishwasher, table wiper, dish busser, bacon baker. One of the biggest jobs was baking and serving the bacon. I'd take the frozen bacon out of the box and place it in the pans that bake the bacon. I like to think I did a good job despite being constantly told that I'm slacking off. One day the owners were not working that day and it was slow and quiet. I was taking the fresh hot pan out of the oven when I slipped and fell on my back. I caught the pan with my oven mitted hands, but half of the pieces fell on the ground. Keep in mind the owners were not there. I asked the supervisor what I should do, despite my instincts telling me to toss slash salvage them so no, the customers keep it. won't eat floor bacon. The supervisor takes the pan and puts it back in the oven for a minute, then served it. All I did was stare at the cameras. Yep. I felt very uncomfortable uh, serving that bacon to the customers, but there it was, lying there in the pan. Now, I didn't speak up because I was young and was scared of losing my job. Instead, I took action in a different way. Business was thankfully slow that day, so I was able to put this plan into action. I'd listen for the bell, then I'd wander behind the cashier to wipe the counters. Then I'd mouth, don't order floor bacon. The customers would nod, then nod, then not order the bacon. Those customers also tipped me specifically despite never making their sandwiches. At the end of the day, the supervisor looked at the bacon, then at me with a look of, how did we not sell bacon today? No one found out what happened, and the supervisor quit later. So yeah, Good. I regret not speaking up, but I feel I made up it in my own way. Oftentimes at the movie theater, I would I would find ways to tell people, this is shit, and also we have tons of mice and rats here. Just don't oh, fucking God. Oh, God. Oh, God. They, they always would have the health inspector. There would be dead rats in the corners and stuff, and rats running around, and, like, they would oh! never... <laughs> Believe me. <laughs> I, have... <laughs> I, I saw that picture, John. That you... The secret behind Smash Tunes mod. Eyebrows. Whoa! <laughs> There's so many... Just using the washroom pictures. <laughs> oh gosh. And you see, this is different because there's no walls. <laughs> it's a common mistake. <laughs> common mistake. Super common, yep. All right. Uh, oh, right, shoot, there was one more thing I needed to show. Because Edo would, Edo would kill me if I didn't show this off a little bit. Here's all the Kirby oh, stuff she bought when she was in Japan. Day. Love it. It's 
Oh, yeah. that, that Meta Knight thing is actually really cool. Can, can you do me a favor? Yo, uh, what is that? A hug right now. <laughs> hug? Yes. Hug. <laughs> oh, is that the is that the plate you got at the cap? Yo! I love the record plate. Dude, are those, those were... patches? So, oh yeah, I got patches. Well, they're pin patches, but um, the little plates were actually uh, one of like the prizes they had when they do do their like little lottery things, and I happened to find some, so I bought those. Was that a Kirby snow globe? Yes. Uh, yes, but it's not a real snow globe. It's plastic, but it's really cute. Okay, uh, quick quick question: Where the fuck were we going? Uh, right now I'm heading towards that. Okay. We are we are, oh, but I like I can't. Map. Oops, oops, wrong yeah. way. No, I have to go the long way to get to that. All right. Right now I'm in the canal. Wasn't the there way, that side quest where we had to find like five yes. beasts? You don't need to do that though. It's not important. It doesn't That's change anything. Chicken. You get like an upgrade. If, any, if anyone's curious what movie theater it was, it was it was AMC. I'm not afraid to say that. Oh, you mean one of the biggest movie theater chains in the in US? America. Therefore, more yeah. than likely the answer, anyways. Yes. Totally uh, not go there. Go to any other place. IMAX. Is IMAX? I, IMAX is in a, like a company. They're more of like a way to watch something. Like it's more of like an experience. I would yeah, say. Yeah, like seeing it in IMAX is is not stopping IMAX, the company. Yeah, like even different chains have IMAXs. It's, oh yeah, were, these, IMAX were, the, were those the big there. things I had to kill for that side quest? This that guy up there? I think so, yeah. Oh, I, live in, I live in Long Island. Long Island is, is a pretty great place, but like j that movie theater was just like put in zero effort. Which is a shame because when I got that job, they actually cared and it was cool. Being told, no, that is this is not. Oh, this is the thing I need to this destroy. This is the thing you need to kill. Yes. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so remember, one. We killed one of them. Have fun finding the others. Yeah, getting that vibe right now. Can I do that? Damn it! You can, but not like that. Oh, that's also not gonna help me. And okay, you need to stop. <laughs> you just, you just go down here. Think about what you've done. This is not La Milana. You can't like be required to damage boost into something stupid like that. Oh, by the way, some of the Kirby stuff that was in the picture, Jason won those in UFO Catchers. Hell yeah! <laughs> he won a are, lot this time. Wait, are you saying there's a pinball that's the UFO? The pin wasn't through that, it was the, the Kirby Cannon plushie. Um, some of the smaller figurines were in UFO Catchers because they have like small ones too. Um, Jason got two Splatoon items, a One Punch Man figurine, we got a Yoshi plushie, a fat Yoshi plushie, by the Good. way. Did the best kind. Just like um, Pikachu. Um, and we, uh, another Kirby item that I didn't show, um, I got these gla- like, they're not glasses, they're plastic, but they're supposed to be cups. Um, he also got that from the UFO catcher as well. Jason found his calling, and it was UFO Catcher. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, you can make a pretty penny off that. Oh, can. yes, we did. It was amazing. <laughs> I think mean, that's why Jason does it for the challenge. Like, hmm, can I get this, you know, most likely $30 item for, like, $2? <laughs> like, 
I love how uh, realistic they made them in the Yakuza games. They are extremely accurate and frustrating. <laughs> I have not tried Joker in Smash. I'm not really good at Smash, so... Oh shit, that's slimy! And I only play one character, and that's... Kirby. Kirby. I don't <laughs> believe you. You don't even play, like, Meta Knight or, or DDD? I have done Sin Link before. Good choice. I, I was actually... I was actually, Edo, I was hoping you'd be like, yeah, I only play one character in Smash, and that's Pikachu. That's one, Montaro, that's correct. I had one land in the hole and not have it count. I had one glitch through the the floor of the machine and just fall out. Also, that's a Squirtle. Yeah. yeah. I think, or I was going to say, I thought it was a War Turtle for a second, but you're right. Yeah, it's totally a Squirtle. I would totally play as Bandana Wall if he was a character in Smash. Oh god, I hope. See, I, I've it. joked that that's what Sakurai's gonna do just to get more Kirby characters in. He should. We are adding an Echo, Galactonite. Mm. Camp, he's Meta Knight skin. I couldn't, like, I can't play as Meta Knight for some reason. I just I don't like to him. him. Like, I don't know what it is. I don't, I don't think it's like interesting. Meta Knight's a really speedy character. And and he's, he's not my playstyle. Yeah, he's... The only reason why, like, I could somewhat pick him up again is just because I used to main him in Brawl. I've always used Kirby. <laughs> Since the original. I like Kirby. Then they nerfed him, like, really badly in Melee. <laughs> no, he's, he's doing his best. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Dude, I'll... Dude, there's a video. Um, If you look up on it, it's called Melee is Broken. This guy literally shows all the technicality fuck-ups in Melee. It is glorious. Oh, shit. I guess you're going to have to start buying respawn boots. Oh, no! Or you could just never buy it. And <laughs> I can just I'll never spend my money for... ever again. <laughs> it's a good thing you'll never have to die, so you'll never need respawn boots. <laughs> Any Daisy mains? Hi! Hey, I'm Daisy. Yeah. What, what yeah. is your guys' name? That I'd like to know. Snake. Uh, Good old Ike. The best character right now. Snake, Has specifically. Over? It's Say been like again, two days. Has Joker, uh, Joker taken over as like, like main right now? For um, Joker? it's way too early to say. In terms, like, he does have... He feels like he's a mix of oh, Sheik and Zero Suit Samus. Some of his moves really look familiar of those two. Uh, let's see. In terms of mains from Lee, in terms of ultimate, Doc, nice. I have Doctor, Bowser, Peach, Daisy, Meta Knight, Kirby, uh, Ganondorf, K. Rule, Inkling, Belmont, um, Ridley, and then who was the other one? Oh, Dead Dead. I think I remember Jason really liking K. Rule. Yeah, a lot of people like K. Rule when he first came out. I like how he just fucking murders the opponent. He likes using DK as well. He used DK for his World of Light. Ooh, a friend. So. Invite him to the punch club. Well, that's four of them. I can't believe we're unintentionally finding these. Well, I mean, there's not much left on the map that I can do at this point. There's just that one area there. No, I guess and that's probably, probably where number five is, if I had to guess. So, what are your guys' thoughts on Joker? I love the amount of love that was given to him. I like how uh, so many people keep trying to say Joker and then they say me by accident and are like, God damn it, that has happened so many times. Mm -hmm. That happened when the game came out, so I was I was ready for it. I was like, yeah, cool. <laughs> Congrats on being a Smash, by the way. I know, yeah, no, I got Xander Movis to voice me, dude. <laughs> good awesome. choice, good choice. I I feel bad because I've yet to play Persona 5, and I need to play it. It's, it's good. good. I'd, I'd recommend it. I have my problems with it, but um, I mean, it's still a really good game. It's just so big that it's, you know, the length of it kind of just is like, yeah, kind of just. 
happens. Is that still on like a stream, like let's play band? Uh, apparently, that, I think that's been let let go at this I point. I think it's been mostly let go, and it's just like I think the ending is really the only thing of like the ending is like don't show the ending, and that's it. But I don't. After after that, I'm like, yeah, I don't really want to do it. I think you lost my interest for streaming it. Sorry. Good game, You're... but not a good stream game. Well, <laughs> I guess you turned it in. Yeah, I guess so. Have... What, what are you even doing here? I forget. What? Wait, no, is that a Mario a Kart reference? Yes, yes, it was. They... Dude, hell yeah, I love it. They used a spiny shell. That's so evil. Okay, so... Once again, the places that we need to go to, we need to go to the... The tree, and... Wherever the trial gauntlet was, I believe that was in the desert. Trial gauntlet's in the city. City, okay. Ooh, all this stuff. Cool, all right. So, which one do you want to do first? Do you want to do the tree, or do you want to do... Uh, I'm trying to remember where the nearest warp is right now, and I think it's actually directly behind me where I just was. Have I ever screened uh, Persona for... 5, or would a game like that be too long for you to play on stream? I mean, I've already beaten Persona 5. Like, recently I played through it privately. Um, but... Yeah, that's too long to do a playthrough on stream. It would... It would that's like a, a that's hundred long. hour game. That's why we oh. tend not to do RPGs on here. RPGs are fun. I'm They're fun, but them. God, they are long. Especially if you're only playing like five hours of it a day. Oh, no, I crank one like, Once a week? Hours. <laughs> I always do like We can't all be me and go go for like 12 hours sometime. 14, 16 I don't know what it is When I'm like determined to play a game like I, then I don't even realize how much time is going by And I'll be like oh yep, that's me. It's been 10 hours <laughs> That's, that's so, me I'm just like oh shit that, So John So John three times as long as Three times longer than Kingdom Hearts 3 Got it Yeah pretty much I mean, it's an RPG versus an action RPG. There's a big difference. True. God, didn't they just announce that they're releasing Critical for KH3? Tomorrow. Yeah, they got... Oh, I, I, I thought dude, it was today for some added, reason. They added Critical into Kingdom Hearts 3. Dude, I'm so proud. I, okay. I oh, I could have just warped here. I'm an idiot. Good job. <laughs> <laughs> I was waiting for you to notice that. I am, though, curious what DLC they're going to do. That's the thing that I'm more legit curious I about. I believe you went yeah, down actually, the That's where I came down, yeah. yeah. Never mind. It's how this place works. Uh, don't be shy on using Intenso if you need to for this. Is that where the next one's going to put me down, it looks like? And that's where the thing is. Uh, that's cool say, and all, but how do I get up there? You have to fall down from above. Oh, that's okay. That's the third door. Oh, okay. I see what you're talking about now. Yeah. So there was literally no point in me coming here. No, it was the, you went the wrong way. Okay. Wah, wah. Wee. So I guess I should ask this too, because uh, somebody also brought this up. What games are we looking forward to this year? So far. Um. Mortal Kombat 11, which was supposed to be out, but I guess it's out at, you know, 3 a.m. my no, time. Pe people have said it's been unlocked already, so it should be playable. Oh, or are, are you looking on Steam, probably? Steam. Yeah, that would that'd make a difference. Steam is being dumb. Games, unfortunately. I know Mortal Kombat? Those were good. Yeah. I, I mean, you, you don't need to because it's a fighting game. It's... Yeah, see, that's a thing. I suck the story, the story is very good. In Mortal Kombat, it's like, I've heard Eleven from the people who got it earlier, like, this is like one of the best fighting game stories ever. It's, which, honestly, the new Mortal Kombat timeline is extremely good. It's just the story of a man who tries to fix everything and just sends a super vague message and do, just. Do you mean a god? Up. Yes. Let's not downplay how badly he gets fucked up because of said character. It's just really funny because he's like, he must win? What does that mean? It can mean anything. Oops. Everything just keeps getting worse and it's like, oh. 
I like the commercial they had. Oh, the, I the take it, John, you've trailer. seen that commercial. Oh, the Christopher Lambert one? Yes. Yeah. That one's really good, too. Yeah. Pokemon Sword and Shield is quite a few. Is that this year? Yeah. Nice. Really? Oh my God. They said it it's early. a holiday I, release. I want that monkey. <laughs> yes, That's the monkey cool. is great. So cute with me. I can't believe he's gonna evolve to have a gun. <laughs> I. Oh my. Can't believe he's gonna God. just show up in that IKEA jacket. <laughs> you ever see the uh, what was it, the Hellboy edit of like, is that a monkey? He's got a gun. It was just with the starters. Somebody already has literally an email of the water starter. Oh my goodness. You can't be shocked by this. I'm sure like there probably was a couple dozen emo requests that yeah, he got announced. Yeah, no, and I just saw Score Bunny. Oh, it's monkey. The monkey's really cute. And I really never get that one. It's like funny thing. Yeah, the monkey. So I'm calling great. it now. I'm calling it now. One of those starters is going to be a DLC for Smash. I'm calling it. No. Nah. You're gonna get a Fire Emblem character before you get a new starter as a. You're gonna get two. Because po Pokemon already has the. No. It's either the most or second most representation. I think it's second most because there's more Mario characters. Well, how many Fire Emblem characters are? Wouldn't you win that? Third most. <laughs> well, I don't know then. Sakurai also doesn't give a fuck, so. <laughs> that is, dude. Exactly. How? Oh god, I hope. Oh god, what what would be a really funny ass Joe character? Toaster Wolf. Yeah, no, that's that's actually the point of the game. They uh, they introduced at some point the idea that uh, the enemies get barriers that you have to only you can only break with that certain colored move. However, you could also use Intenso to get through it if you so choose. But if, Intenso if you, is if you get the upgrade for it, which I already have, yeah. So you have to pick and choose. I, I only use it on the dangerous enemies that are like, I don't want to deal with this crap. And for those of you who are wondering too, if a cat if a character is like shadowed out, it's you have to fight them in an, in the other world. Like this guy, I would use a pencil on the conquistador. Uh, let's see. That's, I was like, that's taking right. a little too long. There's gotta be something here. If I recall, this game doesn't have a colorblind mode, but I think the shimmer of the actual barriers are actually different for you to, to determine what is what, if I recall. You did it. Great. You hear rumbling in the distance. Nice narration. <laughs> I did it. Gay for me. Gay. <laughs> this edition apparently also gets rid of uh, seizure triggers, which people were talking about when we yes. originally started playing through this. Which is oh, one of the reasons I, I didn't want you to do gold. It's, it's just, this is the version to play. It just sucks for the people who bought gold and were like, oh, I got the best version of the game. Yeah, <laughs> I, ha I had gold as well, so I had to go out and yeah, buy I, this, this someone edition. Someone gave me gold, but when Super came out, there was a deal where it was like you can get it heavily discounted, so I was like, you know what? I'll support the dose. They, seem they, are, they are Canadian. Are they? I thought they were like Mexican. Uh, nope. No, Canadian. No. Yep. Toronto, I'm guessing, since every fucking company is either Vancouver or Toronto. Yeah, I think we had this discussion before. Yeah, it's Toronto. Watch uh, me be wrong, so. anyways. <laughs> nope, confirmation yep. Toronto. Hey, Quebec has some devs too. Yeah, uh, Ubisoft, and that's it. <laughs> <laughs> oh. uh, I say that, but I'm being mean because the the devs for the Messenger are based in in Toronto, or not in Toronto, in Montreal. So, yeah, you know that game I gave gave of the year last year. Oh, you that's did. the other game I want. The, the third Picross game. Oh, <laughs> shit. Yeah, that's out Thursday? I want that. <laughs> it just takes too long to get through Picross games now. They're too, they're too meaty. I need my fix. 
I was finally playing other games. <laughs> and then they, get, Nintendo said no. Jupiter so, has decided you do not. You need so, color. <laughs> so what you're saying is, is every time you're on top-down perspective. So yeah, I've been playing for Cross next week. Yeah, I've been playing for Cross. Well, I'm I'm not week. on the podcast for the next month because uh, uh, I am gone for like a million things. I'm pretty much gone for the whole next month. They'll oh, replace God. you with like a cardboard cutout of you or something. Good. <laughs> Good. <laughs> so do what Rooster Teeth does with Gus Rolla. Got it. You'll just have like pre-recorded lines of you that they'll just play. Paul would be down for it. He'd be like, yeah, whatever. Paul would totally do it. That's the thing. God. Please, uh, the cross is on the Switch, right? The new one? Yep. Bloodstain Ritual is another game that people are looking forward to. Yep. That's uh, June. I keep forgetting it's yes. June or July. I keep forgetting it's yes. June or July, which is why I'm doing that. Shoutouts to the Egg Clan. When is the, the Team Sonic Racing game coming out? Isn't that coming soon? soon? Like a month, I think. I can't believe that's actually a thing. What, Why can't Sonic? you? I mean, it's pretty normal. Well, because I thought, I thought they Sonic has made numerous racing games. Sonic has made a couple of team-based no, games. Nothing about that should be surprising. Really well, no, because the racing game. they've already had the racing games for the Wii U. Yeah, so I'm the just current, surprised though. they're going with Sonic R as like a, a reboot, or is it like a? It's it's another sequel. car racing game. Like it's it's Sumo car. Digital again. Like it's it's the same devs. Oh, okay. I thought they were like. Like doing an HD remaster of it. Oh or God, no! Like <laughs> oh no, it's just a newer one. I I like the racing transform game. That one's pretty fun. It was yeah, really good. a lot of people everything. said they like transform. They had cool ideas. They have the best character too of uh, ages. Oh, but God. you know, there there is one character that is missing from that game, which I think we could all agree was, you know, some kind of bug or something that must have just not been working with the game. Sekito wasn't in the game. I am still a little about? surprised Segato has not been in any of them. Yeah. yeah he's he's in Project Cross Zone, but, you know. And he, he, he heralds the power of the 28.6k modem. Just gotta get one more, and then the last one we get from the final boss. I think the last is the eyes. I'm sorry. If yes, it is. The eyes were to pop Pretty up. sure it is. <laughs> They're like, when is the eyes coming out? <laughs> He's gonna see. <gasps> so, the last one is gonna be the very tippy top of the trees. <laughs> you remember the trees? Yes. Have fun. So, that is not the forest. The one that says tree? Oh. The one spot I didn't look on the fucking map. I was like, Chuck, come on. All the way at the very top. Oh boy! All right. There's a there's a door somewhere to get really high up, so you may as well get whatever you can on the way. They're making a crash team racing as well. Yes, they're yeah, they're doing they're a remake. remastering it. Yeah. Wow. So I kind of games are fucking awesome. Let's can I can I not get back in that shortcut, Juker? Uh. Actually, wait. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. There it is. That's what I was about to say. I was like, I'm pretty sure you can just do that. Well, I have PS4. I have all consoles, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> John, they are so, guiding you bad. Uh, oh, oh, you the, the blue oh, the orb you get for beating the game doesn't count in the counter. Apparently, there is one more you're, you guys are all missing. First of all, I'm not guiding. So <laughs> yeah, I. You can't neither am me. I. <laughs> I mean, I'm using a guide that says so. I guess the guy. I'm is also wrong. being told it's the bottom and not the top, that's, so I need to. That's literally... what I just said. Man, imagine someone being wrong about a video game. What, oh, what no. a fucking crime! Shocker. Just like pizza crimes, you'll be arrested. I know. What the heck? <laughs> so kind of a an right interesting. So kind of an interesting topic, because 
um, this kind of came across my mind. Um, John, when you were playing the DuckTales remaster, kind of another game series that I kind of would love to get that wave forward treatment like they did with the DuckTales remaster. I would love if they did the Magical that Quest one? series just like that. If they did what series? Ooh, Magical, Magical Quest. Quest. Sorry, oh, Mickey yeah. Mouse. Hey, we bought every upgrade. Yay. Nice, you bought the respawn. Room. Weird how that wasn't an achievement. All right. Why would it be? Buying every upgrade. So, uh, don't fall. <laughs> oh, this looks. Oh, that's old. slimy. Yeah, no. Uh, okay, it was do that. Okay. Have fun. You just gotta go back and forth. Slimy. Oh, 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 oh. oh, I remember this. Dragonfire says this killed my playthrough. I think I had to have just because it was annoying, or just because it it hurt. Yes. In both ways, it hurt. Yeah. You already Jason. figured out what you need to do, though. So. Jason had to do this for me only because doing oh, it co-op was slimy. just too difficult. You can't do it. Like co-op was just like impossible to do. <laughs> oh yeah, no, there's no way you can do this area in multiplayer. Have someone take the reins and then go nuts. Yep, that's what Jason did. <laughs> you gotta. I guess that works too. I got it. I got it. I'm glad they at least checkpoint you. Quote unquote. I mean, you can still fall off. How good is your swapping skills? Let's find out. Oh no, I, I just overread that one. Okay. Yep. Oh no, this challenge is, is fun. I did do it. I think it's cool. This seems all right. I don't see, I can see why this would be annoying, but. Don't have so far. Oh, no, wait, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> now we're getting well, to I don't it. Know what, <laughs> I don't see what the problem is. Oh, wait, all these buzz saws. Never mind. How do I stop my fast run? You just kick off the wall. You can oh, do that immediately. Really? All right. Yeah. Why, why wouldn't you be able to? Uh -huh. I mean, you could, you could use everything else on the wall. Damn it. Oh, that's just dirty. So is this supposed to be a reference to Meat Boy? No, I think this is just a reference to the ancient Mayan saw blades in the sky. Or I guess Aztec. No oh, shit! Nice save. Yeah, you know what? Ah, fuck! And, uh... I figure this will take a couple minutes. Probably. I forget how much is left after this. I think this is, like, quarter of the way up. Chat, what is your what is the your most memorable challenge in a game? If there is one. Fuck! Oh my god, I really wish you could stop that run! I used to do a lot of ridiculously hard stuff in games. Not anymore. I don't care anymore. I'm just like, you know, whatever. Yeah, I think of Cave Story when I see this. 
and be oh, the hell. Oh god. Oh. <sighs> yeah, like back in the day when I recently played La Milana, I would have been like, hell yeah, I'm gonna do the the hell area. And now nowadays, I was just like, nah, fuck that. <laughs> <laughs> Not worth the time. Not worth my ending. <laughs> I'm good. I don't know what kind of awful puzzles it has, but, uh... Oh, I oh, have God. not played Hollow Knight, so... Beating the path of pain. Hmm. I've heard it is torture, according to Gerard's review. Really? Oh. I'd have to... Check that out when I play that game. I got that for the Switch. Yeah, I guess I was overthinking that. Oh, God! There we go. Look at the chicken. Halfway. Keep it up. You're halfway. Yeah, congrats. Halfway point. Psych. All right, cool. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love that the oh. first time you see that, you're like, oh, fuck this. Halfway point. <laughs> like, no, no. You did it. Yay. So apparently the one that is missing is uh, go to Sierra Molina and when you enter from Santa Lucita go forward after you find your first closed room instead of going up goat fly from the left wall to the right exit I believe that's the one we're missing is there a fast way down falling there's no fast way down is there it's a lot easier to fall I can't play Mario games, like, older ones. Oh, that'll do it. <laughs> that'll do it. That's why the barrels are there. Now it all makes sense. What the f- That was- I was- I went to do that, and apparently that oh. moved me up just enough to re-trigger going back to the treetops. <laughs> right, that does give you, like, a single frame of height. Oh, it was just enough. Frame perfect trick, baby. Let's go. Rever reverse speedrunning this game. We call it a slow run. <laughs> oh, I want to proton John's famous slow runs. <laughs> Alright. So where are we going now? Here, uh, Molina. Your, let's see, Sierra Marina, I think it was, or Six so when you enter from friend. the mountain, Santa, yeah, you want to enter from Santa Lucita, and you go forward after you find the first closed room instead okay, of going. Okay, so up, I'm going to the city is the actual answer. Okay. God, I can imagine that killing vector trying to do that on a Vita. John, can I ask a question? Are you going to count the Runaway Guys LP of Pikmin for your game clearing? Why? I beat it last year. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, did it count for last year? I think that's it down there. Oh, yeah, I see it now. Okay. Pikmin 2 for game clearing? Nah, I'm good. Instead of going up from the closed room, you go... You go to the right. I feel bad. I never played the Pikmin games. Just play Hey Pikmin instead. Hey Pikmin. <laughs> I just do that just to piss the Pikmin fans off. There's still one side quest you haven't done in the city. Yeah, I don't actually know where that musician is. Suppose it's worth asking, did you enjoy Pikmin 1? Watch the LP. So you want to go from the wall? Yeah, I'm going back. I'm guessing this is also to line yep. me up. So speaking of LPs, um, Chuck had just finished his uh, Phantom Hourglass one. And the last oh video Oh my god, this looks... Have fun. Yoku yeah. blocked. 
Oh, gross. Just gotta get used to the timing. Mega Man disappearing blocks. Yep. God dang, Yoku blocks. I recently played uh, Mega Man Dongs, finally. There was a really yeah. dirty Yoku block puzzle in that game. I don't know if you ever got around to playing that when uh, Beef did it, did you? No. Yeah, there's like a really normal Yoku block puzzle, and it goes so far off screen over like a pit that eventually it's just like, haha, we faked you out. I'm like, damn it. <laughs> Got to do like 30 seconds of Yoku blocks again. That's a lot of annoyance for Yoku blocks. At least this is a lot more doable than Mega Man because you have a double jump. Damn it! Oh, and that. Yeah. You have so many ways to keep yourself in the air compared to Mega Man. And I'm still fucking them all up. Because now I'm trying to get fancy. It's just a mistake, I should just do it. <laughs> What's a Yoku block? It means disappearing block. Yeah. It's, it's the thing for Mega Man. If you've seen those blocks that are really terrible, and they put them in every game anyway. Remember I said I'm getting fancy? Whoops. I was I was about to say, I was like, you were fucking playing the fire, you know that? <laughs> Surprise! This one was really easy! You love that shine spark. It's real fun. <laughs> it, it is. is. It is fun. Alright, so it's we got all the orbs. Except for the one we need for beating the game. Orb. Boy. A singular eye. Hooray! You feel lighter. Yep. What? You feel lighter. Yeah, you feel lighter. I like how it said so... tip, you feel lighter. Yeah. Yeah. You feel lighter. Yeah, you feel lighter. So, it jumps or. Thanks for spoiling it, Chad. Appreciate it. I actually wanted to figure that one out on my own. Time him out. Alright. Uh, well, let's get back to where we were, I guess. Um... There was a warp the, up there. There was, was a warp. There? We just gotta figure out where the nearest one is. I was gonna say go back, because you probably just go to Luchita and then just take the warp. Yeah. That's probably the fastest way. Well. <laughs> Good, this is not obnoxious at all. Oh shit, I went too high. Oh, you can fly. Oh. I mean, obviously, didn't you know eggs fly? Yeah, that's how they work. No, I th I honestly got when it said you feel flighter, I thought he meant like his jumps were better. I didn't know. Oh. No, that it meant that he could do the Knuckles pause glitch. All right, uh. so there's one side quest we didn't do, and I will actually ask for help on this one. Uh, Where's the last musician? He's right there. Are they all in this area right here? Look for a blue block on the map, someone says. On this map? Oh, there we go. Oh, there it is. That works for me. Cool. Thanks for the help, guys. In hindsight, this one was really obvious. We probably just should have looked at the map. I mean, I didn't look at the map. That was just on me. That's also why I specifically say, like, yes, I actually will take help on this one. 
Yay, more health. Hooray, I think that's max health. Uh -huh. Bold of you to assume that people would listen to that, Dan. That's that's a good joke. Yeah, people forget that, G. All right, let's get back and beat the game. So now that we have the plot McGuffables. At this point, it's just now beat bosses, right? Pretty much. Yep. If you want to punch him again, take your poo pants one more time. Mm -hmm. okay, I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I'm just saying, if Emil was playing the game, he would have done it every time he passed by him. I know he would have. Guess what? I'm not Emil. Wow. This is something I'm hearing shock. for the first time. What a shock. I really like this moment. This is really oh, this, cool. This, yeah, this is really this cool. This was something I was just like, mm, nice and cinematic. Hmm. I'm getting smaller. Let it, let it just... Sink in. I also, should just you know, do that on purpose. Guy. Ah! <laughs> the whole time I'm like, when am I gonna do it? When should I do it? When should I do it? John, you do it, it I didn't want to get perfect. eaten. <laughs> See, now I'm pausing it. Now I'm not even moving at all. I'm just gonna sit in the sky, make you think about what you did. <laughs> Look, man. Okay, it's freezing. Man, up here. I love this screensaver right here. Enjoy my and screensaver. Hell yeah, I love it. Dude, I actually legit miss screensavers. Like, <laughs> Yo, the pipe maze. Remember that one? The one that just I made, love. Like, no, when you had... Spe I was hoping, John, you would do it again. Just be like, I uh, know, nope. no. Once is funny, but not twice. No, the second time you do it by accident, and then you're like, oops. If I was going to do it a second time, I would have done it early. Yeah, welcome to the end. How big is the last area? I don't remember uh, it being too big, but I mean, you have everything at this point, so you know. It's not so much that it's big, it's that there's just a lot of beat em up sections you gotta do. <laughs> well, I mean, I would hope the final dungeon with the big yeah. bad is like, all right, I got higher like 20 skeletons here, you know, just cover every, every room. They'll rebuild oh. themselves, they're cool. Also, if it wasn't clear, I think you only fight dark skeletons. I had a feeling. The big boners. Good old big boner. Smashing! Probably gonna want to keep some of that. Nice of Dalton to just put that in for us, you know? His signature. A bunch of barrels? No, you're smashing. Oh, I get you. Not in the mood. Get off my plane. Of existence? Exactly. Glad you glad you knew where I was going with that. I remember keeping this section. <laughs> Throw them off the cliff. Just back to the left and that's it. They don't even fall off the cliff, they're just going to the left. <laughs> Hey, what's that over there on the left? Whee! Best part is I still need to break their shields, they just still go anyways. <laughs> yeah, the shield is kind of a weird thing here. Like, they, you know, you have all the abilities by now, so it makes sense to have the shields, but at the same time, it's like, it doesn't matter, you can still knock them back. I had a feeling. Once again, oh, we. Oops. Wee. God, there's that accidental we were talking about. I, I see you did that <laughs> accidentally, Crap. right? Uh huh. Damn it. Uh huh. Accidentally, you said. <laughs> Yay. 
Oh, come on, another one of these? Of course. You have to embrace the chicken, okay? <laughs> embrace it. Oh, we're gonna be here for some bit. No, no I'm not. done. Oh, pfft. I don't even know why you said it, like, come on. Is that literally just a shortcut, or is that actually what I'm supposed to do? I mean... It was cool. Welcome to Portal, you gotta... Yeah, get change. Had a moment there, sorry. That's cool and all, but I'm just gonna do this. <laughs> yep. Just cheese it. <laughs> That's what I did. Bye! Have a nice day! <laughs> now you're learning the ways. <laughs> <laughs> now you're thinking with chickens. Literally what me and Jason did in this. <laughs> Dealing with you guys first. I mean, you just throw them off the, the edge too, which is great. I really should have built a wall in this dimension. Skin was clever. I don't have enough budget. Uh oh. Oh, I used up all my stamina. That's why it wasn't working. I was trying to headbutt those two the entire time. You were going headbutt crazy. I mean, it has the most knockback. That's why I did it. It really does. Oh, hey, a puzzle. I'm just going to solve it. Yep. I love the chicken. John, I don't know why you didn't figure butt. this out sooner that you could have just done this for the tree. It would have made the tree so much easier. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> wow. No. Uh -oh. And I still fucked it up. <laughs> Fucking hell. I keep hitting B when I'm supposed to hit Y! Like I said, you're, you're really good at doing this accidentally, you know? There. Saved so there much time. Go. Yay. I love the little skull icon. It's really cute. What? Oh, uh, that's that's why. Okay. It's me. He's locked in here with you. Oh, fucking email pop-ups! Shit. I actually can't see this fight right now. <laughs> One. Hooray. Right. I wanna. Yeah, okay. Always blaming the internet. <laughs> No, because just... so here's the thing. So like Windows 10 has a built-in email app, and yep. for like for some reason, I don't know why, uh, the account I linked it to gets like my Facebook messages, but in my actual like email account, those go to my junk spam. But for some reason, with the last update from Windows 10, it doesn't go to my junk spam in that app. So I just keep getting like Facebook spam, like oh hey, this group you're in sent you a message to. Or tapped you in like a message with like 30 other people. Like, don't you want to read it? Like, no, I don't. It's spam <laughs> no. for a reason. Why do you not? Why do you seem to think I want this? Look, John, I, I poked you the other day on Facebook and you didn't, you didn't poke me back. I'm sending you an email about that. Is that okay? Okay. Do people still do that? Probably. What? Poke or email? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, email's a dead form, honestly. Oh, shit. Let's bring back faxes. <laughs> and telegram. Hey, everything else is coming back, apparently. Why the hell not? Fuck, let's bring back flip phones. Hell yeah. I mean, those pagers. still exist. Pa no, pagers. pagers. Hell yeah. Oh, VHS. Oh, we gotta have that big so wild wind up thing. I played Yakuza Zero first, then I played one, and I was like, "Oh my God, he has a cell phone!" And I was like, "Wait, that's normal. That makes sense." Like, so so used to the beeper in Zero. Bring back smoke signals. Bring back Betamax, please. <laughs> we talked about Betamax last time. We already we already talked about the porn industry. <laughs> what? Oh God, yeah. we're gonna have this discussion again. No, we're not. Moving on. 
You don't even know what the discussion was! Yeah, it wasn't even really about anything stupid. It was just, hey, sometimes, you know, the most progressive people are... Yeah, are we, 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 we basically talked about, like, the thing that decided, like, what media won, like, the Blu-ray versus HD DVD argument was porn. Just like what decided Betamax and versus VHS and all that other shit. We, we've already had this conversation. We're not we're not doing Why? it again. Yeah, you can't. There we go. Yeah, oh, it wouldn't yeah. switch for some reason. That was weird. That's because this game came out on the Wii U, John. Good God, you can shut up. <laughs> Oh, fucking really? Alright. Fine, I'll stop trying to cheap it out. So, hooray, right. and I just don't have the other two parts, unfortunately. It's cool, don't worry about it. <laughs> Leave your mod patch and your gun. Your you mean the sword? <laughs> you mean sword. I missed when it was lightning bolts. Dude, imagine if they let you pick your moderator icon, how great that would be. That would be really good, and I kind of wish they would do that. What would you do? I don't know. I'd figure something out. Contra soldiers? Or like Robocop pistols? It would be probably like a Judge Dread badge. Ooh, that actually would work. Hey Twitch, if you're listening, we've got an idea for ya. There's no way we're the first to suggest that. There's no way in hell. Oh, I haven't seen that move before. If you did that, would all mods have to scream, I am the law! Exactly. They have to do it just like... Dread. <laughs> just oh. like, oh. no, say, just like fucking uh, Stallone. Don't do it like the Stallone, one. you can't, you can't be mod. Remember that one uh, Dread game we played where it wasn't even Stallone, it was just a guy going like, I am the law. Yes! Oh my god, the fucking PS1 shooter? Oh man. That was, that was great! That was so good. But like no effort into that line read and they were like, that's the best take we could do. Time to run, damn it. You gotta go from the top, otherwise you're not gonna have enough distance. I am, sure enough. It's almost like this is a puzzle or something. You gotta activate Royal Guard at the last second. Oh, that's not gonna work. Royal Guard! I, I was never good at Royal Guard. Really? I figured Devil, you were. Devil May Cry Confession. Never good at Royal Guard. Wow. I think it's you who needs to turn in your badge. Dante ain't got no badge, man. Give me, give me <laughs> Swordmaster and Gunslinger and I'm good. Turn in your pizza slices. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's more Devil May Cry-ish. I'm also gonna repossess your house. <laughs> you mean what the van? No, the, the house. <laughs> Turn in your pizza. This is why I became lactose intolerant because of my, my lack of Devil May Cry skills. <laughs> You're not motivated enough to Royal Guard. I don't feel I need to most of the time. Ah, shit, I should have known. And then John sold his house? Have you yet? I thought you were yeah. letting people look at it. Okay. Yeah. How's it sold? Like, we have to be out of here by the 10th. Oh, wow. This is exactly yes. the time to repossess his house. It's about to not be his house anymore. <laughs> Genius. Yeah, this yeah. is the most, like, you're okay with this. You know what? Yeah, you can have my house. Are you excited to move? I mean, I'm not excited about the actual thought of 
hacking. Movie? Yeah. Like, once we... Uh, if slash when we beat this game tonight, if we have time, we're gonna do a little bit of hacking stream as well. Just where, like, I'll do Q&A and, like, also pack up games and show off some stuff I have. How many times have you moved? I lost count. This is the longest I've been in a house, like, in Calgary, period. Really? Yep, and I've been here for three and a half years. What would you estimate it? Like, how many times I've moved? Yeah. Give me a second here. Uh, moved to Calgary in 2003. Uh, I'm not going to count moving back and forth between semesters. I'll just... I'll just be like, it's got to be a new place count. I'm living in, period. Yeah. Uh, moved to a place in 2003. Got kicked out of it in 2005 because uh, my roommate became diabetic. Uh, moved to a new place in 2005. Uh, but got kicked out in 2006 because it was an illegal suite. Moved into uh, the room of the boyfriend of the my the boyfriend of my roommate at the time. That was Gong Show House I moved into. That was where I started LPing. Lived there for a year. Uh, one of the guys in the house started a fight that broke the whole thing apart. Uh, then I moved into somewhere that someone from the church recommended. Stayed there for a year. Uh, then moved in with my buddy Kelican for a year. Then moved in with my girlfriend at the time for s eight months. Then the house we were in was getting demolished, so I had to move to another house. Stayed there for a year. Then the person had to sell the house. Then we moved to a new place. Then we wow. broke up after about eight months there. So I moved to an apartment for two years. That was when I started dating Reese. Then I moved here in 2015. Uh, and that's when Reese moved up, and that's when everything else happened, so... I didn't count how many houses that was, but that's how many times I've moved. And again, that is not counting just, like, going back to visit my family. To, like, stay there between semesters. That's just different houses in Calgary. Yeah. Okay. There was a reason for a while I was counting, like, time in houses. Because I was spending at most an hour, like, an hour. A year at a house. <laughs> and those are some shitty houses if you're only staying for an hour. I mean, yeah. More of a, more of a <laughs> visit, really. Tell us the diabetic story. <laughs> you still count time in houses. No, I, I like I don't as much anymore. Like I said, I've been here for three years. That's the longest. Three and a half years is pretty damn long by my schedule. Yeah. The only other house I've been in that long was the one I was raised in for obvious reasons. BRB real quickly. I'm going to go yep. get some milk. Healthy I boy. see. Rub it in. I've moved maybe 16, 17 times, I want to say. I moved a lot when I was younger, so. What the fuck? Never got to stay in the same school, basically. <laughs> Which kind of sucks. Mm. That's probably why I turned to video games. <laughs> No. They would never leave me. <laughs> <laughs> they won't leave me for anything. They better not. Or I'll well, get them. <laughs> I'll show them. Tamagotchi would, sadly. <laughs> Bitchin'. Can't believe they do this. Am I actually going the right way? I meant to go to the other secret area. Shit. What if this isn't a secret area and this is just the required way? That's my question. Is this the secret way or is this the required way? Fuck if I remember. Just go up. <laughs> Fly. <laughs> Look, man, at this point, you really need whatever it is. Damn it. It's the thought of the... It's the principle of the matter. Just fly. I mean, if it's the principle, then why don't you turn around and go back and go get it? All right, motherfucker. Yeah, no, get it. That's right. <laughs> like I knew you would. Now you gotta make the decision. Are you gonna get it for real? <laughs> well... <laughs> Oh yeah, I guess you could've just done this. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> motherfucker! Alright, what is this? Why didn't we do that the first time? Cool. I guess I guess you need to. So I wanted to prove that I could do it. Yeah, no, the, the platforming here is fun. 
Yeah, no, I said health of that and just chickened it. <laughs> Doing it the right way, honestly, is super fun. Also, I had to break blocks, which is another valid point. Well, there are ways to just grab onto the wall and then just cheese. Like that. Indeed, I did, James. No, trying to do it co-op was just a little bit like... Obviously, this area is not quite for co-op, so... Yeah, that's my problem with the co-op. Like, I've never yeah. played the co-op, but I remember watching some people, and it's definitely an issue of, like, <laughs> it's... <laughs> okay, that's kind of cool. It is. God damn it, am I going the right way again? I don't know. How are you? What's your ideal dream house? Uh, one that I could happily live in and afford. I think that's a pretty real <laughs> answer. Hey, I'm back. What did I miss? Uh, house that's talk. That's a really good answer. Ooh, house talk. Um, what are we talking about specifically? Uh, what kind of house? Dream house? That, that was what was just asked. And I mean, I, I feel like that's a relatable answer. Um... I mean, in terms of a dream house, like... I'm just happy that I would literally just love to have a house where all my games and studio would just be in, but to be honest, like, I'm inheriting the house, and it's pretty much perfect for me. You are super lucky to be inheriting a house. That is... That is crazy. Well, keep in mind the house is on another set of land where another house is on. So the way it, so the way it goes is that on my land, there's, we could technically have about two, three houses. The house that I'm getting is the very first house that was on. And the other house, which is the new house, is the one my parents have. So in a way, it's the guest house. But the truth of the matter is, is the house is not that big. It's like maybe a size of a two bedroom apartment. Oh boy, okay. For those asking about the, the diabetic story, I've told that numerous times, so I just, that's why I haven't bothered to tell it again. Long and oh, short right. of that one, the long and short of that one is, uh, the, one of, the first year I lived in Calgary, uh, I lived with this, this lovely lady. She was super nice. Uh, like, she was just like, she was working in the hospital as a nurse. And she was just like, all right, well, I'm gonna take care of you. You can stay with me. You can help like with my grandkid and stuff like that. Like it was, she was like the nicest person. And uh, after the first year, she was like, you were such a good roommate and tenant. I'm gonna take in another student or another because I have another room. So she does that and she gets another guy from Fort McMurray because that's where I was living at the time. That's where my, rather where my family was living. Uh, the dude that moved in, he was 300 to 350 pounds already. And he was one of the smallest people in his family. Like I met his whole family and I was like, okay, I'm noticing a trend here. Oh God. Definitely genetics on that one. So, uh, the lady I was living with takes him in. He, he's like another like nerdy gamer like I am, so like we, we get along all right. Uh, he does PC gaming, I do console gaming, just kind of works out. But he had, because he had Fort McMurray money, which is oil money, he every day would, uh, hang on, sorry, I need to concentrate. Sorry, this requires just a little bit of concentration. Those will instant kill me from what people have told me. Okay, there we go. Because he had oil money, every day he would go to the the local 7-Eleven, which was just around the corner, and he would get uh, a 12-pack of Pepsi, and he would get a large pizza from the pizza place next to the 7-Eleven. He did this for an entire semester. Oh my 
god, no. So, by exam time, the the nurse I'm living with, uh, she's she notices that he has like he looks super pale and he's shaking and that, and she goes to talk to one of the doctors that she works with. And <laughs> sorry, I have a feeling we're building up to the final boss at this point, so maybe I'll pause. Yeah, you want to just tell the story first, and not yeah, the that's what I'm gonna do. Uh, and the doctor says like, well, he's showing signs of like signs of diabetic shock or becoming diabetic and she freaked out because he wasn't like that when she mo when he moved in with her and she felt guilty that this happened on her watch so she said I can't deal with the guilt of something like this so I'm sorry I'm gonna ask for you guys to both move out I can't I can't handle that happening on my watch uh, tenants becoming like that so unfortunately because of him becoming diabetic and doing that to himself I lost that on the house I was living in Well, that's... that's super shitty. It's not my fault. That's the problem. That's kind of why I've always, like, had resentment towards the guy. Can't bring up a question. What, what happened? What do you mean, what happened? To that guy. Is he okay? I... he... I saw him a couple years later in university. He didn't recognize me. Wow. I knew he was fine. He, he got through his degree, as far as I'm aware of. I mean, he could have spent extra years there for all he cared. His family had Fort McMurray money. Why do you resent him and not her? Because, because she I, was a nice lady. Because she told him to stop and he didn't. <laughs> That's the part I left out. I completely understand like that feeling that she had. She's a nurse and she let that happen. I understand the guilt. But like Yeah, like it was just a weird situation. Is is a weird story. Very weird. Okay, so this is a final uh -huh. boss. Okay. He gained a t-shirt. You know what? That's a good ending. I like that ending. Yeah. I think have this I, is it. Have I told the illegal sweet story before? I don't remember. I mean, there's nothing to it. It's literally just... It was a house that had a sweet that shouldn't have. That's literally the story. It sounds like a, like a goosebump story. So, uh, what happened was we were living there for a while, and uh, I had friends over. We played games. We just kind of had a good time. But uh, a bunch of my friends had cars, so I'm guessing the neighbors ratted on us uh, because we were taking up parking spaces on the driveway, and then that's when they found out there was an illegal suite and had to move out. Long well, story short, there's just shitty people in this world. I guess for those who don't know what an illegal suite is, because someone just asked, uh, basically, an illegal suite is when you do not have your house actually, like, uh... You don't have don't official like. Actual. Well, here's the thing: like they had like you're not supposed to have like a stove and a fridge and all and sinks and all that stuff down in an illegal suite. Basically, like it's not supposed to be a livable house habitat. It can be just a room in your house, but it can't be like straight up like here's just another house you're just renting out kind of deal. Yeah, I could have stayed there and just used the kitchen upstairs, but uh, myself and my my friend we were living there for half a year, eight months. And uh, suddenly being told, like, yeah, now you have to use the uh, kitchen and shower and everything that's upstairs in this house of, like, four to five other people that you barely interact with. It's just like, no, we'll just find somewhere else to live. She moved out with her boyfriend, and I took the boyfriend's room at uh, Gong Show House. And that's where all that went down. You know, I hate to tell you this is a nice story and all, but he's going to get back any second, so... Yeah, the time it took you to tell that story, you may have not had to fight the final boss. Good job. Oh no. Oh, no. oh Muffin, how sweet. I knew you'd come around to the idea of us being together. After all, you are about to marry a god. I just hope your incessant yapping will be curtailed by the skeletonization process. 
Skeletonization is a, is a great word. Let's all appreciate that. Good word. You're that agave you're farmer. Ha, you're a luchador now, but I killed you. I definitely killed you. Not to worry, you'll have the great privilege of dying twice by my hand. I'm Carlos Calaca, the greatest chowdo that ever lived and died, but lives again! Oh, and don't worry, I'll make sure she witnesses your painful, painful death. Now show me how worthless you truly are, agave boy. Rematch. <laughs> Yeah, he likes to kind of copy your moves in a way. Yeah, I'm noticing that. He's not giving me much time to react. Yeah, there is an achievement if you're using one of the costumes you have to buy for, with the silver coins. It's the devil outfit. It's, it uh, heals you when you use it. If you beat the game with full health at the final boss, you get it like a little achievement. Interesting. Which, I did, for some reason. Whoa! I mean, whoa! I just... Whoa! Whoa! Whoa, I saw that too. Did it say knockout? It said knockup! It said knockup! What? <laughs> what was that? Oh my god. I saw that too. Uh, I guess they didn't put a frame in. Clip. Working as intended. John, why do you... Oh why did you knock up the boss? Wait, is Kal I think Kalaka is missing an animation. I don't think they expected me to do that. Oh, it's, it is definitely a missing animation. Yeah, I'm sorry. I do not believe we have reached this, that stage of our relationship, Kalaka. <laughs> Only you, John. Only <laughs> me. I'm cursed. I swear. It's a curse. <laughs> I gotta see this clip now. Wow. Uh, <laughs> like now that we've seen a picture of a black hole. Oh, he turned into a big boy. Yeah, this was the part of doing this without getting hit that I remember being a pain. Welcome to his final form. Whatever this is? Ah, okay. Throw these spicy nacho, nacho chips at him. Throw them right into his mouth. Spicy nachos. Let me oh, yeah, abuse my eye frames! Timed it wrong, son of a bitch. He tried. And he doesn't quite care too much for you using Intenso. He's just like, dude, come on. Seriously? I'm a god, remember? <laughs> I am the Intenso! <laughs> I'm very intense, thank you for asking. I feel like there's one major flaw with this boss fight, though. I feel like now's a good time to talk about it. Where did his mustache go? He had a really nice mustache, and it's just gone in this form. Come on. Fix your shit, devs. First, you know, that knockout animation. That now you miss the mustache. Come on. What's wrong with you? Could you say the mustache is worse than the knockout? <laughs> Honestly, yes. It's a grave error. Boom shakalak. I get it. Yep. Did it. Did the game. Frig. Gay for me. No. Is that the way the cookie crumbles? The mustache was the sacrifice he paid for power. I knew it. <laughs> I knew it. Makes sense to me. Warm. Uh oh. I'm being warned. There's gonna be a bagel alert. And it's a good thing we already beat the game. It's like if he lost his mustache and became weak. Big he had a really good pack. stash. <laughs> it's 
time. El Savior. That's not who I was playing as. <laughs> yeah, he tagged back in from Soul Calibur at the last second. <laughs> Thank you for playing the whole game for me, Roberto. Gracias. <laughs> gracias. <laughs> Muchos gracias. Wait, you're not Roberto. You're just Juan. <laughs> <laughs> you're just Juan. God, you're boring. Get out of here. Get out of here. Where's the, Where's the cop? Where's the the guy who saved my life. I like the, the skeleton the had nipples. you that's looking at them kissing. Like, ooh. <laughs> Turns out the real Roberto. Who just crossed his Roberto Cabo. That we made <laughs> along the way. Yay! Now they can party! So, what would then happen if you didn't get all the mass pieces? You yeah, don't. an ending where I think she's dead. Yeah, she's not there. So all these pictures, you don't have her in it, in the credits. It's it is a much better, happier ending this way. Oh, <laughs> Jaguar's <laughs> on our side now. Right. He would be marrying no one. He would just be like, hooray! Oh, well. No, I think it's like a different picture, if I recall. One still has his mask. Also doesn't. Yeah, one also doesn't get to remove yeah. the mask. Okay. He still gets the mask. Yeah. Juan dies and joins her in the afterlife. Oh yeah, that's the, the one of the endings. Oh jeez. I think it's actually. Is it at the end of this? It might be. She got the flag. <laughs> she got the card. And then they had a great life together. Mm -hmm. You can and see the bad ending from the main menu. Okay, cool. There you go, Ontario. The Ontario Media Development Corporation. That's one of the reasons Toronto and Ontario itself has so many devs. Because the government gives them money to actually do shit like this. Same with Vancouver, same with uh, Quebec. Alberta was doing that. A winner is you. Yay, hard difficulty now available. You also saved all President Day's daughter. You're a true hero. Seven hours, 31 minutes. Online rank, nice. 15,490. So I guess it's in extras. Yeah. At the uh, end. Or I guess, wait, do I want sacrifice first or is this? I think this is the one where it's just you. I'll never be the hero Roberto was. He saved the day. <laughs> I didn't get to save anyone. Oh. Oh, jeez! What? It just, like, the, on my side, it froze and then go to, to where sacrifice. it just stopped. Go to, go to sacrifice. Oh, this was the actual sacrifice cutscene. It's just that one again. No, oh, oh, still partying, though. Let's see, he has his map. It's marry me instead! <laughs> Look at me! I'm number one! Being single is great. I'm partying to <laughs> mask my sadness just like this mask actually is doing! Hooray! <laughs> so I. Well, I didn't say the president's daughter, but man, well, I, I look guess great with this me. mask on. Being single, you know. Right. Wow, this is a whiplash. Like, yeah, I could really use another pro. Oh, oh I married myself. Hooray! <laughs> married the man. You can kind of tell that there's supposed to be someone else there. Oh, yeah. Of it's it's sad. Take the yellow card instead. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's better, right? You, you could just tell the developers in the picture, like, dude, you fucked up. Go back and get the masks. Oh, yeah, there you go.
There it is. And he... Still a happy ending. More like a like Nightmare Before Christmas style ending. Yep. Wow, that's a whiplash to hell. Oh shit. Oh, it has to do with Mexican culture, so... Happy ending. Happy credits. Can we go back to the happy ending, please? <laughs> no. no! Sadness only! <laughs> no! Come on! No smiling allowed! Rip. No, no smiling fun. now! No, <laughs> hell no! Alright, let's drop some eggs. Let me stretch my legs, and then we'll switch over to, like, a chill Q&A and packing stream for the rest of the night. Yay! Woohoo! Packing! <laughs> Cookie, cookie. All right. Kicking it off with Mothra Man fifty four for forty five. Oogie McTalk, give the sub to Love Love, Love Live Festival. Emmy Wiz for 52, Jet Set Roy for 57, Vati for 38, Elo Boosted Animal for 9, Devil Kitty 1 for 25, Aura Morgan for 41, Cardian Joker for 63, Halls Fox 39 for 53, and Escaverse for 11. Thank you all for seven guys. Your eggs tonight are courtesy of the following people. Apparently everyone took that. Oh, hello, mister. No, oh, he's sniffing the ground for some reason. Uh, all right, I don't know why you resubmitted that Garuda egg joking mask. We already played it. Starboy with push the egg button. Tell the crew to push the egg button. Starboy again with a simple egg. You will give me an egg. Pretty straightforward. And then the sequel. A simple egg, too. You will give me an egg! Two. It happened again? <laughs> Thanks, Red Letter Media. I know. <laughs> and we no tend to... The Emperor bugs his way in. Hi, buddy. Speaking of Emperor, hi, Bagel. This is the final battle! Show yourself! Our new ruler, the Emperor! <laughs> that is a really good scene from that movie. That is a really good scene from that movie. Every scene from that movie is really good. Solid. Hi, buddy. Yeah. We're gonna go to break. We're gonna do the art <coughs> block, and then we're gonna switch to webcam and figure out how the hell we're gonna pack things with the cat here. See you guys in a bit. That was a good one. That was a good. Alright. Hi, chap. What's up? Hey, buddy. Hello. Hello. Hi, Bagel. Hi, Bagel. Chat, say hi to Bagel. <laughs> Don't worry, they already are. <laughs> oh, he's saying hi to the uh, microphone. Uh... <laughs> so, what'd you think of Guacamole? It was fun. Uh, yeah. Pretty sure she was asking Bagel, but all right. Thanks for answering. My, my bad. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> bagel needs to know <laughs> how good of a game it is. Though so it does not have cats in it. Only chicken. Well, no, there, there's a uh, jaguar. No, that's true. There's jaguar. So I'll ask you guys there's this. Did I... No, oh, yeah, never mind. Because there's a hard mode. Never mind. What? I was oh, gonna ask, did I really miss anything in the game other than just like the remaining like stamina pickups no, in that? You really didn't. Yes, you did. No. Everything. You did everything. <laughs> okay. Did you complete your lessons? Hey, buddy. Give me the. I see you you with the the chicken and his uh training bag. Egg. Oh yeah, I never finished those. Yeah. Oh, but the ending is funny. 
<laughs> we didn't. We were missing a move or two. He told us to come back, and we never did. Or Parker. Just the chests are the only thing required for 100% that you did not do. Okay. Yeah, it's a really good game. Uh, the second game... Uh, it's really hard to say how I feel about the second game. The second game is really memes, basically. And it's good, but I don't know, I felt like it was kind of missing something. What, Guacamelee 2? Yeah. Yeah, no, I, I haven't played it yet. I've heard people like it. I it's guess. not bad. I feel like this. I don't know. To me, I feel like the story is just a little bit lackluster, in my opinion. Like, and I mean, I, all I all I know from the store on the Steam page is like sacred guac, and I'm like, I don't know. That seems like a pretty good story to me. It's like, like don't get me wrong. It's not bad. I just I'm personally I'm not happy with the villain. To be quite honest, I thought the villain could have been better. I mean, you can't do much better than a skeleton, so unless they do another skeleton, yeah, what's even the point? I mean, they could have used any sort of Latino, Latina folklore, any sort of villains from there, or mythological creatures. I mean, they kind of already did with Chupacabra. Oh, damn. Yeah, for Blade Master says customer service. Customer service stories. That reminds me of when I was working at McDonald's, and after we would close, <laughs> a lady tried to give me an order through the door as I was locking it, saying her autistic grandson wanted nuggets. Continued in part two. Uh, when I told her we were closed, she started saying she was on the Chamber of Commerce and demanded to speak to my manager, who told me to tell her to get lost. She said she was going to complain to said chamber. It was fun. I'm sure she did. I'm sure she. I bet. I'm sure she was real distraught about those nuggets. I, I bet her uncle also worked at Nintendo. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Art Block, let's go. First and foremost, it is I, Proton of John. Totally not his wife or anything. Cardboard cutout with a cat. <laughs> the second I heard cardboard cutout of John, I knew what I needed to do. That's a convincing cardboard cutout. I believe it. Uh oh, more story time. Oh, that's a big one, Westerford. Jesus Christ. Uh, so near the end oh, of my college Mark. life, I, I don't know if I want to read all this. Yeah, maybe not the best place for stories. The brewery's kind of for art and stuff. Yeah, that's two stories. I'm skipping that. Sorry. You can read that one later. <laughs> Fuck this shit. I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's not wrong. Quick doodle, because that room full of enemies you flew over made me laugh. The white blob is just words that leaked over into this doodle from the pizza crimes drawing. I could just see, like, the bad guys be like, this is bullshit. He's fucking flying over. How do we get him? I had to do this after seeing the lawyer portraits earlier on. There's Bagel. Look, it's you, buddy. You just you can look at the screen. No, you're just gonna... The lawyer portraits? No, that, those are Diablo. Those are all the darkest people. Deep cut, <laughs> Puma pants. He flies like a moron. I can't believe. Are you <laughs> that? <laughs> Puma man of all things. Now you're thinking oh. with chickens. Also, I didn't need to look up references for this due to drawing things from Portal so often during middle school. Nice. Nice. With a name like Portal Cat, though, I mean, you better know how to draw a Portal. The bad guacamole ending in a nutshell. No fun allowed. Yep. Wow, that was a quick ass pose. <laughs> From Tails. Uh, I didn't know we were at that stage of our relationship. Maybe I've been going about this all wrong. <laughs> Congrats on getting Kalaka knocked up, John. You'll have to show us pics of the honeymoon. Oh, wow. I just noticed the Chris that was mixed into the song. I missed that earlier, yeah. Tom. I heard that earlier. Smith hits the scene. Will she win despite wearing pants? Is she Ronald McDonald's <laughs> illegitimate daughter? Where did all the fruit go? Kimberly and Monica's secret relationship. Tyra Banks is missing. Budget cuts Tyra from the show. Vanessa, the girl who can't use technology. Beautiful. God, oh I knew it. I knew it. You've been too quiet tonight. Uh, You've been too uh, quiet tonight, Jumney. 
Oh, wow. How have I not drawn this yet? You had been too quiet. Three streams. <laughs> it's impressive. That's actually really impressive. Wow. Well done, Shumani, as always. I like the flower on the uh, so mask. so Gex. Let's let's get you caught up here. <laughs> get me caught. Uh, oh, oh. Yeah. Let's oh. get you caught up here. Uh, I don't oh, think the, I don't okay. think the starting I, I don't think the starting pitches are on here. But. Uh, so I heard about Rosa John. I heard yeah. about Pom Pom. I've heard about like all the alternate universes of you. Yeah. There are how many did that say? Forty three different entries for female me. Yeah, forty three. I noticed though they yeah. all come from one specific artist. Oh, I just noticed the bruised up no, hands too. Look at that. No, like most of these are from Jumny, but there's a couple other people in here too. I can't see because of the cats here too. We got. Yeah, Dumblinless Dog, we've got Trevor Blade. Oh, that's a cute Luma bagel. Rosie, Rosie. Like, just like, there's a bunch of everyone here, but like, yeah, no, like, it, that's just the running thing now is like, female me. Just kind of rolling And female, and female you. As is... Percy has just put it, big titty John girlfriend. Big titty John. Big no, titty man. John GF. There you go. Perfect. So, best best but, accurate it, summary. But most of your outfits is of Rosalina. Yeah. So, uh, Jumny. So the. the oh God, now I'm gonna have to find the original bit. Uh, it basically came down to. Jumny as a joke drew me as Rosalina. Hey, hang on, hang on. This, there's an easy way to do this. Well, you do that. I am gonna bounce. I'm gonna go watch some anime with you now that we're done with Guac. Fair enough. I later, nerds. Anime is for real cool guys. Uh, Juker. Bagel. Bagel, anime thank you for too. lying down. Thank you for lying down. Thanks for your help, Juker. I know. I know the whole thing started because. Uh, the, whole, the whole thing started because I opened my mouth. That's exactly how it started. Well, no, because oh, the way. Because so, somebody it? drew a picture of you big titted and No, no, dead. that wasn't it. That wasn't it. This is how it started. So, uh Ari drew me a picture of Rosalina because I was being salty playing Smash Brothers. And Jumney, uh, one of his first stream arts that he did on his Twitter account was uh he drew me as as Rosalina or dressed as Rosalina while Reese was Mario here. And I, I saw the tits and I was just like, I made a joke like, no, if I was a girl, I'd definitely have bigger tits than that. Just like as a joke. And they took it as a personal challenge. Like I said, not busty enough or something like that. And then it just kept going through the night. And I was like, oh, that's, that's it, one shot. And then the next stream, it kept going. And every stream, <laughs> it just kept going up. And that was just how like, it mixed it with all like the other pictures as well. But then it would just be like, all right, big titty picture, normal picture, pon pon. Oh, this one was really good too. Cause they started, like, Jumpy started doing videos and everything too. Like every, every stream, it was a new, it was a new picture. And it was a different version of me mixed with Rosalina every time. And every picture, the bus size went up over and over. So like they, he did like this video of this, which which made me burst out laughing because I didn't expect it. <laughs> With the thumbs up and everything, and it just like it just kept going like that. Just like weird side stories and just like all the other stuff here, like it just kept going like that along with the normal art for the streams, and then it just got to a point where everyone just started doing it as well. So it just that just became like a recurring character. And then at some point, uh. I basically said, I honestly don't care. Like, literally, draw me is what you want. I, I'd rather be used to to make people make art than have something authentic, like, drawn as just me. Like, you draw me as however you want, anyway. And, uh... Oh, what, was, what was it that pushed it past there? There's me as D.Va... Ba -ba -ba. Like, 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 you see, like, normal pictures mixed with, like, the... Yeah, there's a normal me, Rosa me... What the hell was the picture that actually started things here? Uh, yeah, it's like I started. I, I literally said like anything's fine, and I like like 
I said, do it, motherfucker, to like, just doing whatever on the size. I pulled the trigger on said, I literally said, anything is, you will never find my I, limit. I love how the picture is literally of the cat just pointing to an ass well, that, picture. Well, that's color. their, that's their fursona, so, or one of, so. Oh, but yeah, okay. Yeah, that's, it's not bagel or anything, so. Uh, he but yeah, so Pandora's box. So you basically, I literally Pandora's said like you will like go as far as you want. You will never find my limit. I will. You will never stop. And then I found I forgot like I didn't say clearly enough. Hey, don't go past Twitch's limit. <laughs> so uh, limit so this picture, I'm gonna go end. past that quickly. That picture that I just went past was like set off a lot of problems. So yeah, we had we had to we had to roll it back a lot, and then uh, I had Scoot on with Cocom with me, which was hilarious. But then we started going off top with that too. So then there's also Shantae me as well, and there's like the, now there's this whole alternate universe of different characters, and it just oh, happened Shantae like. One is really cute. Yeah, no, yeah, I, I really like the design on this one's like really well done because it's also mixed with the Rosalina stuff too. Oh, yeah, honestly, no, like this, Jumney's, good. this has been hilarious just seeing what jumney has been drawing for the streams along with everyone else. It's been real good. I just find it, you know, it's just, what's really good is you're explaining all of this lore while this really cheery music is being played yeah. in the background. <laughs> so it's like, welcome to the Proton John lore. Here's how it all started. Once but, upon a time. Yeah, but essentially, that's why the Buru now exists, because we can, like, view things in advance, and the, the rules on the Buru are literally, like, don't do, like, no nudity, no genitals, no, no nipples, etc. <laughs> So anything that violates Twitch's so I'm TOS. being told to show the saxophone one. So here's the saxophone one. Which, oh, that's which, actually which great. really yeah. good. Oh, no, there's there's more to it. Hang on. So um, so I said, like, that looks like an alto sax. I play tenor sax. So Jomini was like, you dare criticize my ability to draw a proper tenor sax? Have at you. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> it was just really funny. It's been wow. fucking hilarious. Like literally, they, like they cut out the pieces and put it over the original picture. It was so good. That the whole, was the whole thing has been great. Cheap. So There's uh, so I'm, so I'm, many like I think my favorite part, Jumney, and I know I'm just gushing over your, the, the whole thing right now. But like <laughs> Jumney always likes to do like a I little remember, above and beyond stuff, which always makes me laugh. I love. Okay, I remember the Pokemon one. That one was funny as fuck. <laughs> So, uh, so, so we did Pokemon crowd control. So like everyone kept throwing constant items on me. <laughs> I remember seeing yeah. that. Jumpy man has, cha has changed your sprite. <laughs> it just, How? What? I know. It was, just, it was just so funny. How many times it kept happening? Oh my that god! So I awesome. that was genius. So, so like that's that's Jumpy's like uh, personas there. That's like the picture they did for Pikmin and Fortune Cookie. Like. It's always so, like really funny the stuff that they'll do. So, uh, question for the artist then: What is that draw? What is your um, material? Because that looks like felt pen. If I look closely at it, that looks like felt pen. It looks like markers of some kind. So, but no, I, I, dude, it it sucks. Like when I try and catch up or keep up with like what's going on in the streams i just seem to be falling behind because of life it says uh whatever prisma color markers are okay that's what i gotcha yeah like like jumpy's done a lot of cool stuff like he did this throne controllers design for the traveling show and i had to laugh at this one here i need to explain this one too because i retweeted this one so uh i didn't see the comic there for some reason. Let me Whoa! Okay, how did the uh, Toadette crown? Alright, so that's Tim, and that's Emil. The funny thing was, Jumney sent this to me in a DM, and was just like, I, this is probably not gonna be allowed to be posted. So, uh, like, so I, let me guess. So that's it. Emil? And I, I showed it to him, Tim and Emil, I'm like, hey, do you mind if he shows this on, post this on Twitter? They both said, yeah, sure. I was like, really? Alright, cool. And even Jumney's like, wait, they said okay? And like, they did. <laughs> Go for it, post it. <laughs> So let me see if I let me see if I guess this right. Emil's Daisy. Yep. Tim is Pauline. Yes. Uh, uh, yeah. No. This was not posted. Like Jumney. Like here's the thing. People give give Jumney shit because it's all lewd art or a fair amount of it is. But like, he stays within the lines. He's perfectly fine. The stuff he does. 
And he asked permission to post this. Or technically, he said he was never going to post it, and I asked for permission. So, like, no. like I, like, give him credit. Like, they know they know the line. They stay on the line pretty easily there. Where mm -hmm. is... Hang on, I need to... Uh, we'll skip that one. This is this was the one I was looking for. So it became like a... Uh, they designed, like... Because uh, we were talking about alternate universe shit. Uh, they designed Emil as Daisy. And the one thing we kept joking about was that Tim is the universal constant. <laughs> Tim, Tim will always be Tim in every universe, no matter what. I love the hot wife shirt. Yeah, that's that's a running joke from a number of things. So not Wait, not just I, that Newman. one. I know. <laughs> oh, like I said, it's just it's it's sometimes hard just to try and catch up with things, just because of just personal life and everything. Because it's like. Good, no, I'm good still shit. here. I didn't die from laughter. <laughs> <laughs> she just got very I know, concerned we're, for we're, me, basically. I, I know, like, Edo and I are just, like, laughing our asses off and going, oh my god, what the hell have we been missing? Well, this is normal stuff for John. So. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> is that why, like, I saw someone retweet, it's like, oh, I know John is streaming because there's some weird shit on my timeline No, it's, a, it's always, like, giant, giant anime titties, I believe is the wording they used. But yeah, no, uh, like that, I feel, I partially feel bad, because that's literally what my timeline streams have been. Like, all, every time there's always at least one big titty stream picture art I retweet. But also, I don't fucking care. I have no fear. So, like, I'm very comfortable with myself and everything, so I'm not worried about it. Reese just laughs about it, because she, she'll always post, like, her art of, like, uh, all her Final Fantasy fourteen characters and stuff. So I'm just like, we, we have an understanding, it's not even a worry. So it's become just this running gag between it. Like, she'll call me Hot Wife John, and I'll call her Husbando and stuff like that. Yeah, you may not need to worry about yeah. it. I it's like your boobs, I, I believe, is what? exactly what Reese said out loud. So <laughs> You may be fine. Your website says TOS, on the other hand, will say otherwise. Be like, nope. Yeah, uh, well, that's why I said, like, you have to stay on this specific line, which is, like... No nudity, no nipples, male or female, no genitals. Boom. That's the line. Don't go past it, and we're good. And to everyone's credit, ever since we made that line as clear as possible, no one's passed it. That's good. Yep, that is good. Speaking of our blog, um, shall we return to that? Now that I, I now... Uh, we're, we're, that was it. We're done with the art. That was the art block. Oh! That, that was extended art block because of that. So if anything, let's... Uh, Let's change things up here. Alrighty. Hey, guys. If you have a question for John, myself, or Edo, go ahead and ask in the chat. Da, da, da. Because now it is time for the part of the stream I've been dreading a little bit. We got to do a little bit of <gasps> packing. It's a Canadian. It's a Canadian. Hello. <laughs> um, let, me, let me turn is on some, some music since I know it's not going to trip the VOD. Is it Let's kind see. of, it's kind of weird, John. I'm growing my goatee out too. Is your goatee red or are you, um, so here's, the, so here's the thing. My, I'm, I'm looking up for, look, so <laughs> my camera's right here. I'm looking up here. Cause that's where XSplit is. So yeah. that's, I apologize for that. I'm just going to move these in the same spot. So at least I'm looking at you. There we go. That's better. Uh, oh, don't look at me. Oh, that's creepy. <laughs> Grab my drink. <laughs> <laughs> So, uh, my hair is weird. It's dirty blonde. Uh, but so it's depending, depending on the light, it will come off as blonde, it'll come off as brown, or it'll come off as red. So we changed the bulbs to be, like, high-energy LEDs because we're moving out. We had to do the house staging and all that. So mm -hmm. people, like, in this light, it looks very red. Mm-hmm. So here's a weird, interesting thing. Um... This is also, this could be some little fun history too, at least on my end. Um, so I am part Irish. And what's weird is I have dirty blonde hair, chestnut hair. But my whole beard goatee is complete red. Okay. And it's funny, my mom has redheaded, and, uh, is redheaded. None of my sisters have any of their red hair. I'm the only one that has red in the family. 
Oh, I guess I should change the game too. I just thought about that. That might be different. Might be <laughs> the game is chill and relax. What is the most moving related game we could pick? Tetris. Move. There's literally moving day. There we go. Moving day. Oh, uh, wow. I can't believe that's or just chatting. I mean, we all do just chatting. I, we probably actually should. Animal Crossing is also a good option. New Leaf. Technically, your house flipper. Now, here's a question I have. I don't know if my headset's going to reach far enough to do this. Um, so, if you're moving that far, if you have a sensi mic sensitivity setting on your mic, you should be able to turn it up to at least the highest. No, you we should be would... able to. You can, you can still hear me. I, I already did testing on this before I did the stream. So, you can still hear my, my audio. It's not going to be the best, but it still, it still carries pretty well. Well, we could hear you pretty loud and clear, surprisingly, yeah. but that's that, because that's, this is as far as I can go. This is this is a wall. <laughs> this is real. Well, no, it's just that because your space is so enclosed and very small, the noise keeps bouncing around. You don't have like noise absorption foam or any sort of sound. Well, because I settings. don't have any wall space for it, so. Well. It, you could also take your games too, so because they could, depending on the materials as well, they can do some sound absorption. This is just my digital media theater background stage production. I'm talking just gonna here. tell you, don't worry about it right now. We have a tape gun, and that's all that matters. Well, I need to worry about it, John. <laughs> all right, what should I pack up? Oh, jeez. <laughs> uh, what should you pack up? Um. We also like, uh, if you want to see like some of the cool stuff I have here, because I don't usually show off the contents of the office that often, I'm okay to do that too. Like, I don't know, like, I got box snacks. games if you want to see some of those. Um. All oh, the SNES games. So here's one thing I noticed. You have the same cases for what looks like your older retro consoles for like super nintendo n64 very bottom shelf these these are the actual these are the actual game boxes oh shit these are these are the actual game boxes mm -hmm. oh dude so i wish i could see mine. what ones i have just tell me like like, this shelf is Super Nintendo boxed. This shelf is NES boxed. Here, you know what? I'm no. going to show you something cool. Um, this is probably the rarest thing I have. Oh. Definitely, definitely value-wise, this is. Oh my god, that's a box Flintstones. That's me dropping my microphone. Flintstones, surprise, dinosaur peak, complete in box. Wow. Sealed? This is... No, God, no, God, no. Do you know how well, expensive because... that is? Sealed? That is at, yeah, a, that is at a digit, basically. Yeah, that's like five digits, easily. Granddad. <laughs> I'm not going to tell you how much I paid to get this because it is way below what it is valued at, and you will get angry. But, uh, yeah, no, this is this is the coolest thing I have probably in my collection. This is the most expensive thing. So what's the shine on it then? Because that's oh, why I thought okay, it was Okay, so sealed. that, now that is different. Okay. Here, let me show you. These are protective cases you can put on your games. Oh! Uh, these are these are boxes. You can get these, like, a, a super cheap. I think it's, like, maybe a dollar a case, maybe less than that. Uh, they're just, they're shaped depending on the system you want them for. So this is specifically the NES game shape. You can get them for Super Nintendo, N64, pretty much any system. I know, like, a gaming, uh, like, company that would be, like, at, at conventions that would sell their, like, SNES or NES games. They would usually sell it, like, sometimes with the actual clear cover. Yeah, and then someone realized, oh, I could just sell these and, and collectors will buy them. Which is why there's so many of them now. I have a lot of games in And did you cut cover. out? What? My check, my check. Mike, uh oh. No, I think I can hear you. John, we can't hear you. Gex, only you can't hear me. Just me? Yeah, I can Yeah, hear. I could hear. That's weird because I saw your mouth moving, but I couldn't hear audio. Don't Not have to sure. tell you, dude. Could have just been just Whatever. Hiccuping. 
Yeah, it could be just to pick up. Uh, Fair enough. Uh, what else can I show off that's cool here? Hang on, let me see. Uh, Kirby. <laughs> <laughs> Kirby, yeah. Okay, it wouldn't you... it wouldn't be me without showing this off. Oh, Ninja the Ninja Gaiden, oh, of course. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I didn't even I didn't one. have to know. I didn't even have to know. I already knew. Ninja Gaiden three, all in box. Nice. <laughs> These, these I'm getting that somewhat recently too. <laughs> I'm getting old. Oh please. I will stay young forever. What else we got here? Um, do you have? Let me look at my collection. Oh, I got do it. You... I, I got the perfect one to show off. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, Sesame Street A, B, and C. Let her go round at Ernie's big splash. <laughs> oh snap. Oh, the game you all wanted in box. <laughs> this Ooh. costs less than five dollars. <laughs> I bought it this this year because the Jeff, the guy who runs video game trader, was like, "John, I know you want this. Just take it, please." <laughs> it will never sell to anyone else other than you, John. Please buy it. Just take it. Pretty much. I love that I'm at a point in my life where I can go into video game stores. And people would be like, yo, this game's weird. We kept it just for you. <laughs> I love that but I'm at you, that point in my life. But you know, John, that that always gets you connections. When when does it get to the point where they have to pay you to take the game? <laughs> oh, God. God, if only. <laughs> well, then most businesses would run out the rate that I pick up shit, so. Well, to be fair, to be fair, Pat the NES Punk, he's at that level, too. That there are sellers that were Pat, literally... Pat is also, like, a writer now. Like, Pat has... Here, actually. Oh, no, it got packed away. I was gonna say, I have his book, but uh, it's packed away in a box somewhere right now, so... Oh, you have the book that details every game he has reviewed. No, it's every NES game that has been released, period. Every licensed NES game. Yeah. Wow. That one. Yeah, it's not every game he's reviewed. It's literally every game. Uh... Huh. Now, if memory serves, do you actually have a Nintendo World Championship? God, uh, no. Repro you know how expensive repo. those things are? Oh, repo. repo. No, no, I don't have a repro. Those. No, those God, no. Like John, bucks. that's literally card, about... No. That's five, six figures easily. Gold 10, 10, easily. 15, yeah, gold's probably more than that. Gold can go 50,000 plus. And there's like what only twenty seven in the world that's known, something like that. Uh, anything else cool you guys want to see, or should I just start packing up stuff and taking questions? Um, what what odd like memorabilia gaming like figures or like for instance, I have Phantom Hourglasses, um, limited edition Nintendo DS that has the Triforce embedded in it. Uh, oh really? Oh yeah. Here we go. Here's, here's an exclusive for you. Duke Nukem branded steroids. What? Oh my shit. What? Oh my shit. Here, I'll take some right now. Oh my god. <laughs> Actually, I probably Seriously. should. These things are nasty. Uh, they're, they're mints. They're, they're pure mints, but they are also... That is so when funny. Did, what, what year did I even get these? 2010? 2012? Somewhere in that range? I had a couple of them. They're just like chalky mints. They're not that good. Yeah. Mm. Um. Uh. Oh, God. Here's a weird, quirky thing I like to collect. Do mints expired? Yes. Yep. Game Boy Pockets. I like collecting Game Boy Pockets. I'm trying to get them all. Really? But I'm also trying to get them with the matching Game Boy camera. So, oh, I, have, wow. I have a wall over here of about 10, I think? I'm just, I'm literally mm -hmm. just eyeballing here, so. So, oh, like, wow. see-through. This is, like, my weird, quirky thing that I want to collect, is just all the different Game Boy Pockets. Now, the That's Game cool. Boy Pockets, those are the smaller yeah. versions of the Game Boy, correct? Yeah. They yep. run on, okay. they run on AAA batteries. The screen is black and white instead of green. Mm-hmm. I have a Here, friend that the red uh, one collects, with the camera. Uh, I have a friend that collects a lot of the 3DSs and DSs, like the different versions. There's so many. So, 
I know one of the rare things that I probably have is the limited edition gold and silver Game Boy Color with the with the Game Boy Color changing gold to silver with Pikachu and Pichu on it. I heard that is considered rare. Sorry, which one? The Game Boy Advance for... It is the Game Boy Color Special Edition Gold and Silver Edition. Yeah, where that, the... one's, that one's decently rare. Especially if it's in good condition. This was Reese's. She gave me this. Uh, it's a, it's the, the Pokemon. Oh, my yellow it's one. The po so the yeah. one past that is the gold silver one, which is, I believe, harder to come across. So this was a, yeah. a fan gave her this, and we wanted to keep it in the house. So if we kept it in the, we added it to the collection, basically. Oh, wow. Apparently people are saying, wow, that's actually lucky, Jax. Um, um, oh, hang on. Here's a cool thing. It's blocked off here. Hang on. I Rosalina's been holding these up. <laughs> here is... This is just out oh. of my, my headset's range, by the way, too. Here is an entire boxed North American set of virtual Oh ladies. my gosh. Oh virtual. my Including Jesus. the big boy himself, Jack Rose. I believe the, this one's the, missing the manual, though, but it's got everything else. I was about to say, the uh, Japanese only virtual boy? Uh, or the European? The only Japanese game I have for it is uh, Inn's Mouse, which is the weird, like, the maze demon one. Hi, buddy. Bagel. Hello. Oh wow, that's that's a that. Oh, wh I see a red Super Nintendo cartridge. Water world. Yeah. So uh, originally I had them all stacked with my 3DS stuff, but my 3DS stuff's already packed. So I needed something to hold up the game. So I'm like, well, Rosalina's got her hand out, so she's like a she's like a bookend. It's perfect. Yep. Hi, buddy. Here, come here, bud. Camera's on, you're not getting away this time, mister. Oh boy, there we go. Hello. Hi, Bagel. Hi, Bagel. <laughs> I'm allergic to you. <laughs> so, is, so is Reese. Is she really? Yep. Oh no! Bagel is... 12 pounds? 13? He's a big boy. Wow. He looks like big as he looks as big as my Scottish Terrier. You're a loud mouse too, hi. Meow. I wish I could just leave the camera on him, but I know he won't sit still. No. Unfortunately. So what picture frames do you have? I see um, certain pictures. Okay, so this one directly here. I guess I could also just grab the fucking camera. I mean, you don't have to. <laughs> that one right there, yeah. that is my diploma, or my degree rather, from the University of Calgary. Ooh. Slide this one right there. Uh, let's see what else we can see here. That one top up there, that is my YouTube award for getting 100,000 subscribers on my main channel. And oh, wow. the one below it is, thanks to, I believe it was Nixon who got me this, uh, a signed picture of Robocop from Peter Weller. Wow. So, speaking of that, so I have a kind of a story. At a sporting event I worked at, there was a Mike Tyson, the, um, you know the Mike Tyson's punch out? Turn off one of my monitors, shit. Uh, I want to show this off, too. Oh, eggs. Yeah, so people, every time someone gives me like a, uh, a bead art egg, I try to add it on there. So that's like all the ones I've gotten. And I, also someone did my old Ninja Gaiden logo too, which is great. And you can see oh, all okay. the random shit I have on the uh, tops of the bookshelves. So there was a... Um... In Mike, Ty you know, at the kind of Mike Tyson's punch out for the Ness, there was the kind of animation where it showed Mike Tyson winning by knocking you out. Yeah. At a sporting event, there was a guy, he actually had Mike Tyson himself sign that picture. Oh, yeah, I saw that. Yeah. 
There's a couple of those going around now. Yeah, I was tempted to buy it for you because the bid was only 150. I, I think Tim has one of those now. I think Tim got yeah. one at a Magfest or something like that. Yeah, but I was like, I I wonder if John would like this because it was the only video game thing that would work. Shoot, Everything. That's where it is. Okay, keep keep talking. Uh, but I was like, I wonder if I can get this for John and just ship it. But it's like, but I don't know. There was something that I was like, I'm not sure if he would like it. Would it work? I don't know. Okay. Plus, it was the only video game thing that would work. Go in the storage closet, bagel. It'll be fine. I have to go get my packing table. No, they're fine. Perfect. Done and done. Ta da! <laughs> and now for the Vanna White presentation. This is the box. You could get this lovely exclusive box for only 50 cents. Yeah, I wish it was only 50 cents because Home Depot's expensive. And the cat won't jump in these either, which is the worst part, too. So, like, you think you just use them as a house? Nope. <laughs> so, what is that figure on the very top of the shelf, right behind you, directly behind you? It's like going up against the ceiling. Which one? This one? It's a couple. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Uh, this is Ayane from Ninja Gaiden. So, this is actually like her Ninja Gaiden design. I've never seen any other modern Ninja Gaiden design, so this is the only one I've been able to find. I know there's a Ryu one somewhere, oh, wow. but I've never seen it. Uh, what else? Up oh, there's the, uh... There's Ezio from Assassin's Creed 2 Collector's Edition. When I was working oh. EB, we were struggling to get rid of those fucking things. I got it for five bucks. Oh! oh God damn it! And of course... The baby! Who could forget? Babysitting mama. The baby! No, oh no, no. my Don't god! Shake the baby. Oh my god! That thing exists. Yeah, we played it on stream in the weird controller stream. Oh god! <laughs> the okay, and then the ones on the arcade are I assume more figures. Uh, the ones over here. Yep. Oh, also oh, one. Oh, I see what you mean. Uh. I can't grab all these without taking off my headset. Hang on. Well, don't. I mean, you could just point to I us and tell us what they are. So it's okay. Um, there's just two or three of note here I'll grab. Um, someone asked John, uh... This is Sigma. He's just also wearing Pushin. Oh, wow. Of course he is. He's wearing oh, Pushin. Oh, whoa. Nice. <laughs> what a nice Sigma. Kikyo got me this Resident Evil 6 Chris Redfield. Nice. He's on the base there. Hi, buddy. Oh, no, your chair's been moved. I'm sorry. Uh. Uh, someone's asking, John, uh, Death Scambet Hourglass that you got from the devs team. Oh, yeah, I can show that off. Give me a sec. Oop. Hey, buddy. Hang on. This is a cool thing. This is the king from Castle Crashers. So I actually have a very, 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 very funny story about Castle Crashers. So I do believe it was at PAX East. They were showing it off. I was trying to get Tom Phelps's autograph. I didn't know who he looked like. So while I was there, this guy comes up to me and I had one of the Castle Crashers figures. Because I bought him. And this guy comes up to me. He's like, oh, I see you want to get Dan's signature, the artist. And I was like, no, I am actually want to get Tom's. And he was like, oh, well, I'm Tom. I was like, oh, shit, dude, I love your game. It's super fun. And he was like, oh, dude, thanks. You want me to sign? I was like, yes, please. I'll buy the other figures, too. And I did. I dropped about 150, 200 bucks. <laughs> This is the Death Gambit uh, hourglass they gave. Oh the my god! It's light, but this is the design of death is on each side and upside down. It's what is the material? It. It's it's really cool. Is that heavy? What What is yeah, the base made of? It's probably as heavy as the cat is, honestly. 
Oh, Jesus. Here's my, uh, here's my knife I use to open up uh, all my boxes and stuff I get. This was a, a gift for being in the bridal party for my sister. Groom, it's hard uh, to tell. Groomsman is marked uh, wood burned on the handle, and my name's on the other side. Mm-hmm. That's the smaller knife I use. You call that a knife? Nice. This is a knife. It's a freaking machete. Oh, uh, Val, if for some reason you were here, thank you for the gift. I finally got it. That is a Arctic Monkeys shirt because they went to the concert and uh, they sent it to me because I couldn't go. Um, Edda, what do you have that's kind of like geeky, nerdy memorabilia? Besides Kirby. Hi, buddy. Hi. Wait, my favorite what besides Kirby? <laughs> well, what kind of like memory, uh, like video game um, figurines, memorabilia, some kind of rare shit that you have. I'm trying to think what would so, be considered rare. I have a couple of rare items. So one is a sonic ornament uh, that was actually made in the 90s. Um, it's very old. It's very fragile. And the uh, only way you know that it's uh, an old is that it actually says Sega Sonic. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> an idea of how old that is. <laughs> That's probably one of my more rare Sonic items. I think the other rare would be I have a Mega Man helmet um, that I did get signed by Keiji Nafune. So that was pretty cool. Nice. Anything else figuring wise? I really don't have any, like. Not really much. Everything's Kirby. <laughs> Everything's Kirby or like anime figurines. Mm hmm. You know, it, it's sad. Um, when Mighty Number no. Nine was in the works, I remember at MacFest, KG Inafune was there as a special guest. Mm -hmm. yeah, and I had him sign. sign. Yeah. I had him sign one of the mighty number no. nine posters that i had because i was like i'm really looking forward to this i'm super excited and everything yeah we, i guess we all know how that turned out it was a great game and everyone loved it what are you talking about you're uh, well i mean it was great so um uh so i guess for me in terms of some of the really weird kind of obscure things that i have so it is no secret i am a huge call of duty zombies fan and two of the things i have is a juggernaut mini fridge and a mini fridge? okay yes i do and it works sounds and all and the other one that I have is the actual mystery box, which is if you pull it, it will actually make sounds and everything. So I went to this Halloween party, made a bunch of spooky cake pop ghosts. And as people open it up, it spooked them because the noise it made. And they all thought it was like, what the fuck did you do to this Gex? And I was like, it's the mystery box. Open it up and see what happens. Also, John, I think we're getting raided. Really? Now? Yep. I think it's a small raid. Looks like a one man. Oh. I got a cat who's constantly he's running back and forth right now. Thanks for the raid. Where's the button? I'll get the bazooka. It's Christmas! I still haven't wanted to change it because I still like the Christmas one. <laughs> Hee hee! Hee hee! Merry Christmas, everyone! What do you mean it's only. But it's Christmas! Oh well, Merry Christmas! Hee hee! 
Thanks, Ray. Uh, as you can see, we're... It's moving day. We're packing. Well, it's not moving day, moving day. Uh, but yeah, we're packing up stuff. So as you can see, some of my games are a little, uh, tenuously packed here. I have to keep, like, these guys on the side here. Because while I can stack most, uh... Super Nintendo games, no problem. Super Famicom games are rounded, so they're more annoying to stack on. So, there, let's let's see what we got in here. Oh, and my microphone fell. Nice. Crap. <laughs> cool Rip beans. Back up. Let's try that again. Uh, Tetris, Battle Gaiden. Nice. Super Bomberman Panic Bomber W. Ooh. Got that in mm. Halifax of all places for some reason. Super Bomberman 3. Poppin' Twin B. Yay, Twin B. Uh, this is uh, the first Parodius. Oh, Parodius. I love how Japanese art on the cartridges are seem to be much more better and pleasing than the american versions i can never remember the name of this one this is like super nam uh, caught or super yy world or something super wangan i cannot remember the name of this i have it written down the backlog oh, of what it is uh, i thought i left the sticker on it so i could actually remember wait, the translation i thought it was the name but i can't remember uh Gundam Wing Endless Duel. And Hagane. This is the Japanese cartridge, anyways. A Sipper of Wagyan. W A G. Uh... W A G Y N. Super Wagyan World. Yeah. Super Wagyan Land, I'm seeing. Hi, buddy. You just lying down on the floor yeah. now? You're actually sitting still? I remember watching Arino play that game. I think he played the NES version, the Famicom version. I think he ended up playing the Super Famicom one as well. What about the Super Famicom Thunderbirds games? Our game, I do not have that. I do not. Ooh. Yeah, Hyperzone? Yes. I had to think about that for a second. That's like one of my favorite. We beat, we did that for game clearing okay. last year, didn't we? I think so. Probably. It's a quick game. It really is. <laughs> Why don't Do you own either Rugrats PS1 game? I don't. Backlogger's back up, so I can just actually check. Yeah, I was about to say, I think Backlogger is up. Yeah, they're right. I don't, actually. Uh -huh. Mm hmm. I'm gonna be I'm gonna be real with you. Uh for as many PS1 games as I have, like there's a lot of PS1 games. How many PS1 games does it say I have on here? Uh 489. That is That is a quarter or is that the PS2 that had over two thousand games? PS2. That's not yeah, it's like not half of, of them. There's a lot. Now I need to look it up. Now you now you got me going here. Now I need to know. Oh, here how many we PS, go again. How many PS1 games are there? Got to figure out how many games there 1300. is. 1,300. Oh, shit. All North American release PlayStation games, 1,300. So yeah. not even a third of them. So, um, how do I put it? On the left, if I was... Looking at you straight. Yep. On the left side, uh, second bookshelf. Take your finger up one. What is that shelf of? This? Th nope. One more down. Yeah, the ones that are all sticking out. Are those like accessories? Uh, no, those are. Oh, sticking out? Okay, so hang on. This is a, a various pile. Oh. So, hang on, let's see what we got here. 
plumbers don't wear ties. God, I kind of wish I had that, actually. <laughs> <gasps> it's just... It's just a visual thing. Uh, this is a busted copy of James Pond 2, codenamed Robocod. I was going to see if I could try to fix it. Uh, Donkey Kong Jr. for NES. That's a duplicate. Mendel Palace. This is uh, Game Freak's first video game. At least, like, on a Nintendo system. Uh, cartridge is acting weird. I got to try to fix it. Duplicate copy of G-Police. Duplicate copy of Driver 1 for PS1. This is... So, here's the thing. So, where I get a lot of my rarer games from, they usually come in these display cases, which have, like, the actual box art on them. Yeah, that's what I have for all my old... For all my consoles. Or for my old games. Uh, there's a guy in Las Vegas. He does those. Yeah, I'm not fond of these. I'd rather just have the, the actual box. I know, so. but... The problem is, is, like... The games... The boxes that I try and find when I go to cons is just... They just don't exist, and it's like, well, I'd rather keep put them in something to where my games will actually be work and be perfectly safe. Yeah, and then I've got, like, these are games that viewers gave me that they don't have the cases for, like Disney Golf and uh, Neopets Darkest Fairy. So they're just, like, they're hard to keep to keep in place. Copy of Miss Pac-Man for NES, which I just didn't sort into NES. And an extra copy of King of Fighters 11. Uh, to answer your question, no, I don't li live in Vegas. I live in Nevada. I'm buying you Rugrats Search for Reptar if you don't mind. I'll come in probably a year after year after I get enough games amassed. Jesus. All right. <laughs> thanks, Uki. Like, I don't I have that? I think I have the N64 one, don't I? Like, that's the thing. Like... Because I got all the, like, hang on. I can't see my camera anymore here. Like, that N64 shelf, that's every North American N64 game. Just very, very condensed. So I think if it's on N64, it's in there somewhere. It's not there? Okay. I guess it's not on the uh, N64 then. Can I crochet you an Afghan? If you don't want one, it's okay. Just say so. Uh, if you want, like, I don't know if I would be able to, I would, if I would use it. So, like, that, you're, you're welcome to do it, but I can't guarantee you'll get usage, unfortunately. Um, thank hmm. you. Thank you for the offer, regardless. So, this... I'm going to assume all the sh little cabinets right underneath Jason's helmet is all just con uh, controllers and stuff sort like of. that. Sort of. Here, let me, let me show you. Well, well the to... good thing the good you... thing about those is you just got to tape that shut and look, you've already packed Dude, half of no, that away. No, no, this is too heavy. This has to be emptied. So, uh, each oh, one's really? each one's a different thing more or less. This is Virtual Boy controllers. Oh, I'm sorry. Don't worry. This we got it. Virtual Boy controllers. Uh huh. And also another thing that I collect: Neo Geo pocket colors. So this is Neo Geo's uh, portable that they made years ago. Yeah, the answer to the Game Boy. I've got four of them, I think. Yeah, I've got these two blue ones. <laughs> what the hell is Neo Geo Pocket? It's exactly what it is. Here, uh, I think I might still have some of those games grabbable. They might be all packed up. <laughs> Shit, no, they're all packed up. Do you actually have a work in Virtual Boy? I hope I do. <laughs> That's really reassuring to have said. So yeah, here, here's the box for Neo Geo Pocket. Oh. So, uh, it was oh, wow. It was literally a color Neo Geo system. I think this one might still have batteries in it. Hang on. Let me see here. One of these still has battery power. Oh, this is a cool color. Let me see. Stone oh, blue. yeah. Stone blue. Wow. Yeah, Dan, those were actually released in North America. That was yeah. Bandai's attempt 
to the answer to Nintendo's Game Boy. Remember, pocket handheld gaming was a new thing. No, Bandai's answer was the Wonder Swan. You're getting them confused a bit. Hang on a second. Oh, I remember the Wonder Swan. Oh my goodness gracious. I think my Wonder Swan's already packed up. But yes, I, I do think, have a Wonder Swan. I think my cousin Hi. still has yes, a Wonder hello. Swan. Are you, what are you doing? You jumping up on my back? <gasps> Mer, you jumping up on my back? Do it, Bagel. <laughs> Be like Pikachu. It is your destiny. <laughs> Hi. Come on, Embrace your destiny, Bagel. <laughs> bagel, listen to us. Listen to the chat. We are speaking to you. God damn it. Now he's rolling around now. He's having a great time. You know what? Here is a weird thing that I actually have <laughs> in the collection. This is not worth <laughs> anything. This is sentimental. Ah, Happy this, Gilmore. This is a VHS copy of Happy Gilmore. Oh, yeah. Yep. The reason I still have this, this is the only VHS tape I still have. When I was 13, I met my half-brother for the first time. Oh, wow. So my mom didn't tell us that she had like a son that she put up for adoption. Uh, and when I was 13, she actually, like, they got in contact. So this was when I met my half-brother. And uh, his gift for meeting us for the first time was he gave me a VHS copy of Happy Gilmore. And I think I've watched this damn thing so many times, it's probably worn out. But, like, it's that's the reason I still hang on to it, because it's, it's hard to get rid of it for just sentimental reasons. Like, I like this movie a lot, and it means a lot, the fact that I that happened and this was what came out of it. Uh, my half-brother, he has done some crazy fucking shit. He... When I first met him, he was going to broadcasting. Uh, like a year or two later, he did a bunch of reports for CBC Radio, which is a big, the big radio station in Canada. Uh, then he moved to China to teach English and had a rock and roll band over there for a while. Wow. Like the dude li lived like the craziest fucking life. It was crazy. Or lives, I guess I should say. He's still alive. We just don't keep in touch much anymore because, I mean, he lives a busy life and it, it's weird to be like, yeah, I'm going to keep in touch with my half family. I don't know. Oh, trust me. I, I understand the feeling. I actually just recently found out myself. I have a, a half sister or a long lost sister, if that was to put it. My side of the family just gets all fucking crazy and I'd rather not go into it. Moving on. Was your half brother Nikki Six? No, <laughs> no. It's just it's just really funny. <laughs> um, I need to wrap up the stream here soon since it's getting really late and it's getting to the point where I can't be as loud anymore. But I should probably at least pack up one full box, right? Yeah, and yeah, probably. I mean, Wednesday stream might be more packing as well. We'll we'll see. Well, to be uh, fair, like. So here, this is how we're going to do it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to finish packing up some more SNES games. Uh, you guys ask questions and Gex will hand them off to me because I'll be away from the chat. So, Or Edo. Don't forget Edo. Or Edo. Or me. <laughs> I wasn't sure if you wanted to read them out. <laughs> Don't forget considering, about Edo, Considering though. how much you've had to do for, for other things. <laughs> give you, give you a, a little reprieve. So yeah, uh, <laughs> just pick some questions and ask them to me. And I will oh. respond as best I can from over here. Who is Edo? I am Edo. Hee <laughs> hee! <laughs> so done! <laughs> what kind of snacks do you like? Pizza. Pizza. P-I-Z-Z-A. You know, I'm not gonna lie. When I actually watched the VOD for the pizza thing, I was tempted to send a video of me eating a pizza sideways. Don't, don't pizza crime, Gex. Don't do pizza crimes. <laughs> oh, you know what? Fine. I'm just going to send you a don't video of me, me eating the crust my first. Next shirt I ever sell a fucking pizza crime shirt because I'll do it. <laughs> you know, when you speak of shirts, we were actually tempted if we could for an Easter one. I literally designed a Wesker as an Easter bunny, and that was going to be one of our um, shirts, but 
unfortunately, fruit wishing never came to be. So, all right. <laughs> Mod ship for committing pizza crime. Oh please! <laughs> if that's what my, if that's what's gonna make me lose my mod ship, I'm. <laughs> John, what's your favorite console? Super Nintendo. Nintendo. There's your answer. Yeah, more uh... like that and the Game Boy, honestly. Yeah, Super Nintendo has to be my favorite, so. So yeah, I'm trying to see if I can answer these with some interesting voices. <laughs> Someone says, Edo, can you ask John to do a Poyo? <laughs> Poyo! I'm not going to do one correctly because I killed my voice the other day. Poyo! You're way better at it, too. <laughs> I just do Peach's voice. Does Never that turn. count? Hi, Joker. Welcome back. How did anime go? Um, so a lot of people had very rusty objects coming out of them. Mm. Oh, so you watched Berserk? No, it was JoJo. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay, right. yeah, that makes sense. All right, let's see. <laughs> Edo, have you heard of my Peach for voice? Oh, no. Uh, no. <laughs> I'll let John do the warning first. Go for it. <clears throat> Hold on, I gotta do vocal warm up. Oh, I thought that was the one. <laughs> yeah, no, that, that sounds just like her. You know, Peach is a smoker. <laughs> no, that now sounds... listen. Now hold on, Zelda. We've had a talk before. It is not my fault. Your guy takes his long ass time to rescue your sorry ass. At least my man comes to me lickly split. Lickly split. That's what I say it. You got a problem with that? Go yes, get your scratchers. Go get your scratchers and we'll talk later, Dude, okay? Damn actual peach voice. As soon as I stop smiling and I have my smoke. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Ah. Why are you asking questions? Yeah, of course. That's, that's why I'm no. here. It's just somebody asked if Edo has ever heard of my Peach voice, and, and I'm yeah, just warming the vocal. for time as I'm quickly packing this box, so he might want to speed <clears throat> up a little bit. Shit! John, what is your favorite game genre? Uh, probably platformer at this point. <laughs> Whatever, man. Move on. Next question. <laughs> You know, I'm all American guy. <laughs> Thanks, Tommy. Yeah, he's taking a nap right now. It's, it's 4 a.m. almost. Hello, Miss Edobean. My name is Princess Peach. It is an honor to meet you. Have you seen Mario? Oh, that's really cute. Oh, thank you. Peachy. <laughs> What is the red cartridge on the top of the shelf? That's Spider-Man Carnage, right? Good guess, you're right. That's a good I guess too. So yeah. there's only two red cartridges on the on the Super Nintendo. The other one is Doom, and I have that in box. Uh, it's on the Super Nintendo. No, Sega Genesis. Of course. Hee <laughs> hee! It's a Mario time. <laughs> Woohoo! Hey, what John, do you have word? a super powder? What? Do you have a super powder? I have a jumpy. Hee <laughs> hee! My superpower is to convince people to make an alternate universe of me where I have giant tits and for some reason be perfectly okay with it. Favorite N64 game? Perfect Dark. I knew you were going to say that. Uh... Oh no, my Let's power is actually see. glitching. You're totally right. No, that's more of a curse, really. <laughs> it's a double-edged sword. If you guys if you were, were Animal Crossing animals, what would you be? That's Aww. a good question. Um, this is a... Well, difficult. I, my spirit animal when I meditated uh, one time, which, by the way, spirit animals are just personas. I'm gonna I'm just gonna say that right now. <laughs> the most controversial thing I've ever said on this stream. Uh. It was it was an eagle. 
is is what I saw. So I would I would go with that. They're eagles in uh, Animal Crossing. If I was to go based on the Chinese zodiac year I'm in, horse. I could see that. That right. would make me a dragon then. I gotta do three questions and I gotta bounce. We gotta shut All right. down. Here we go. It is three question time. John, what is the rarest game you've bought sealed? Sealed? Mm hmm. He's in thinking mode. I got an answer. Ooh. JoJo's Bizarre Adventure? I knew it. PS1. That game's super rare. Box. I got a guy in the States who, uh, anytime he gets an order in, he'll send, he'll like, hey, you want any of this? And I pick up a lot of weird stuff off of him. A lot of stuff that I want to stream at some point. Uh... But every now and then he'll get like something actually like super rare like this. He's like, hey, do you want it? I'm like, I can't justify it. It's too expensive. And he's like, all right, you order a lot of stuff for me. So I'll drop the price by like a chunk. Cause I'm just, cause he knows no one else will buy it. So I, I'd buy it. Well, you would. <laughs> yes. Cause it's a Jojo. Um, that game is also really good. It's also extremely busted. To all of us. Uh, I, mm, no, mm. Hi, buddy. Uh, mm -hmm. Hi, Bagel. Uh, da, 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 question, question, question. I mean, the only one I see is Smash Bros. DLC predictions, but I think we've already talked about that too much. Didn't we do an entire discussion about that? We did, Joker! You can find that on my Twitch channel. There's a lot of it somewhere from a couple months ago. Hi. Check it out. Hello. Uh, do... Hello. Uh, for all of us, do we all have a favorite TRG Let's Play? Um, Planet Planet 2. Or Sonic Adventure. I was about to say that both of those actually. Both uh, of those are extremely Sonic good. Sonic Adventure is really good. <laughs> Probably Sonic for me. Don't tell me. Um, you know what? I like the Link to the Past. That was pretty funny. Ooh, and there actually, it is. He... I knew he was gonna do it. I knew he was gonna do it at some point. Ta da! You fulfilled your destiny, Bagel. Bye, buddy. <laughs> oh, he already knew. That's how I know he is ready for me to end the stream. Because he is jumping on me from the ground floor. So, this is actually a good one. To all of us, what is. Your first game that you ever own and you still own to this day. Um, Super Mario Brothers for the NES. Mario RPG. I don't honestly remember. It'd have to be uh, May Man 2. Probably like one of the early like pr probably like mario 3 i gave a pretty good answer though today on my stream of uh trash where we were playing a game and someone asked me and i was like oh hey uh yeah someone gave me a copy of a game uh, specifically jack and daxter and they also gave me uh later another year fester's quest at con bravo and uh give them a big shout out you know i leave that on my desk and i'm like no you know some cool people out there All right, that's going to have to do it for tonight. Uh, like I said, Wednesday might be a weird stream, part packing, part gaming. It might be full packing. Uh, as you can see, we we accomplished a lot, clearly. That was a tri that was a triple stacked SNES shelf, and it's now in a single stack and like already dented on it. So some semblance of progress. But well, uh, I mean, we probably probably could have done a lot better if we if I'd finished Guacamole a lot faster. <laughs> well, to be honest, though, we were like also just talking about like some of the cool rare things. I mean, that you I, have. I wanted to show off some of the cool shit I had in the office. Like it seemed only fair. Well, there was that. Remember that one stream you guys raided this one dude, and he had like the biggest man cave, and that's all he showed yeah. during yeah. your guys' raid. So that's what I kind of see it as. 
So yeah, uh, Wednesday's stream might just straight up be like this, just for the whole stream, just like packing up shit, chatting, answering questions, watching the cat slowly go insane. <laughs> <laughs> Buddy, calm down. Slowly he is super down ready for me to be madness. done. He's super ready for me to be done. <laughs> I've, I've got a question. Yeah. Who are we rating? Oh, and what are we rating question. with? Uh. uh oh, what, what what was that thing we had super earlier that we Glimps just all glimpse some dong? Glimps Glimps dong. dong. <laughs> John's band name. Let me, let me let me look and see who's, who it is. Who's live Knock up raid. is a good one. <laughs> if they, we can't do dong. <laughs> well, if they well, here's the thing. If they know the Donkey Kong meme, maybe they we could get away it, with it like that. Somehow. Puma pants. <laughs> Puma pants. <laughs> no, I got a bunch of people that we can we can raid. I'm just glad Puma pants happened. <laughs> I had a there was a feeling that I had that you were gonna like punch him once and be like, no, yeah, I'm done. Fine. <laughs> just I just leave. <laughs> Are we actually rating with Glimpse of Dong? Uh, that's your call. We all pretty much died from that. Alright, well, I got a target that we can raid that we can do that on. Let me do, take a quick look at the Buru, make sure we haven't missed anything. One picture. What is this one picture? One picture. Uh, once desktop cam kicks in. Um, um, uh oh, that is showing up, right? Yeah. Yep. Every, everything broke. Everything <laughs> broke. Proton John is playing in real life for 930 viewers. This game isn't that great. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, um, I'm trying to put in uh, coins for crowd control and it's not working, John. Box number 207. Mission Patch says, Hey, John, make sure you found all your loose Lego pieces before you move. If you've never had any, now is about the time to, when you'll find some in a cobweb on the ceiling, like I did. <laughs> on the ceiling? Damn. That's wow. impressive. That is super impressive. Good luck with the move. I don't know why the music's not playing. Is this song at least going to work? That one worked. I don't know why Tom's already broke, but that's probably just being stupid. I was going to say, do we need the music? or? I, I like the music. No, I heard right. something like I thought, I thought you were done. Oh, I am, yeah. All right, we are going to be raiding Shroomy, because I know if anything, he's okay with a glimpse of Dong. Remember, it's there's nothing weird that goes on in the men's room. We just all do our business. Oh, my sh Shut up! About dead people? Especially when I'm talking about dead people. It's only weird if you go out of your way to do it. I don't know. Oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> the face. The a face. glimpse of dong. <laughs> a glimpse of dong. <laughs> I knew he laughed at least. Oh, I baby, fucking knew he'd I laugh. Hope it's the glimpse of dong I've been waiting for. <laughs> I knew. He, I knew he'd Do be okay I get with to it. to finally Good. see <laughs> hot wife John's. I'm gonna have to start like man pulling sausage. a bunch of people that are like, Yo, what do you think goes on in Mr. the men's Proton room? Mr. John, sir. Thank you very much. I appreciate God damn that. It, Shroomy. How's everyone doing yeah, tonight? Yeah, Shroomy's the other reason Hot Wife John actually stuck around as a nickname, because he also committed um, to it. I'm not even going to be able to see all these people. Ed Mario, Morden Knight, DB... Oh my God, he's going to try to read out everyone. All right. Enjoy. I'm bouncing. I will see you guys on Wednesday, probably for more chill packing stream. Night, everybody. Night, everyone. I will leave you to the soothing sounds of Shroomy reading names. Goodness gracious me. He's done. Quake. Oh, no, he's still Gary gone. 700. Look at all these numbers. Proton Johns. My name is Shroomy. This is the Mushroom Kingdom. And welcome. Welcome in. Disappointed. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I know John was going to be doing some, um, some uh, packing at the end of the stream. But what was the uh, what was the beginning of the stream uh, all about? Dog. He stopped reading lists. Just, just... Not hosting him now. I'm done. Bye.